Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and welcome back to the Vorlamor live stream for uh, Oscar RuneScape. So today, or last time, we ended up focusing mostly on uh, Hunter, and that's not to say we won't still be doing Hunter. I still want to push towards the pet, still want to hit like 100 plus rumors, uh, try getting closer to the good old Quetzin of the Quetzal. Uh, somehow, after 66 and two drops, I have two Hunter's Kit and none of the new gear. <laughs> At some point, we will get it. Because getting this gear makes it quicker to do rumors, and making it quicker to get rumors makes it quicker to get birds. So, if we get anything that isn't Hunter's Kit, we will increase our speed, <laughs> which we get everything else. But the game refuses to not give us anything but Hunter's Kit. I'm not sure if that's over or under drop rate. I have no clue. I don't even think the drop rates are posted yet on the, on the wiki or anything. Uh, but anyways, you might see that we're in armor. Uh, we are uh, in tank gear. Uh, it was already pretty well known that Pearliest Moons, or I should say the Moons of Peril. Uh, the quest is called Pearliest Moons. The uh, minigame itself is called Moons of Peril. And uh, basically, that minigame, you have to wear a bunch of tank armor uh, and uh, go through three waves. It's kind of like Barrows, which is a pretty uh, notorious minigame in this game. Uh, except it's only three bosses instead of six. And it's a lot more intuitive and, like, mechanically heavy. But honestly, it, it almost seems easier. <laughs> like, well, I say that, we'll probably die today on this account. However, um, it's it has a lot more mechanics going on, that's for sure. And I didn't look at too much yet. I have looked just to kind of see, like, oh, what are they weak to? Because one's weak to stab, one weak to slash, one weak to crush. I thought it was going to be, like, one will be weak to melee, one will be weak to rage, one will be weak to magic. But no, they're actually all weak to melee, just different styles of melee, uh, which is why we're bringing two. <laughs> because I don't have a good stab weapon. So I'm running, uh, gosh, this zombie axe. There's no way they're not nerfing the zombie axe. Uh, we have whip, abyssal whip, and everything else, and it is still almost better to run uh, zombie axe. It is slightly less DPS, but just so much more convenient. Uh, because one of them is weak to slash, so we just do this. One of them is weak to crush, so we just do this. And the other one, I don't have a good stabby weapon. So we're just running hack with this because it's accurate enough that it won't really matter. Uh, while then using our dagger spec to, uh, that'll be the one we throw all of our specs on. Since it is technically weak to stab. And uh, yeah, that's all we need. The rest of our gear is tank. Uh, unfortunately, there's no good mid-game shield in the game still to this day. I have no clue why. Uh, for whatever reason, they only want there to be early game shields, mid-game shields, and then ultra end-game shields off of things like Corporeal Beast. There is nothing between end game and mid game for shields. Um, so we're just running Dragon Dagger, <laughs> Dragon Defender, I mean. Uh, because there's just not a good um, like tank shield in between. I guess technically there's Crystal Shield, but that's more so tanking for range, not tanking for melee, uh, which is what we need right now. We need melee tanking, which, um, yeah, we're just going Defender. Uh, some of these could be switched out for more damage. Like we do have a Torture instead of a Fury. Uh, we do have um, Berserker Ring instead of um, Ring of Suffering. But for now, we're just going all in tank just with the defender as the only offensive thing that isn't like pure tank. And um, yeah, let's go do the quest. Uh, I'm still not sure what we need to do for the quest either. We're supposed to just look at up the bosses to make sure they didn't have a move that did like 80 damage randomly. And no, they don't have anything remotely close to that. So what am I doing here? I actually don't need to even be here. <laughs> I got here to get to the Quetzal and pretty much nothing else. Also, uh, let me double check. What's my crystal set to right now? Four seconds? Uh, I guess that's fine. I don't want to say it's a two second quite yet, because I'm not sure if the mechanics are going to be so quick that we'll get teleported. Uh, but yeah, let's go head over there. Oh boy, you guys have been having a wonderful morning. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Lester. Hello, uh, Mark. Hello, everyone else. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, I believe we just come over here to start out this quest. Oh yeah, uh, I meant to adjust the volume earlier. I'm not sure if you guys can hear everything. Let me know if it's too loud or too low. Go for like 12s, I think. Because I adjusted my audio earlier when we are doing our other stream, so I'm not sure if anything's... Higher, lower than it should be now. <laughs> because there's music going on in the background right now. There we go. Let's leave it at that for now. Don't want it too, too loud. Also, I still have no clue what this master clue is. <laughs> they added probably a few clue steps. I'm not even sure where they all are. Even more things to put into the bank. Alright, who here starts this quest? Uh, let me go into the quest helper thing. Or not quest helper, but <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but into the quest thingy that tells me things on quest things. Uh, getting ahead, forgettable tale... Um, Tribal Totem, Devious Mines, where on earth is this place? The Ragbone Quest I never want to get around to. Uh, Perilous Moons. Oh, apparently this is a Master Quest? That's interesting. Uh, some Master Quests are kind of lethal. Um, 
Like, th there's a huge difference between the difficulty of A Night at the Theater and Pearliest Moons <laughs> and Secrets of the North. What, why are these all in the same category? <laughs> Even since the father is in this category? That's interesting. Yeah, I guess because it's not the final Grandmaster one for it, is it? What a weird range of quests. What what even is the master category? <laughs> there's quests that are like brain dead easy in this category. And then there's things like, oh, night at the theater. <laughs> Sins of the Father honestly was pretty easy. I think people overhype how hard that one is. We went into it like almost completely blind. And while we did almost die at like 10 HP or something, uh, we didn't die. <laughs> like, like it's it's difficult in the sense of when you tend to fight it. Uh, which is when we did, you know, like it's it's scaled in a way that's you know a bit challenging because of life steal and everything, because basically a DPS check. But ultimately, it wasn't too too bad. But anyways, I think we just talked to this person to get things rolling. Uh, we accidentally did this earlier when we were exploring Varlamore, and I was like, wait, I should probably not do this because I wanted to do the whole quest at once. Uh, this I believe was also the quest that we saw some people randomly attacking something on the mountain over there. We were wondering when we were exploring around and over that area, like, wait, why are people attacking nothing? And it's like, oh, it's, they're probably attacking a quest NPC. And guess what? They were. <laughs> Let's see. It was for this quest. It is uh, my right and duty as a follower of Rannell to document uh, that which has been found beneath your city. Your beliefs do not grant you a right. To anything in Camtorum. Also, I kind of want to explore Camtorum. And, um, actually, I thought the mining activity was in the bottom right. I think it's actually in there, which would make sense. They're all dwarves. Um, we're probably not going to really do it this stream, though. Uh, I think you just mine Vayne pretty afk -ly. I think you can even mine just one spot AFK. I'm not sure. But, uh, I would want to have a Dragon Axe before we do. But it's basically AFK, or even Crystal Pickaxe. It's basically AFK per XP, which is kind of cool. Um, because mining doesn't really have too much of a way to convert to per XP. The closest thing it has is like doing volcanic mine to get the material to then convert your fossils into per XP. But normally you have enough of that material from doing sand crabs and other stuff that you don't really need it from the minigame. So uh, this is kind of the first like proper way that you can convert mining XP into per. Uh, also, uh, we got enough per from all the activities between uh, yesterday's stream and uh, last night that we got a whole per level from 90 to 91. Uh, I did use a little bit of points for pest control to cover the gap in between. But a good majority of it was just from Bone Crusher while doing Hunter. Um, and just all the shards we got from Hunter <laughs> from doing contracts. It was, I was actually kind of surprised that it came that high. I also learned something. Apparently you can't bank the Sunfire Wines after they've been blessed. I ended up creating a bunch because I was like, oh, I'll just go bank these for later. And I had like 12 spears or something. No, I think it was 15 spears. They lost like 30 Sunfire Shards. Obviously 30 is not that much. But um, yeah, I wasted like 30 Sunfire Shards. Unfortunately, because you can't bank the wines after they've been blessed. You have to immediately go use them. But anyways, your beliefs do not grant you a uh, right to anything in Camtorum. Uh, not to document things, and especially not to get yourself killed. Spoilers! <laughs> does he get himself killed? I think he does live. Spoilers. <laughs> but barely. Uh, let's see, I don't- because I did have to look up some stuff just to make sure we don't die during this quest. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward. I didn't look up all the details, so we're still gonna fumble around for at least a good half an hour, if not longer. <laughs> because we're still gonna go through quite a few things pretty blind. I just needed to make sure that nothing can kill us. And, no, nothing can kill us. Uh, well, it can, but it, it won't. <laughs> it shouldn't. I don't want to give, uh, Fordis any, uh, excuses to come knocking on our door. Though I haven't seen anything from the actual city itself, so... Uh, that will be completely new. Uh, I don't want to give uh, Fortis, or as well as the game mode itself, because we still have never played it. I still don't even know what every mechanic is. I just know it can't kill us, <laughs> for the most part. As long as we're not dumb and, like, camp high HP, we should be fine. Crystal would just always save us. Uh, I don't want to give uh, Fortis any excuses to come knocking on the door to investigate your uh, untimely and idiotic demise. I won't take no for an answer. I am bound by my divine oath. Oh, yes? And will your divine oaf feed you in there? <laughs> a light your way? Keep you safe from cavins and monsters? Uh, I don't know uh, about cavins, uh, but I can handle monsters. Also, our outfit looks like we're from like 2007 in this game, gosh. <laughs> like 2006-2007. Minus our weapons. <laughs> and I guess our ring, technically. And I guess that slot as well. <laughs> but as far as like what's actually visible, especially from the back right here. Gosh. This setup looks ancient, but it's actually the best we have in current state of game. Randall provides, which is kind of funny because we have Torval Full Helm, but it's not worth breaking down. 
So I need another Barrows piece. We really need to go back to Barrows. I mean, not Barrows. Uh, we need another, um, uh, gosh, Bandos piece. We really need to go back there at some point. He just slaps so hard when he actually hits you. <laughs> no. Uh, we're more than enough, uh, humans in, uh, Camptorum. Uh, with the Blasted Fortis, a mandated dig. I don't care how many deals it secured. It's not worth all this trouble. Advisor Atalo. What? Uh, apologies. Uh, but I was sent to tell you that one of the creatures from the ruins managed to bypass our defenses. It escaped through the mountain's outflow spring to the northeast, which is where everyone earlier was ki uh, killing an invisible unit. Uh, the one that leads to the, uh, Esqueduct? Sweeduct? What words? Why is there so many words I can't comprehend this early in the morning? Same thing happened when we came to Voldemort yesterday. <laughs> right at the beginning. <laughs> I cannot process words this early. Uh, we'll have four discards, which is a bad time to be doing quests, which we've done both times now. <laughs> doing the quest right at the beginning. We still have two quests, this one and the other one. I think the other one's just like a little funny comedic quest. Um, but we'll definitely do it at some point in the stream. Uh, the one that leads to the, uh, Esqueduct, uh, we'll have, uh, four discards, uh, barging into the city, uh, if they watch Catch Wind. It sounds like you need help. Kim Torm does not need help, much less that of any humans. Uh, wake the off-duty guards and put them to work. I'll ensure they're paid handsomely. I'm afraid we already have. Ah, get back to your post. All right, fine. Human, you look like you've seen a fight or two. Yeah, based on our armor. Uh, deal with the escaped creature by the mountain. Uh, oh, upflow spring. Uh, hang on. What's in it for me? Uh, what do you want? Access to your prison so we can go farm the pieces. I want at least one piece today. There are basically five pieces we want that will all be beneficial. We want either the weapon from the melee one, the legs from the melee one, the weapon from the range one, or the top or bottom from the magic one. Any of those five. Though literally I'll take any drop as well, but any of those five, which is almost a 50% chance at that point, are is what we're looking for. This is what, nine? No, there's 12 pieces, and there's five of them that would be good. So we have almost a 50% chance that our first drop will be something we need as an upgrade. So hopefully we'll get it, which means we definitely won't. <laughs> but we'll still try. Uh, I'm not sure how rare they are. I have not the slightest clue. If we're going to take, like, five runs, get a piece, ten runs, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand. Um, if it's anything like Barrows, it takes about eighteen runs to get a piece, give or take a few. Um, maybe, like, twenty-ish. I'm not sure how they would have scaled this thing. Oh, that guy hasn't done the quest either. Also, he's going in with range. He definitely hasn't done the quest. <laughs> this is definitely a melee, um, option. Uh, I guess you could maybe try ranging if you really wanted to. <laughs> ranging or mage, but it, I, it's kind of weird. This is a melee-only thing. I was really expecting you would need, like, all three combat styles, but, uh, nope. There's all three melees. Uh, what do you want? Or, uh, okay, let's start Pearly Moons. Uh, access to the city sounds nice. Fine, go to it. All right, how do I get up here? Can I use a shortcut both ways? I've used it to go down. I've never tried to use it to go up. So let's see if we try to use it to go up, I guess. This will save us a little bit of time here. Compared to going all the way around. Actually, I guess I can use the Quetzal Whistle to go there, too. But if this works... Okay, good, you can climb up the rocks, okay. I never tried going the other way around, but apparently it does work. Very nice. Oh, so this inventory will be changed. Um, I'm just running it for now because I don't really know what to run for the most part. Oh yeah, I don't have attack options on. That would maybe help if we're doing combat. Just maybe. Oh yeah, this guy hits twice. Also, he has some kind of unique uh, blade drop. And I'm not sure if this quest one can drop it, but it'd be really funny if you did. If you could just drop your blade so we never have to kill you again. I don't think we actually have to kill you during the thing. We'd have to go, like, out of our way to go get it. Come on. Sulfur Blades. Sulfur Blades. First drop. Oh, no! The quest one doesn't give you any drop. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because the previous quest that we had, um, Defender of Varrock, um, those zombies actually did give their drop table. And even though that guy exists in the thing, he didn't give, um, anything. Oh. Uh, I should head back to Atala and, uh, let her know, uh, what the, uh, adequates... Wait. She? Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold. That was a female? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. <laughs> the first person we were talking to? Hold. 
this one? Really? Oh, I see it now, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I've taken care of the... Uh, what was that thing, anyway? Female? <laughs> it doesn't look at all from that thumbnail. From here, I, I, if you say that, it's like, okay, I could somewhat see it. But from here, it's like, no. <laughs> I don't see it at all. Don't quite see it. Uh, interesting. I'll take your word on it. A spirit of sorts. Uh, something far older. Well, I need a different voice. Well, I'm not going to change his, her voice then. <laughs> a spirit of sorts. Uh, something far older than uh, anything your people have bothered to remember. In any case, a deal is a deal. You may enter a city of Camterum. What about me? Are you still here? Yes, and I'm not going anywhere. Fine. If it'll make you stop pestering me, you can join. Wait, why did I say my own name? Uh, you can join as well. Uh, he's your responsibility now. If either of you cause any trouble, you're both out. Uh, now hang on. Thank you. I'm Zuma. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll uh, meet you inside. Right, in we go. Oh, I completely skipped your dialogue. Sorry, I thought you wouldn't talk more. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, nothing important was probably sad. All right, now let's go check this map. The city of... I'm blocking it by existing. Uh, the city of... Oh, this is city entrance. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was going to say city of something. Nope, just city entrance. Then we have the market. The Camtorum, which is what this place is called. Uh, the Nepal Tazi entrance, which I believe is what the dungeon is called. Even though it's called the Moon's Apparel. I believe that's where the new mining activity is. You basically just AFK for per XP. In a nutshell, is basically what that is. I think there's like veins that show up and you can click it for more. But I think you'd literally just keep going on one vein. Not sure for how long, but it's pretty AFK. I might mess with it a little bit, though. Obviously not too long since uh, it's basically an AFK activity. It's not really meant to be actively played. All right, am I allowed to just search the market right now? Because I'm kind of curious everything that's down here. Uh, another human. Uh, what's with all these people just randomly talking to us as we're moving? Do what you need and then be gone from here. That was unnecessary. Like, can I not use the shops yet? You sound very hostile. Also, they haven't added a herb star out yet. They are rebalancing stalls. And it looks like they're planning on potentially adding some too. Oh, wait, never mind. This jewelry star is a normal jewelry one. But there's a lot of herb stalls in the game, but you can't actually thieve from them, oddly enough. There's not a single herb stall you can th thieve from. Hmm. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, I don't think I can shop from them. They seem to hate me right now. Look like shop. Wait, what just happened to that door? Oh, no, they will let me shop from them. Interesting. Squeeze through door. Oh, it's because um, they're dwarves. Uh, that explains the whole squeeze through thing. Uh, do any shops have anything cool? Anything noteworthy? Pretty standard. They mostly added these for, probably for area locked Iron Man. <laughs> All the people randomly uh, locking themselves to Voldemort. They seem to do that a lot recently. Because it's a really popular thing to do. Oh, we finally have our third ever hairdresser in the game. Originally it was only Falador. Then they added one to Varrock because uh, they needed one for leagues to be there, <laughs> just to exist for the sake of it. And now they added one here. But yeah, they, they're really catering to the like uh, the area restricted to counts these days. <laughs> they're going all out <laughs> with all the extra things you can get in a region. There's one really popular thing to do in this game. Oh gosh, another guy just <laughs> pestering us. One really popular thing to do is just lock your account to like a random area in the game. And a lot of people, of course, are doing it to Voldemort with Voldemort releasing. And they know this, so they're like, hmm, let's go give them, like, a, let's not make this impossible. <laughs> let's give them some stuff to work with. And they've been doing that to a lot of regions recently, where uh, in entire regions, it almost makes sense uh, thematically, too. Like, it makes almost every entire region, like, self-sufficient in a sense. Not completely, but in a sense that, you know, you can do a lot of things there between shops and everything else. Not absolutely everything in any one region, but uh, a good amount of it. Anyways, all these guys are just pestering us. I don't think we really need to keep reading whatever they're saying. Nothing really lore-dependent there. Uh, another shop similar to the other one. Oh, Sunshine. That seems like it's something new. I've been noticing some of these drinks do look new. I haven't checked any of them on the wiki or bothered drinking them. But they probably give weird plus one or plus two boosts and other things. 
like Steam Forge Brew. This sounds like it gives you one or two smithing levels, um, which is nice. It's basically probably like a Dwarven Stout, but for smithing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Wait, actually, does Dwarven Stout also give smithing? No, I think it was only for mining. And they even have Wizards Mind Bomb, Whiskey, some other junk. Oh, even wines if you want to mass buy them up. But anyways, anything else cool in the city? We got a bank. Probably using that as our main bank for this activity, I would assume. Oh! Oh, no, this is just a normal forge. Um, this is the same forge that's in the Cantotum place, or whatever it's called. That they added, uh, a little while back. Oh, this thing sells up to Adamant Squares? Okay, that's interesting. And what does this guy have? Um, nothing, apparently. Looks like there was two shops in there, apparently one. Any other shops? Uh, hairdresser, general shop, cooking, cooking, cooking. Uh, nope, that seems like it's it. No, any other things, the mining area over there, which I'm not going to bother looking at right now. It's just a bunch of veins you can AFK. Anyways, uh, where are we heading? This gate, I'm pretty sure. Hello, Zuma. Were we supposed to talk to you? Hello, Zuma. Uh, thank you uh, for your help back there. Uh, dwarves can be very stubborn. Uh, so can you, apparently. Uh, it is not stubbornness on my part. It is a duty that drives me. Duty of what? I am Nelta of Ranzul, and I am bound by his tenets. One of them is to ensure that knowledge is protected and respected. These runes, they've found... They, they, they've found... Words. That, that's not a proper sentence, is it? These runes, they found, could contain... Oh! These runes, they've found, could contain all manner of things. I must find out. <laughs> Oh, no, that syntax just really got me for a second. Uh, what did you hear about the runes? The cave-in uh, that revealed them shook the foundation of Tiamat. The dwarves tried to hide them from us, but we eventually found out. Uh, how did you hear about the runes? The cave-in that revealed them... Uh, oh, I, I, I clicked that. Oh, wait, that's not Lord Depend. Okay. Wait, is any of your dialogue relevant then? Wait. <laughs> Uh, what's my current objective? I dealt with the blah 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 from the runes blah blah blah. It suggested that I speak to just as Sami who who? Oh you. Hello this guy. Hello. Uh Nissa Al, uh the name's just a mine. Though most people call me Jess. You just must be tacit. I hear you got uh, sorted out in the situation holding back the arrival of your supplies. Thanks for that. Uh don't mention it. So what brings you here? Uh, a cave-in revealed some runes beneath the city. I'm here to lead the dig and see what we can discover. Ancient runes? Uh, there seems to be a lot of those popping up lately. Uh, Gilinor has uh, been around for a long time. We're really only just starting to scratch the surface. Uh, can I go and help with the dig? Well, it seems our expedition has already gained a couple new recruits somehow. <laughs> yeah, a little few. Um, I gained a couple of few recruits somehow. Uh, but what I really need is someone more proactive who can fend for themselves. You seem perfect for the job. Uh, meet the in or meet me inside the ruins. We need help setting up some base camps for further exploration. Uh, how come the dwarves let you in? I work at the museum in Fortis. The dwarves have a begrudging alliance with the capital. And so they begrudgingly let me in. The they demanded agreement to some absurdly expensive ex, uh, ex export deals in exchange, and even exclusive rights to some important or imports uh, from the mainland. It took weeks of negotiation, and they still seem uh, entirely. They don't seem entirely satisfied. I take it you uh, don't get on too well. No, it's a shame. Uh, they would be a great source of historical knowledge if they were just more willing to share it. Uh, how come the dwarves... Uh, I already read that. Okay, are, are we good to go then? Uh, I dealt with the blah 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 of, of the blah 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 within the city of the blah blah blah. I was invited by blah 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 to join them. Uh, when ready, I should enter the blah blah blah. Okay. In we go. Now what? Point me in direction, game. <laughs> Quest helper's not... Give me some kind of lead. Alright, we're in. What now? 
Uh, I entered the ruins of Camp Torum uh, with uh, Jeremine, Juma, and uh, Atadala. Uh, decided to join expedition as well. I should talk to the three of them inside. Okay. Uh, well, here's you. Where's the other ones? There's Zuma. Okay, they're all facing one of the portraits of the things. So, uh, there are three bosses in this place. Well, I'm pretty sure this quest goes through all of them. But yeah, there's three bosses. One of blood, uh, one of ice, and one of, um, eclipse. Um, obviously they're all related to, like, the sun and moon kind of concept thing here. And, uh, this guy is weak to slash, this guy is weak to crush, and that guy is weak to stabby stabby. Though we're not gonna be stabby stabbing him too much. Um... And, yeah, we'll be able to go fight all three, and that's one of our main game plans, is to fight all three and hopefully get at least one drop today. I'm not sure how rare they are, but we'll try for at least one. I see. Concerning. Uh, what have you found? This is an old, uh, place. Older, even, than, of uh, what the dwarves remember. That's exciting. Uh, no. It's dangerous, is what it is. Now, uh, where's the full priest? Uh, he's over here. You're kind of walking towards him. Incredible! Uh, what have you found? This is sacred ground. This is most ob obviously a shrine built by emissaries of Rannell. You see a picture of a creature eating the sun, and instead of a warning, you see evidence of your god? You really are beyond saving. Enough! This mural may depict a scene straight from our holy spirit, uh, scriptures. Uh, show some respect. Uh, all right, calm down, uh, both of you. Uh, let's go see what the actual archaeologist uh, has to say. I like how they're moving to the thing, so it's like, hey, uh, go talk to this person. <laughs> you need to do that more often, honestly. <laughs> this quest kind of just, like, nudges you, like, exactly where you need to go without needing, like, a, a third-party thing. It's kind of cool. And it makes sense, too, that they'd be, you know, like, moving around, looking at all the murals. Strange. Uh, what have you found? Uh, this mural has an inscription beneath it, written in the language of the Old Ones. Oh yeah, we've heard mention of them quite a few times. Uh, though I forget too much from yesterday already, but the, yeah, they have been coming up quite a bit here and there. Oh, so hello, yeah, by the way, welcome, welcome. Uh, I think I'm uh, getting there, but I'm going to need some time to decipher it. Uh, we don't need to be deciphering inscriptions to know uh, that we shouldn't be here. I mean, look at that. Whatever that floating thing is. Hello, I'm looking at it. It looks like a dungeon and dragons die. <laughs> 20 di sides? How many sides does that have? I want to say 20. Weird dice in the middle of the uh, the thing. Floating randomly above some sun. Oh yeah, I just realized something. That's where this... Um, oh, I, I just I didn't realize that until just now. I believe this is the same location if we go all the way up where the sun is. Where that one big sun symbol is where we blessed the wines uh, yesterday. Also, I'm doing something with my hands as if you guys can see my hands. <laughs> Make it like a circle. I keep forgetting. I haven't been using face cam when we do these. As if I'm gesturing as if you guys can see. But uh, I, I can always forget that. <laughs> I've been doing most of my side streams without face cam lately. But um, I know we do it for our other stream. But um, yeah, I think this is perfectly um, vertical of where that one sun symbol is on the top where we were blessing our wines earlier. That's where the light's probably coming in from. Anyways. Which would also explain how this thing is floating. In some way, shape, or form. Anyways. Uh, uh, let's see. This place is dangerous. <clears throat> All the more reason to find out more uh, about it, then. Uh, can I help with the translations? I actually have a bit of experience with this language. Do we? That's news to me. Uh, though we have read every single piece of dialogue so far, so... <laughs> maybe picked up on something. That's uh, very kind of you to offer. But it's okay with you. Uh, if, if it's okay with you, I actually have a different task I could use your help with. The surrounding caverns are quite large. If you could take some building supplies and set up some camps in each of them, it would make further exploration a lot easier. All right, I'll get to it. All right, um, where are the supplies? Building supplies, take from. All right, we're good to go. Like it gives you a hammer and saw, so you don't even need to get your own. Oh, they gave a saw for all the area locked uh, Iron Man. It's normally hard to get. <laughs> That's like gold for an area locked Iron Man. Interesting. They really catering all in on the <laughs> on that Iron Man type. Uh, let's just go do all the quarters. Uh, I think these are the three entrances. Where does this go? So this goes to 
this area. Where do I have to build it, though? Oh, probably where that cooking symbol is. Oh, okay, wait, that would make sense. Wait, wait, wait. I think I have to build it where the cooking system, uh, thing is in each section. So that'll probably bring me right there, and then I need to go there. And then this one will bring me right there, and then I need to go there. Okay, that makes sense. These are probably your rest stops as you go through the place. Because you can kind of, like, heal and make potions and other things as you're going through. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Also, there's a bunch of Moonlight Moths. Which I believe restore... Yeah, that's the prayer one. Also, isn't that my rumor right now? That'd be really funny if it was. Uh, it is! <laughs> Jeez! I actually carried this so I could carry a couple more of these if I really wanted to. Uh, for example, we could empty it and fill it in, in a couple. And kind of just have them around. Okay, let's go to all these little uh, cooking spots then. This seems like our objective right now. Oh yeah, I brought some stamina for this. I knew we'd have a little bit. Oh, make a cup of tea. Oh good, that just restores our red energy. Maybe I don't even need it. Perfect. Alright, where's the best way to get around? Alright, that brings us to the moon boss. That's not where we want to go. I'll say I should start marking them so I know where everything is. Because I have no clue where this layout is. Alright, that goes to the treasure room. Alright, let me just go all the way back. And this is a better way to get there. Where does that go? That goes right there. Yeah, let me go there, I guess. Because that connects to... There. Yeah, let me go there then. Alright, so we go northeast. And northeast, we go straight into there. Is it upper or lower level? Okay, lower it is. Alright, so now it should be over here. Gosh, there's a lot of these little moths in here. There'd be a lot of them. Actually, maybe we don't even need stamina now that I think about it. Because if every single one of these can just restore our stamina. And we're probably going to get to these when we actually do the dungeon itself. Right, what's our best way to get to the sulfur area? From here. Uh, it'd be to go down. Alright, uh, how do I go down from here? <clears throat> Alright, um... I just have to go the same way we were, but then keep going. Seems easy enough. I just need to figure out how to get from there to the main area. Seems good for me. Uh, Alright. So, we need to take the second door. So, not the first door. But the second one over here. Gosh, we should go do our tasks over here. Look at all these moon moths. That's kind of funny. I wonder if we can actually get a creature part from them during this quest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get during the mini game and everything else, too. Alright, so it's right over here, I believe. We have to pass a little bit of these sulfur guys. We might farm them at some point, but I don't really need their drop right now. Alright, let me go all the way to the other side if I can. Because I don't want them combating me. Don't do it. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, good. We're safe spotted. Alright. Um, where do I go now? I assume back to the main chamber. Where is main chamber from here? Wait, that's far. Um, is it quicker to go the other way? No. Yes. No. Wait, where is this one trying to go? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, yeah, it's better just to run there. Alright, let's just tank them. I don't think this is multi-combat. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> oh, it is multi. Oh, no, no, it's not multi. He just attacks twice whenever he attacks. Alright, we're fine. We be fine. I'll throw a little... Oh, actually, I'm not going to throw a stamina because we're about to be in a dialogue box probably for the next two minutes. <laughs> so we'll just run there. Alright, is that all we have to do? Are we good to go? Can I drop the stuff now? Um, Pearlius Moons. I entered the runes below Camp Terra, blah, 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 blah. I established some camps everywhere in the runes with uh, just mind worked on deciphering the inscription. I should see if she's worked out what it says. Okay. That makes sense. So just double checking. All right, let's talk to you again. Uh, I finished setting up the camps. Thanks. I am all done so deciphering the inscription. Some of it has uh, worn away. So, we've missed bits, but between it and the murals and the big floating monolith, we've already found some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, what does the inscription say? What does the western mural d depict? What is the... Okay, let's start going through things. Uh, what does the inscription say? Uh, here in Neapatsili, by question mark, question mark, question mark, of each of the streams have these emissaries of... Uh, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Been sealed, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, emissaries of Ranul, we must work to free them at once. First, uh, they built the uh, place, and uh, now they're sealed it in. Uh, these leaping assumptions are going to get us all killed. Well, I've only ever had good experience opening ancient vaults. Ah, he's referencing the other place where you open those vault things. Well, the loot there is horrible. How's your experience good? Uh, Atala is right to the um, to be cautious. Uh, these murals don't look all too friendly. But the emissaries may have ancient knowledge lost to the ages. We must investigate further. Uh, these runes are directly beneath the t Tiamat. Yeah, I've noticed based on the shape here. <laughs> I suppose it's well, also obviously based on location. I suppose it's possible there may be some links to Ralos and the Ranul. I will not allow you to put the Cam Torum in danger just because you're curious. Uh, I'm not sure if these uh, disagreements are really getting us anywhere. You make a good point. All right, what does these murals depict? The western one. This is the blood one. Uh, it's raining blood. Isn't it clearly a depiction of death? Uh, it's not clear from the mural whether the, the uh, creature depicted is calling the rain or lamenting its arrival. It's an emissary of the blood moon, a bringer of rain and bountiful harvests. Blood moons don't usually bring good harvests, and I don't see any thriving crops depicted in the mural. So, uh, what do you make of it? Oh, someone on top of me? Oh, what, what was that dialogue? <laughs> that was one of them talking. <laughs> that wasn't the actual person, was it? Or maybe it was. I uh, have a public thing on. Uh, so what do you make of it? Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, it is uh, him just complaining. That's funny. Uh, the blood moon is nothing more than a, uh, cosmic occurrence. Uh, we need more context to come for any conclusions. All right, what does the other mural depict? An emissary of the eclipsed moon, a herald of uh, Zemeo. Zemeo? We heard that a couple times already. I don't remember in what context, though. It is eating the sun. Oh, sorry. That's not that one. That's that one over there. That guy. Uh, it is eating the sun. You fool. If it's... Uh, why am I doing that voice for him? It's a herald of anything. It's death. Uh, given that is taught about uh, Zemeo, uh, that isn't too surprising. Uh, what is Zemeo again? Could you refresh me from yesterday's lore dump? <laughs> An eclipse that marks the end of a cycle. The destruction of the world and its rebirth. Ah, yes. I remember now. Actually, I do. Because there was also some other form of it, which is like, oh, it'll just like end everything. <laughs> Indeed. I forget what term it was used for that, though. Indeed. It is an event uh, we are all uh, look forward to. It is said that uh, when it happens... Ralos and Rano unite all life as one. Can you imagine such an honor? All right, the last one, the one in front of us. So what does this Norvern one depict? A creature napping a mountain in half. <laughs> Care to explain this one, Zuma? It's an emissary of the blue moon, clearly uh, bringing an end to the winter. <laughs> Any thoughts on this one, Jess? Uh, blue moons are exceedingly rare. Uh, they're only seen occasionally during volcanic eruptions. It's uh, possible that uh, this uh, cracking mountain signals the appearance of a volcano. Okay, goodbye. Well, what do we do now? <laughs> uh, I think it would be unwise to go and start freezing uh, emissaries uh, that we know nothing about or freeing. Agreed. But we should still try and learn more about them. They may pose a risk to Tam Camtorum. Ah, very well. Uh, we know they were sealed by the power of Earth and streams. This magic presumably originates from somewhere within these runes. Uh, I, I wonder where. Just big floating block in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> from somewhere within these runes. I also wonder if these talismans I found might be connected. Uh, just a mind shows you a water and earth talisman being reused for something. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Natala will know what to do with these. Uh, Tacit. Uh, take them to Camp Torum's magic shop. Tell him I sent you. Alright, we'll go do that. I will tell. Hopefully they respect such a thing. Alright, let's go back. Let's go talk. Yeah, we don't even need stamina as we'll do in this quest. 
We spend so much time doing the dialogues that our energy is restored by the time we start moving again. Oh, magic chops right here. <clears throat> it's about to go to the general store. Talk to Bob Ross. <laughs> Every time I see that haircut, it's like, wait. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's no. It has, like, a bun in the back. Uh, are you in need of some runes? Actually, I need some water. I'm in need of some water. Give me a second. <laughs> <clears throat> Too much dialogue. <clears throat> Luckily, once we finish this quest, we shouldn't have to read anything else unless we go do that other quest. Or go exploring a bit more in some weird cavern area around the place. Because uh, there's still some places in the overworld I think we haven't gotten to. We found some place yesterday where he wanted me to, like, have a shovel or pickaxe that I didn't have on me. Uh, that seemed like it would have done something. Oh, uh, what was it, the thing? I completely forgot its dialogue by this point. Let me just reread it. Um, are you in need of some runes? No. Uh, where do you get your runes from? No, actually, I need- I was sent from Atala. <coughs> Atala? What's that? Uh, we're trying to find out more about a source of magic in the runes beneath the city. She asked me... Still, she? <laughs> I guess this is a female too, isn't it? Based on the other one being female, I assume that's also female. I, I can see somewhat more with this one though, for sure. <clears throat> We're trying to find out more uh, about a source of magic. In the ruins beneath the city, she asked me to bring some talismans to you. If she needs me to be get involved, then no doubt this is something well beyond <clears throat> your people, and probably hi highly dangerous. But... I suppose, if she's okay with that, uh, go on then. Let's get a look. Uh, you show her the talismans. Now, in the... Where did you get these? Uh, actually, on second thoughts, I'm not sure I want to know. She enchanted them. There. Now, take them to the blacksmith. Tell him they've been enchanted to react to Neguionil's magic. And they need some finishing touches. Nagos? What's that? A type of magic your people have forgotten. Alongside many other things, new spellbook disrupts? <laughs> I don't have uh, time to catch you up on the history of the word, though. Uh, so, uh, you'll need to learn more somewhere else. Alright, well, more lore dump somewhere else, then. We'll learn more later. Alright, uh, blacksmith. I assume it's the shop owner. So there are multiple in here. Uh, let's see. Talk to the blacksmith? Yeah, yeah, this guy. I thought they were all called blacksmith for a second. Nope, just the shop guy. A human? Either buy something or get out. Uh, what do you have? No. <laughs> I need, uh, some help with the salesman's. I'm sure you could use my help with many things, human. But I'm very busy. I was sent by Atala. Atala? What's she got to do with you? Uh, we're investigating... Whether the ruins beneath the city pose any threats to the citizens. Oh, well, I suppose I can help then. As long as you make it quick. Uh, what did you say you needed? The owner of the magic shop says... Oh, gosh, I can't not talk this morning. <laughs> How are these voices so hard? Uh, the owner of the magic shop said something about these talismans. Uh, detecting a... A guatil? A nagoatil. Hmm. Um, can you help? <laughs> what do you know about the magic? Aren't you a blacksmith? No, just, can you help? <laughs> um, of course! This sort of magic is child's play. Give me a moment. Whackity whack whack. Cutscene, go. With aggressive in the middle. <laughs> because you're still showing our style because of the plugin. Or the, um, yeah, I guess it is a plugin. So it'll be good when we're doing this piece of content. It's actually one of the things we use it for. I actually mostly use it at next. So I know if I'm actually using the right style without looking at it visually. Before I even uh, click on it. The blacksmith hands back the talismans. We'll be using it here too because we need to use two different styles. Technically three, but mostly two because we don't really have a stab weapon. All done. Take these back to Atala. And they'll tell you what to do with them. Now get out. Alright. Let's go finish this quest. Though I believe the quest concludes by doing an actual run of the place. Not like a proper proper run, but like a t really heavily tutorialized one. That kind of holds your hand of like everything you need to do. Just for your first run. Oh! You can get sunlight moths in here. 
Oh, you can get sunlight and moonlight. Oh, that's huge. Oh, so this isn't instance anymore. We can see actual people, which would explain the moths. Ooh, give me some. Give me some, give me some. These are like restore potions. Wait, what else do they restore? Oh yeah, they also restore your run energy. I forgot about that. Nice. And I could just catch you to restore my run energy too. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I like that mechanic. They need to add that in more places. I really like that mechanic. All right, anyways. Uh, do you have the enchanted talismans yet? It's a great way to incorporate skilling into a piece of content. Uh, yes, I managed to get the dwarves to uh, cooperate for just long enough to make them. Then, uh, that's no small feat. Uh, you should speak to Atala about it. Um, let's see. Good uh, job meditating those two. So how did you end up getting assigned to these runes? Let's just do that one. Oh, uh, thanks. I don't feel a, a bit like I'm uh, walking a tightrope over a scorpion uh, nest at times. Ah, uh, might be worse than a pit of scorpions. Did I hear my name? Yes, uh, we were just saying how helpful you've been. <laughs> hmm, quiet. All right, you were the one we actually have to talk to. I've enchanted the talismans. Good. Now, let's not waste any more time. In theory, the talisman should guide you to the point in the place uh, where these magics of earth and streams resonate most strongly. Of course, we're not tried uh, something like this before, so I imagine it will require you to do some testing. Uh, you seem to uh, be well known by the other dwarves in Camturum. Your friends weren't very happy to see me. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Uh, of course, I am a key advisor of High Lord Catello himself. Few dwarves hold as much sway as I do. Not just anyone can author uh, auth authorize the entry of a human. I suppose I should thank you for letting me in then. Hmm. Don't make me regret it. Uh, you seem to be... Oh, well, no, no. It's not relevant, I don't think. So what am I doing? Are we, are we doing thing? Or do I still have to keep dialoguing? I spoke to Natala, blah, blah, blah. He then sent me to blah, blah, blah. Uh, I should return to blah, blah, blah and use these talismans to find... Okay. So how does this work? I don't think I need these anymore. Get out of here. Free up some inventory for more moths. Alright, the talisman pulls you east. The talisman pulls you north. Alright, northeast. This technically goes northeast. Alright, let's go northeast then. Alright, we're currently northeast. Oh, we're super not instanced anymore. Even he's here. Interesting. I wonder if that's like some guy doing his task. or Because it looks like he's just standing here doing that. That's interesting. Weird location to do it, though. Maybe he's not aware of the other one? Alright, where do I need to go? Locate. Uh, Talisman pulls you east. Talisman pulls you north. Alright, so somewhere's over there. So, um, view. Give me one, give me one. Let me get some of these moonlights for later. Oh, wait, why is this one not catchable? You're fake. You're a fake moonlight moth. <laughs> That's weird. All right, uh, let me locate again over here. It pulls you east. It pulls you north. Is it up there? Looks like it's over there. Oh, I found it. Well, <laughs> never mind, it's right here. <laughs> Hello. Ah! Agziat Zida Kibo. What? Other words. Oh, what was this name? It's an Iatalali. Or uh, what? A human? Interesting. In that case, allow me to use a language more familiar to you. Uh, thanks. I think. Uh, so, who are you? I am Iatali, a Nagua of Earth and Streams. Right. And what is this place? Niapatizli words. A prison. A prison? For who? You? For the moons of peril. And their long dead summoner. Moons of peril? 
Yes. Powerful and terrible Nagua. Summon to wreak havoc. <clears throat> Why would anyone want to do that? In the face of inevitable death, a powerful shaman decided to... Ah, they didn't actually add shamanism. Ah, uh, they're doing sailing instead. You came in the wrong year. <laughs> in the face of... Uh, in uh, in inevitable... In it... Inevitable death, a powerful shaman decided to lash out and inflict death on others. Her fo uh, fellow followers, followers, fellows. Oh, her fellows uh, disagreed uh, with her actions. They created the prison and they summoned me to watch over it. And now it's shaking. Oh, don't do chip damage. My crystal will trigger. Uh, what was that? The uh, Isodithiron. Words. Wait, 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 why can't I catch these moths? I guess you can only do it in some locations. Interesting. Alright, so what now? Can we talk to you? Uh, where? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I built a contained blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, wait, no. I need to go back. I used the talismans. I turned out the source was a uh, uh, Naguina. Uh, she introduced herself. She told me about them. They contained the three Nagua called the Moons of Peril. However, before she could tell me more, we were interrupted by a sudden shaking. I should quickly return to the chamber. Okay. Um, okay, I should just backtrack then. Because I'm not sure the way to get there through there. So we'll just backtrack through. Also, that guy still isn't doing the moths. Oh, yeah, I can go crash this guy's moths real quick. I only need two. Because <laughs> I just wanted to pick up some. Oh, there we go. I'll take these. Yeah, we don't need to crash them. Let's take this one. And this one. And he's not even taking them anymore anyways. There we go. Got our little moths ready. I should be grabbing more of the sunlight ones. Also, I should change this back to a, a one option. Did I make shift click one? Ooh, that would work too. Wait, you can't make shift click one? What? That's weird. Alright, well, let me just do that. Give me two some more sunlight ones. I'm pretty sure we don't need that much inventory for whatever we're about to do. they will find out in a few moments. We probably do. Uh, all right, anyways, what was I doing? Who are we talking to? Uh, you? You? Up oh, there you are. You. Did I talk to you? You seem important. That's a bird. What's going on? Uh, I'm not sure. Hang on. Is that? I am Ihatala Levy, uh, Nagua of... Never mind the introductions. What was that shaking? The, uh, Isoderdron has been disturbed. Oh, that reminds me. Have I set the other one to release? Okay, good, I did. The Isoko what? The Inkasadron, uh, an object of 20, uh, facets. Oh, is that why this 20-sided uh, dice is here? Uh, floating at the center of this room. Did anybody touch that thing whilst it was gone? Uh, Zuma did something. Uh, we were discussing the murals. And when we turned around, he was gone. I knew I shouldn't have uh, let that fool priest in. What does the Asayadral draw do? It is the key to magic that keeps the moons of peril contained. It reshapes and reweaves the magical seals as the moons attempt to break them. Isn't it a good thing it moved then? Uh, for to have moved means that the seals must have uh, needed reshaping. That is not happened for decades. Zuma uh, must have uh, done something. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> for uh, centuries, uh, the magic used to uh, seal the moons, uh, seal the moons, has been woven into Neopotsis, uh and the creatures that inhabit it. Nanagwenzil is the magic of nature. A ritual involving the living parts of uh, this place could uh, reinfuse the Ecohasidron. Uh, living parts? As in the animals? Yes. Bring me skills of a bream, the tail of a moss lizard, and the paste made of moonlight grubs. Oh no. <laughs> How do we do any of those three things? Bring me the bream? Scales of a bream, so a fish. The tail of a moss lizard, so some kind of hunter activity. 
and the paste made of moonlight grubs. Probably under a rock. I will begin pr uh, preparing the rest of the ritual. How on earth do we get any of those three things? I still need to gather the following from within Nihitutizo. A bream scales, moss laser tail, moonlight grub paste. Okay. I assume it's near where we built our bases. So let me go towards one of them and just explore that area. I want to say over there because there's a fishing spot right there. So that's probably where we need to catch our fish. But I don't have the supplies to do so. There's some guy standing there too, so that's a good sign. Is there some, some supplies there that I can use for that? Let's hope so. Oh, wait, this just do stat restore. It doesn't actually do run energy when you do that. Oops. Oh, I also, I forgot. I just make a cup of tea. All right. Uh, take from supplies. Okay. Fishing supplies, hunter supplies, and herblore supplies. Okay. Let's do these one at a time. Fishing supplies. Okay. So I just do what? Use fish. Get fish. Okay. I have a fish. Okay. I got bream scales. I did a thing. All right. So I don't need you or you. All right. Next. Um, get herblore or hunter supplies. All right. How do I do this? I got a, a butterfly net and a rope. Hunter supplies, hunter supplies, hunter supplies. Uh, a bunch of moonlight moths. Uh, hunter supplies. I'm seeing a bunch of moths. What else do I hunt? Hmm. Maybe it's not in this section? Because there's a grubby sapling. That'd be the other one I need. I'm not sure where I use this hunter supply, though. Hmm. I should check the other section. Maybe you just can't do it here because I'm not seeing a hunter symbol. Oh, yeah. I, I should probably be over there. It's probably where the hunter symbol is. That would make a lot of sense. So I need to find my way to the other region. But before we do, let me go do the herblore one because we have a grubby thing right there. So grab herblore crates. Okay, we got a vial. Collect from. I, I got grubby paste. What does this do if I do it on there? I got a moonlight potion. Interesting. All right, give me more uh, herblore. Actually, um, yeah, give me more herblore. I want a vial. Actually, I have one on the ground. Actually, no, I don't want a vial. I just want to do this and then mash it. Alright, uh, and what was the other one I needed? I now need the hunter supplies. But there seems to only be a hunter location in the other location over there. So how do I get from here to there? Seems I have to go north. So let's go north. Okay, let's see. I wonder if this area has everything. I wonder what boss drops you off here. It's not blood. Okay, so we might want to start with the moon when we do our runs. Though I'm not sure how exactly that would work. Because if we can prep immediately, then uh, we'd probably want to do it in order of the moon, then the other two. Because it seems to be the only one that has a hunter spot. So I guess you could always use the other place's fishing spot. What does the other one have? Nothing? Yeah, you definitely don't want to... The sun one is definitely last. You definitely don't start with the sun. You would definitely want to start either with the uh, blood or the... Um... Wait, why does blood go over there? Oh, no, no, that's the blood one. Oh, never mind. So you would want to start with either the sun or the uh, moon, blue moon. Like the eclipse or the blue moon. Because they both seem to have access to a lot more of the skilling resources to make supplies. Whereas this chamber definitely doesn't, which is so associated to the blood one. Alright, anyways. Uh, where are we going? Where's the one that connects over there? <laughs> uh, okay, it's right where I'm at. Okay, so let's go over there. Let's go hunt the paste. Bring it back to her. Alright, so these seem like ro uh, rocks that we need for it. If I just click trap, can I do it? No, I need some kind of supply. Uh, you need a roped. Oh, I should have kept that rope that we had. Oh, well, we'll do it at the little camp over here. But yeah, it looks like you can restore all of your stats in between runs and everything. And then make a potion. What does this potion do? What? Um, 
That's a lot of potion. <laughs> Wait, does it restore prayer too? There's no chance. It's that broken. It is. There's no story run energy though. Oh yeah, you can make another one here too. Wow, that's so good. All right, give, give me that. <laughs> All right, I got some grubs. Drop that. Give me herbal or supply. Herbal or supplies. Crush that. Drop that. Give me one vial. Give me herbal or supplies. Stop giving me just a mortar and pestle. <laughs> but why is there not like a grab vial button? Grab herbal or supplies. Drop pestle and mortar. Give me that. I just want one. All right, we'll use that. Um, moonlight grub. Do I need this for anything? No, I just need a rope. Uh, I would like one rope, please. Rope, 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 rope. Uh, hunter supplies. You don't have enough room to take all the hunter supplies you need. You need two free spaces. Uh, hunter supplies. What, you need a net for them? I beg to differ. Almost everything you need nets for, you don't actually need nets for. So what's here? Do I just trap, trap, trap? Where's he rendering his trap from? I guess a single rope. <clears throat> That's a skilled singular rope. And what now, Russell? And then we get a lizard in each one. And then we drop these. Don't need that, don't need that. Alright, raw moss lizard. Raw moss lizard. And I only need one of these, right? I think I just cooked them. Eat cooked moss lizard. I assume that heals for pretty good food. Because that seems like it'll be our main food here. <clears throat> Alright, now we're the fishing. Either or. Uh, Alright. See, you can resupply on either of these. So it definitely seems like you would always take blood last. And you'd want to start either with moon and or um, uh, eclipse. And take um, blood as the absolute last one you would ever take. Okay, anyways. Um, is that everything we need? I think this was all the supplies it wanted. Let me go double check the quest log. <laughs> oh no, it wanted moss lizard tail. Wait, 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 wait. I need that. No, my moss lizard just went away. No, come back. All right, fine. Let me go release this. Round two. Fight. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Literally right as I needed it. It despawned. I apparently have to like knife it or something. How do I get the tail from it? It seems like this gives three every time. All right, how do I get the tail from this lizard? All right, um... Fishing supplies? No, we need, like, a knife or something. Hmm. Herbal or supplies didn't have it. Unless I can do that. Fishing supplies has a knife. Aha! That's how we get it. Alright, there we go. Found it. Also, let me go grab these. We might be using this as our main food. Give me another one. Right, give me a cup of tea as well. Actually, honestly, that should be my default option here. Make cup of tea. Because if we want to cook something, we just use the item on it. Alright, that should be everything we need for the quest, right? Yeah, it seems to just be tutorialing us on um, how to get supplies. Which makes sense, just so we know how to get supplies. And now I know how to get supplies, so that's good. Tutorial achieved. <clears throat> oh, wait, where do we need to go? How do I get out? Um, Where is out? That's the boss. Over there is out. How do I get there? That's a long walk. Um, This one's closer. No, I think long walk is actually the closest walk we have. Oh, time to get running. Actually, you know what? This one might be closer. Let me go down through the uh, things that hit us. I think that's a bit less of a walk than the other one. We just have to pass some sulfur, guys. All right, back to the main chamber. Up, oh, someone's farming them. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's just running by. 
Though he keeps going back and forth, so I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely the last chamber you would ever take. There's almost, like, no skilling supplies here other than, I guess, restoring your prayer. But beyond that, there's almost nothing here. I think that's where the boss is. Uh, no, wait, that, wait, wait, that's, no, no, yeah, that is the boss. And this one goes back to the chamber. Right, back to chamber we go. I said, hello, Dragor. Hope everything's been going well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's swap into our music. Come back, music. Music, come back. All right, I've done all the things. I have the items. Good. Arrange them as follows. Place the skills in the shape of the sun at high noon. Place the lizard tail beneath it as the earth. Now carve the earth in two with the paste as the stream carves the earth. We have now restored balance to the cube thing that has 20 sides. <laughs> The ritual is in motion, uh, but the wound to the seal will not close uh, with the moon still raging against it. I must ask you for one mo small favor. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, no. Ah, there it is. They mentioned one small favor reference. There it is. Uh, the moons cannot be killed, uh, but they can be distracted whilst I repair the seal. Enter their chambers here in Neopatazia and engage them in combats. Aren't these things, like, unstoppable forces of nature or something? Am I going to be alright in there? Ordinarily, no. Uh, their mere presence is enough to bring most creatures to an early death. However, you have my help. Whilst you fight them, look for the glyphs. They will protect and guide you. These, uh, if the moons become too enra enraged, uh, I will transport you out of their chamber. Uh, would you remind me, uh, what your glyphs, uh, look like? Uh, what should I expect from the blue moon? The, okay, let me, oh, the, you can actually get a little tutorial on the bosses, okay. What can I expect from the blue moon, or the blood moon? Uh, when it starts to rain blood, look out at your feet. When the drag wires are summoned, Prepare to leap back. Alright, uh, how about the blue moon? Uh, what should I expect from the uh, blue moon? Be prepared to fight without your weapon. Ensure the room's bazaars remain lit, for the cold will restore the moon's strength. Alright, uh, what can you tell me about the uh, eclipse moon? Ensure it doesn't catch you uh, whilst you have your back turned. Uh, make sure to take cover when it fires its uh, searing hot rays. Uh, could you remind me of your what your glyphs look like? No, you already said that. Um, anything else I should know? Uh, anytime the moons of peril inflict pain, they can heal themselves, freeze your joints, or blind your eyes. A defensive approach should be used against them. Alright, uh, goodbye. Thank you. All right, do I just go kill them now? So we're basically on a run. Blue moon, blood moon. Okay, so this is basically a tutorial battle at this point now. So uh, we already established that we should save blue moon for, or uh, blood moon for last, since we can't really resupply. Though in all fairness, we're kind of already supplied. <laughs> because we already went through the tutorial thing, so we can go in any order at this point. But I'm going to take it as if we're doing an actual run. And I personally think I'm going to take it northeast to southwest then. So I'm going to start with whatever one this one is then. Which would ultimately be, would ultimately be the Eclipse Moon. Which is good, because that's where I would dump all my specs for my dagger. So it makes sense to start there. So yeah, I think that's the order we're going to go in whenever we do this. And then our initial food will just be fish, I guess. Or whatever we have on us. And get a potion there. So that'd be perfectly fine. So we'd go for uh, fishing into potion. Then we go to hunter tail thing into uh, potion. And then we go with, uh, we use our remaining supplies on blood. Alright, so yeah, let's just do it uh, counterclockwise then. And we'll do it that way. And that way we start with Eclipse and throw over specs each time. Alright, let's go do it. Alright, 
Alright. Uh, how do I get to the chamber again? It is... Right over there. Alright, so I need to go across that bridge. When I get there, I need to go restore my energy. What are these stamina's for, then? <laughs> I didn't look into some things, and every single... Uh, well, I didn't look into too, too much. Like, every single person had a stamina on them. And I'm confused as to what you need the stamina for. <laughs> because you're self-sufficient on um, run energy here. Like, we haven't ran out a single time. Because the cup of tea and everything. I guess there's people just naturally keeping uh, stamina's on them when they do quests. It's not that we don't have stamina, it's just that you just don't need them. Okay, I assume this is the boss chamber right here. Alright, let's go in. Alright, let's see uh, how these are. Alright, let me go drink this potion. Oh wait, I have to click on the statue, I see. Can I see what phase it's in? No. Can I check to see what phase it's in? Oh, no, no, I can. I can barely see it. Uh, you are about to enter a dangerous area. Items dropped within the area may be uh, irretrievable. Uh, yes, I know that dropped items may be uh, irretrievable. Yes, don't ask me this again. Oh, it's a cutscene in me. Oh, no. I forgot. We're still in a quest. Hello, aggressive. <laughs> it's so weird that that thing still stays there. I can't believe it. An emissary of my god standing before me. Zuma! No! Step back! He has enough plot armor to not die. No worries. Oh, he only got hit at 17. No worries. This boss can't hit anything. Get out of here. Oh, I'm in already in a, a phase. Wait, what's going on? Okay, so this is the don't look back portion. So I think I just have to keep clicking in his direction. All right, interesting mechanic. Bit of a weird one to dump it straight into, but I'll take it. Okay, we took some damage. Okay, right, over there. Over there. Over there. Wait, I'm taking a lot of damage here. All right, let me eat. Wow, oh, that heals a lot. Wow, we also hit a lot. Oh, no, 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 come back. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I gotta be careful with that. Let me tag him so I know where his hitbox is. Tag all. I definitely gotta pay attention to my health bar because everyone else... Honestly, I might just hide everyone else. So, I didn't explain this earlier, but this is solo group content, if that makes any sense. And what I mean by that is... Um, wait, let me use control here. Wait, control click. All right, there we go. I think we're safe. Wait, am I far enough? Based on where my tile says we are, we should be fine. But basically, we're soloing this, but other people are around. Their contribution means nothing to our contribution. I forgot, I'm supposed to dump my specs on this boss. There's no reason why we brought the stagger. And while we're doing this one first. I need to make sure I repot. Up, up, up. Oh gosh, I keep doing that every time. Why am I the only one misclicking that? <laughs> every single time I keep shifting like all the way through. Up, oh, we gotta do this face thing again. Hello? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got hit. Oh, do you have to do it like preemptively? That's weird. How much ahead of time do you have to do that? Because I'm doing something wrong here. Now those are correct. Oh, he's doing it in a wrong order right now. Okay. Gotta be really careful with the order they go in. Yeah, I might need to turn off entity uh, or turn on entity hider just so we can hide everyone else around us. All right, so now we're right here. Where is right here? Oh, this is in the hunter area. Perfect. All right, make a cup of tea. Uh, give me my prayer back. Give me my HP back. All right, give me my hunter supplies. We're good on potion. Um, yeah, give me a uh, hunter. And now let me go catch these things. I don't think we actually need this net. I'm not sure why it keeps giving it to me. But yeah, we just click here, click here. We learned from our tutorial earlier. We just do this and we should get three. In the downtime of that, I grab a, a thing to restore my prayer. We then grab all three of these and reset them again. This will probably be the food for the rest of our run. And then we just re-grab them off. 
grab this. Grab a moth. My repair is already all the way maxed out. I grab all three of these. Drop our rope. We don't need that anymore. All right, let's go cook all this stuff. Yeah, so far we haven't even touched our supplies that we started with. All right. Uh, I would like to cook. I think I just used that and we're good to go. Ready to cook some really quickly. All right. That should be enough food for now. All right. Onwards. Oh, wait. Where is onwards? Uh... So I'm heading to Ice, which is right over here. Uh, let's see. I'll just do whatever it is. I'm just gonna do crush so I remember. Crush. Technically smash, but there we go. Crush style. Just so I never forget to switch to crush. I'll still forget to switch to crush, no worries. <laughs> even with this thing. Uh, oh, wait, it just says aggressive. Oh, it doesn't even say my thingy. I wonder if I could change that in the plugin thingy. Anyways, alright. Let's go do the ice one now. Still potted up, so we should be good to go. Oh wow, it hit me hard when I actually got those hits in. Oh, protection pairs don't do anything here. Alright. They say that, but I wonder if they actually do some damage reduction. Oh, good. It returned my weapon automatically. Oh, it's still going. Oh, we're probably waiting on everyone else. But yeah, I believe when they say protection prayers do nothing here, I believe it does still reduce damage slightly, but it doesn't help you avoid getting hit. Like, if they're going to hit you, you're still going to get hit, but it's only just mitigates the damage slightly. Which, given that we're playing on a hardcore, still matters. Alright, uh, then we just make a cup of. Uh, go catch a couple of moonlights. Are there any moonlights over here? Please tell me there are. And then we go head to the next chamber. Wait, where is next chamber? Is over here? Where's. How do we get to blood chamber? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Oh, there's no moon guys over here. That's fine. I can just drink the potion. Alright, uh, let me go mark this one. Mark tile. Uh, label tile. This one is slash, which should be pretty easy to do. I just gotta remember to switch to back to slash after, like, right now. There we go. Alright. So I just need those two marks so I always remember to actually remember. <laughs> so I can remember to remember. It's very important to remember to remember. Alright, it looks like they're in some kind of blood rain phase. Let me wait till the blood rain phase is over. Because I don't even think we can do damage during that phase. Let's wait till they're done doing their mechanic. Okay, now we can go back. In we go. Ah, it pops this right here. Perfect. Okay, can you stop disappearing? That'd be great. Getting a little glitchy. Now, what's this? Oh, that's not it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where we need to move. Okay, I'm not doing it quite correctly. Alright, that's how you do it. Up oh, too early. Ah, I see. Oh, I did too late. Interesting. Alright, we're fine. They got like a little step back mechanic going on there.
Gosh, I wish that thing would stop disappearing. I see a lot of people moving through on accident. I'm not the only one. It's being a little glitchy. Alright, we got blood rain now. Alright, good time to eat. It's already all the way over there. Just give us some time to get over there. Yeah, that's so weird. They need to fix that. That's so glitchy right now. It's so easy to just like accidentally move through. Alright, is that all we have to do? Is that Pearliest Moon's completed? Uh, thank you, Inikil. The moons are uh, sufficiently distracted. You should now return to me. All right, I'll make a couple. All right, let's head out here. Uh, should we back to the chamber? Although, if I was to go claim my loot, where would I go? Can I claim my loot right now? I think that one leads to loot. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, this would be the perfect one to go to last. Wait, can I claim it right now? Pass through entrance. Because I killed them all. Can I claim this? Uh, I seal tightly shut. Okay, I'll finish the quest then. <laughs> Fine, be like that. Go finish the quest. Is it done? It is. Well done. An impressive performance. Worthy even of the shamans of old. Now, it seems your companions will uh, wish to speak with you. Hello. Did you do it? I think so. Good work. Uh, we made uh, many significant discoveries today, even if it was a bit uh, uh, precarious. Uh, Perlius even. Uh, ha, pearly spoons. Uh, I will be sticking around here for some time. I reckon there's still, uh, so much to discover in this place. See you around. The Nogula, uh, seem to have, uh, relaxed. I assume you were successful? I think so. You have my gratitude. Uh, you have helped to ensure Camturum's safety. Uh, you will always be welcome back. Uh, something tells me the rest of your people won't be too happy about that. Well, it's not their choice, so they'll just have to suck it up. Who knows, maybe given long enough, you might start to grow on them. Eh, what about the other guy? I am a fool. Well, yes, a bit. <laughs> you met, uh, you met well. Uh, you thought you... Oh, that's one of the builders. You thought we were helping. Can't fault you for, uh, for that part, mate. Uh, you make a mistake? Uh, could have been any of us. Just gotta make sure we learn from our mistakes is all. And if you're genuinely sorry, uh, best you can do is work to be better. Uh, nor mope around. So, keep your chin up, mate. Thank you. Uh, what did you do anyway? I saw the sun and moon runes. Wait, there aren't any moon runes in the game. <laughs> Doesn't mean the runes of the thing, but anyways. Uh, the other word of runes. I recalled something from uh, Randall's teachings. A rite he once performed. I tried to emulate it, and it worked. I thought I had freed his emissaries, but they weren't that at all. Interesting. Uh, maybe there was some sort of connection between Randall and this place after all. Oh, sunlight moth, give me. Uh, anyways, what are we doing? Are we good? Um, quest completed? I haven't seen quest complete screen yet. I confronted and distracted all three of the moon's apparel, allowing you to, to complete the ritual. I should now return to her and the others. I did. What? 
Is there more people? You have done well. The seals repaired. But the moons have seen a glimpse of the freedom. Even now, they rage against uh, that uh, binding. It is taxing. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, you could. Disturbing them again will afford me some rest. In return, I am willing to repay you with trinkets from ancient times. Please give me a drop within one kill. I want to get at least one drop today. Ideally a good one. That sounds interesting. Uh, very well. Come to claim your rewards from the chamber to the southeast. Should you aid in containing them again, you can return there to receive more rewards. For now, though, thank you for your help. All right, let's go claim our rewards. Is that quest complete here, or do we still have to go get our loot? Oh, yep, that's quest complete here. Wow, 40,000 Slayer XP. Wait, that might be a level. It is. <laughs> that's funny. It actually was a level. I'll take it. Because I was going to say, I should be pretty close to the Slayer level. Apparently like close enough that a single quest gets us there. That's a lot of Slayer XP, but I'll take it. I need it. Alright, oh, let's go claim our loot. Come on! Unique on 1KC, go. There's no pet that you can get from this place. So this is just purely for, um... Uh, purely for... Actually, I should go mark that just to make sure I remember to always claim it. Let me go do that real quick. Oh, there's a scoreboard over there. Interesting. Uh, let me go mark a tile. Uh, mark tile. Uh, label tile. Claim... Rewards. There we go. Don't forget to not claim them. <laughs> All right, let me eat up. Let me go use you. I guess we won't really need the moths that much. Seems like it gives enough other supplies. We got some bones. We got a use seed. We got some clay. We got some tar. We got some useless seeds. All right. Uh, oh, good. You can just bank them all in like barrows. Yes, I would like to bank all. Which really shouldn't be next to the discard button. Why on earth are those two buttons next to each other? All right, uh, how do we get out of here? Do you talk to you? Scoreboard. Uh, personal kill count, one. Global kill count, 600,000. Global deaths. Who are the 52,850 people that managed to die? Uh, personal deaths that better stay zero, and we better not contribute to that number. All right, do I just talk to you to leave? Uh, let's see. Do you ever get... No, no, there's nothing here. How do I quick leave? Is there not a quick leave? Pass through, pass through... Oh, is there not a quick leave option? Huh. That's going to hurt my stamina. Hmm. I thought there'd be a way to just go back to the chamber. Do I have to walk back every time? That seems really inefficient. All right, let me go bank. Because we definitely got to redo our inventory. I touched nothing here. <laughs> Wait, do we just get to keep this food with us? There's no way you were allowed to bring this out to chamber. Zero chance. Like the second I step out here, they'll be like, nope, you can't do that. Yeah, it's probably right where they go through here, right? Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, let me go bank. We definitely got to reconsider our inventory because this isn't it. <laughs> that definitely isn't it. Right, I guess I could keep the staminas. Um. I guess we can keep one super combat just to start things off. But really, I just need one dose before we get in. And then if we're just staying in the chamber, we can just sustain ourselves in the chamber. Because all we really need is one dose before we start everything. I can just use the divine super. And then just head in there. We'll even stam before we go through. So we throw a stam. We throw one of you. We'll heal up a little. Doesn't really matter too much here. I have a Quambon. Uh, actually, I should probably bring a lot of crime bonds, actually. Alright, um, anything else? And just, like, verticalize them. And just have a spear right over there, because why not? Alright, is that everything we need? I technically don't need these teleports. Uh, I'm not going to need you. Honestly, I don't really need this. Um, oh, no, I guess we could... Cook. You know what? No, if we're just doing the potions, I'm not really going to need them. Because the potions, I think, still stay in our inventory. Bring one. I should bring none. Here, drop it. Uh, let's see. Anything else we need? Is that it? Teleport crystal, teleport out. Need some more crime bonds here. And then the rest of our supplies go in there. 
All right, I think we're good to go. I don't think we really need to change much here. All right, let's go get into it. Make sure we're on the correct style. And then once we get in, we never come out. <laughs> because I think we can just sustain forever. That's what this content's supposed to be like. It's just like a perpetual sustain. So we'll go over here, we'll prep the potion. We'll get the cup of tea when we go head over there to uh, max out our stem. And hopefully we have enough run every single time we start a run to actually get there. I guess I could fish some food while we're here too. Since we're starting here. Yeah, all we need to do now then is grab one of you. That should be plenty enough. Grab a cup of tea. Grab uh, herb lore and fishing supplies. Uh, make two of these potions by doing this. We do not need that many. Uh, make these two potions. Alright, uh, drop that. Fish a couple fish. Cook the fish. Right, I'm not gonna need that many. Especially if we get to keep on to these. I do want some food for the first fight. Alright, uh, let me just cook these real quick. Uh, hello? Move? Hello? Hello? I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked. Help! 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 <laughs> there we go. I was stun locked into getting a full inventory. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, I just got a fish without having a net. It only checks initial if you're wearing a net. It doesn't keep checking to see if you're wearing a net. That's kind of funny. All right, uh, let me go mark this. This is the boss, right? Uh, mark tile. This is uh, stabby stabby. Uh, label tile. Uh, stabby stabby. <laughs> Remember to actually spec. Right, what phase are we on? Doesn't matter, let's go in. Oh no, we're on the... I'm still not fully sure how to do this phase. It's based on when they attack, but not when they spawn for whatever reason. Far enough? Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah, we gotta pay really close attention to our HP. Does that should be a good activity to have one of those reminder thingies? Like when you get it below a certain th threshold. I don't ever really use that. I don't even think I have it downloaded. So there is a plugin that does that for you. Like it reminds you when you get a certain HP threshold. Hello? What? That's so weird. Am I not facing the right direction? How preemptively how do you have to do it? Kind of feels a little clunky, but it does work. Like, how do we get hit there is what I'm not understanding. Like, how ahead of time do we have to do it? Yeah, that's apparently not ahead of time. That also wasn't ahead, ahead of time enough. Wait, it just disappeared. I can't move. Oh, because it's dead. <laughs> really stun locking us there. All right, let me go eat. Uh, make a cup of tea. Do I even need more food? I don't really need more. Honestly, our first prep is pretty much enough. Let's grab a couple of these moonlights. 
Go straight to crush. Yeah, I like how sustainable you can be in this game mode. I like how you don't even need supplies. Definitely really useful. I don't think we saw this attack last time. Alright, I would love to not get obliterated by that. All warmed. Oh, yeah, I, I remember to switch a crush. I was like, wait, did I remember? I did remember. Oh, so it doesn't seem like it takes that long to even kill all three of these bosses either. Which is pretty nice. Oh, don't hit me. I'm do it. Where is it? Right over there. Oh, 54 is our max hit in this. That is actually pretty high. This axe is so good. Alright, that's it. Out of here. Oh, wait, I didn't do blood yet. Oh, wait, we have to go over here to go do blood. To the blood! Oh yeah, let me remember to always switch back. I need a uh, slash. Right, let's get pot ready. Let's eat up. Right, what phase are we in? All right, let me wait till blood's done. There's no point in going in on blood. You can't even do damage on it. I'll wait right until blood ends. All right, blood has ended. Yeah, it's weird that this is it's like group bossing but not group bossing like everyone else's contribution means nothing to what we're doing but they're all still in the chamber with us <laughs> it's an interesting mechanic like it's so low group bossing in a sense <laughs> all right that was too late I, I should do that based on audio cue, I think. Is audio cue better than the visual cue? Oh, so this would work better with a four tick weapon. This might be worth a uh, a whip switch. Because it seems like it's going in a five tick cycle, or like a six tick, cycle. whatever it is. Whatever the cycle is, it's not working with five tick weapon. <laughs> so it might be worth a switch. Which would make sense, because this is the slash weak boss. So it makes sense that whip would be good here. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it with anything. There you go. We're out of here. All right, let's go claim our loot. Oh, I don't even need a cup of tea. I will take a moonlight though, real quick. Give me that moonlight. I really love these moths. We need a billion more of these to, to exist. I love this mechanic so much. A little moth mechanic. Man, right, that's another run. How long did it take? Why don't you tell us? I'm curious how long that was. I want to say six minutes? Maybe it was longer or shorter. Come on, give us a drop. Give us a drop. 
Show me something. Oh, that's a lot of water orbs. <gasps> we can finally go process all of our staves. <gasps> oh, that's huge. Oh, that is very nice. It's like the weakest orb, but I'll take it. Very nice. So I get to keep these supplies, right? As long as I don't... Okay, so what way should I go after this? If I was to go do another run right now... I should go, what, north? Can I just go straight there? Wait, that's huge if so. Wait, can I just run north and go straight into another run? Oh, that is such a cool gameplay loop. I love that a lot. Am I already in the next run? Am I understanding this correctly? Are we now in the next run? Oh, that is nice. Okay, I need less Chrom Bonds. I don't even need these Chrom Bonds. Yeah, we're right in the next run. Oh, that's huge. Oh, I love that a lot. Right? Because I can just go straight in here. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's start it. Let's do this. Oh, I like that mechanic a lot. Oh, I'm on, uh, not, oh no, I'm on the right one. Right, let me eat some of my crime bonds. Because I need to start getting rid of these from my inventory. I have too much junk that isn't uh, anything. <laughs> we don't need like barely anything for this place. Okay, I need to learn this mechanic. Because this is the one we failed the most out of any mechanic by far. Alright, so I was too late on that one. Uh, how was that too late? Okay, that was also too late then. Okay, I don't understand how that fully works then. That's too late. That's too late. Oh, wait, do I have to do it based on when they teleport, I guess? That could be our problem. Because right now I'm doing it based on when they're, like, trying to attack me. But maybe I should do it right when they do the teleport. Like, the second we see the teleport, just click that location. Let me get rid of some of these Chrom Bonds I don't need. We're taking up too much inventory. Alright, uh, let me just move. I'll grab more food supply later when we actually need it. Alright, remember to switch to Crush. That's why the markers are for. <laughs> Never forget. Alright, let me just go straight over here. But yeah, honestly, this has as good of a gameplay loop as... Uh, oh gosh, why this phase? I shouldn't have entered. Good. Ah, oh, no, it did it again. They need to fix that phasing out glitch thing. That will eventually get us killed. <laughs> no, I like the wall. They don't hit hard enough to really die. Oh, so I should save all my spec for when we get back to Eclipse. Which actually work perfectly because the time frame will pretty much have full uh, spec bar by the time we get back. Alright, we're out of here. Nice. And we're already done. That's it. Now we go claim our loot. Ideally not get obliterated blade by these guys. I guess we could protect from melee here, but we're not going to bother. All right, third chest. Anything good? I want to go until we get at least one unique. All 
but that doesn't count. <laughs> that is technically unique, but that's ammo. That's basically like getting bolt rack in normal barrows. That doesn't count. <laughs> that technically is one unique. <laughs> but I mean an actual one unique. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, that one doesn't count. Oh, I need more potions. Let me stock up. Uh, make a cup of... No, what I need is... Um... Actually, yes, I do need that, actually. Give me uh, fishing supplies. Give me herbler supplies. Yeah, give me two potions real quick. I see why it gives you two now. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that twice, though. Right, this will last us a while, these two potions. Right, drop that. Let's go get a full inventory of fish. Then we'll go cook it. Then we're out of here. Right, so apparently you do this until you get a full inventory. Wait, I didn't catch a single one yet. What's going on? Oh, do you have to try catching them at the exact spot? I see. Oh, I see how this works now. Well, why are the ones that are phasing through me not going in? Like, that should be a caught. That should be caught. Okay, they are. Okay, I see. Interesting. But yeah, you kind of have to do it in, like, the right location. I see how this works. It's gonna be a full inventory. That we're out here. Pick them all. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And now we have plenty of food for quite a while. Now we have all the supplies for multiple, multiple runs. Oh, we're in this phase already. Oh, we did better at it that time around. No! The movement! <laughs> Stop phasing out of existence! Come back! Alright, this is where we throw down spec. Gotta keep remembering. Gotta remember to switch to slash, and I gotta remember to uh, spec dump everything we have. I guess you could run Thrall's here. How did that hit me? I refuse to believe I'm not behind it. <laughs> I'm behind it. I know someone else getting hit that time. Though we did get hit that 111 though. Maybe we should bring Thralls. I'm not sure it's that much more damage, though. It would make a little bit of a difference. Come on, kill it before phase shifts. No. Hello? There you go. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. I just feel like we never hit any damage on this phase. Come on, he's literally 1 HP, just kill him. There we go. Our run energy's fine. Don't do it. It's my Moonlight Moth. <laughs> Oh, they're currently in weapon phase. No, 
Nice, 54 max it. There we go. Bird yet? Yeah. Oh, we currently aren't hunting bird. We will be going back to the bird hunt, though. I wanted to get one unique from the Perilous Moons. These were the armor sets that we showed you earlier. Like, this is the mage one right now, which I think you like the most. That's not the actual armor set, of course. But we're trying to get one piece of it. It's basically like an infinitely repeatable dungeon, where you can just self-sufficient within the dungeon. I've been enjoying the mechanic so far. I, I have to say, the two best things they've added in this whole update is the gameplay loop for, uh, like, gameplay loop-wise, are the Moonlight Antelope and this place. I have such a great gameplay loop. I probably should have ate after we uh, did that. <laughs> because they're going to hit me for a few. Whoops. Oh, so I think it's our fourth or fifth chest right now. Oh, wait, I haven't done Blood Moon yet. What am I doing? Whoops. Ah. Wait, let me go back. I, I Every time I go to this chamber, I keep thinking like, oh, we're done. But I forgot, we gotta go do Blood. Oh, let me go get a cup of tea then. Whoops. <laughs> I was gonna say, that was a quick run. But I forgot, we gotta go do, uh... Let me go head back. Whoops. I forgot, we gotta go do Blood first. Is it blood raining? No. Oh, now it is. Oh, no, no. They're doing drag wire right now. That's fine. But yeah, we will be working towards bird. Are we going to get bird today? Probably not. I hope to have it by next week. Wow, I just hit a 15 on its final hit. What are you doing? using a crystal halberd on it at the end. Actually, I guess I could do that on the other boss, couldn't I? It is a big enemy. I actually could get away with that. Oh, well, we just faced through all of the phases. We gotta be careful. Uh, we might actually need more DPS, then. I kind of wanted to tank it out. Oh no, we could go for a few more damaging options. I feel like this phase in particular took a lot longer this time. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, now we have finished Perilous Moons. Now we go for the loot chest.
If music's super intense. Yeah, they did do really good music for stuff these days. All right, what do we get? I want one unique, please. Ideally a good one. Uh, we got nothing. Music loot's not uh, horrible, though. All right, and then we just go straight back in. <laughs> I really like that mechanic. Like, we're still on the run. We're, we're still in the same run right now. Or, you know, not the same run, but, you know, we're already into the next one. Remember to switch back. I'm already M. Head straight in. Say hi to the Eclipse guy. Oh, they're currently in an Eclipse. I gotta remember Stabby Stabby. But yeah, actually, it would be a lot better to use Crystal Halberd here on this one. Instead of a Dragon Dagger. Crystal Halberd would do a lot more damage overall. Because he actually is a big enemy that can take damage from it. I gotta be careful on this one. I keep doing the wrong direction there every single time. Gotta watch our HP if we do mistake too many times there. Just not sure fully how that mechanic works. Obviously, you're supposed to look at him. I feel like we're looking at him so often, he's still getting hit. I gotta be careful. <laughs> they do hit here. a good eat phase. Oh, I'm too far forward. Oh, now I'm too far back. <laughs> Come on, just hit him once. There we go. They're currently running fire. I should have waited. Because we can't even do damage during this phase. We can only take damage. Oh, it's auto fired? Okay. Interesting. I'll take it. <laughs> we didn't earn that fire. I do have to say, thematically, I think this ice one is my favorite out of all these. Eclipse is probably my least favorite so far. Well, it's because this lucking mechanic just feels kind of clunky. Probably why you should go get Crystal Halberd so we can actually kill him quicker. He's right between every phase shift, we just end it with a Crystal Halberd on him.
Oh, good. It doesn't attack you when you first come in. It gives you some buffer room. I said, hello, Frank. Welcome. So you just don't get ambushed by an attack. Yeah, this content was a lot easier than I thought it would ultimately be. And I would say that Coliseum is probably even harder than I thought it would be. It's kind of funny. <laughs> like, I saw what, a little bit of what Coliseum looks like. I still think after a day, no one has actually finished a single run. It's actually insane. I should go check the leaderboard just to see. But I'm pretty sure no one still has finished a single run. It is that hard? Even w people have died to wave one and two before already. Though it is only a 12 wave system, it looks like. Instead of the previous systems that were like 63 waves or so. Or 60 something. Come on, get the kill. Come on, kill it. Kill it! Kill it! It's dead! <laughs> get it down. Please, just hit it. Don't make me do a whole phase just to do five damage. There we go, four damage. Oh, good. We would have to go through a whole entire blood phase if we didn't do that there. Thank you, thank you. Just in time. Let's see what loot we get. Then we need to go refish our inventory. Better we go for the tails. The fish is nice because you can just AFK it. Oh gosh, every single time someone clicks on that, I have to, uh... Wait. Ooh, that's pretty bad loot there, though. Eh. Uh. Oh, someone teleported. How many kills is that? We've done five runs so far. One was the quest, so technically four runs. Oh, I forgot. I don't actually have to get all those moonlight things. You can just do it right here. Yeah, let's get a small resupply, I guess. Get a little bit of everything. Make a cup of... Make some herb lore. Give me herbalore and fishing. Alright, give me like two of these. I'm gonna go all out. Oh wait, uh, duh. Uh, I need to break them first. Then we do that. Have the one dose ready. Alright, uh, then we just need to go net the rest. Then we go cook them all. Actually, let me eat one right now just to top us off. And then we can just literally FK here. Good water break, actually. I think every time we need a fish, we are required to take a sip of water. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> I'm literally doing nothing right now. I'm just letting the fish go straight in. There's <laughs> one click and he does it all on his own. Good thing they made an EXP method for this low. Because otherwise, I could see a lot of people doing this for to try to get AFK fishing EXP. <laughs> Just dropping their whole inventory and then just doing this. <laughs> but it's low enough EXP that it's not worth doing it for that. I'll wait till we get the full top off, might as well. Alright, uh, drop the net. Cook all this stuff. And straight back into the run. Nice. I love how self-sufficient this place is. It's really cool. It's like an endless dungeon. But I want to try to do it until we get a drop. This is the game plan here. I should really go get Crystal Halberd, though. The problem is it resets my whole inventory once I do. Oh, come on. I had, like, no time to get there. Might be too far forward. Yeah, I am. I'm too far back.
Yeah, I should definitely go Crystal Halberd on this fight, I think. It would be so much better than what we're doing now. Because right now we're using a... There's a... Oh, you know what? That would probably make the other phase better when we actually hit him, too. Yeah, I think after this run, we gotta go get a Crystal Halberd. It'd be really good on this phase, because we seem to be whacking him back every time we successfully do a shadow thing. And we keep hitting so many zeros, and I think that's because we're not using a stab weapon. Because he is weak to stabby stabby. So we need a stabbier weapon. Yeah, I think I'll do that after this run. Please hit him. <laughs> Not the hard to land hit. There you go. Oops, I did not mean to grab the grubs. What phase are we in? Attack phase go. But oh, please hit the thing. Also, please go crush. Oh, we're in uh, this phase. That's fine. Where did my weapon go? Is that mine? No, this one's mine. crush. I was like, wait, something's wrong here. That's not the right sound effect. Luckily, it has a different sound based on which one you're on, as well as a different animation. But it's a really subtle different animation. They're just standing there. Is this phase not required? There's just two max mains just sitting in middle and with Inferno Cape. This is just chilling. <laughs> They're to kill it quick enough that whatever they affect from not lighting them doesn't really affect them that much. You're just siphoning it down with Crush on, on Scythe. So I'm pretty sure we'll change that mechanic to make it more punishing if you don't end up doing it at some point. Because right now there's probably not enough punish for it that people are just skipping it completely. Which would make sense. But after this run, um, we should just go spam the rest of our food because we need to go and get a Crystal Halberd, I think. I think it's going to make the Eclipse feel a lot better. Because the dragon dagger is not cutting it. <laughs> I also feel like I should grab a whip for this phase. Though all this phase seems to do is heal you. So I don't really need a whip, I guess. If the only thing you get is healed from it. I could do something like that so our hits are more uh, on the correct tick. Yeah, we 100% need Crystal Halberd for this. Just the convenience of it's going to be way better. I also feel like in his reflection phase, where you have to not face your back to him, it's going to hit him so much harder. Since it has a stab option, and it's already a slow, hard-hitting weapon to begin with. The only problem with it is it'll waste a lot of charges, but... I don't know, we're investing it in equipment, I guess. The only thing I hate about this boss is this phase, though. I really hate the damage those phases. Be like something small you can do to like pressure a little bit of damage. Like some kind of special tile that you need to try standing on without getting hit by the blood.
Right, let's just spam click all these because we're gonna lose all of our supplies the second we teleport. Let's hop out everything. All right, we need even less Chrom Bonds. Honestly, we could just carry almost none. Just keep like four for panic. Let's see, do we get anything? We get nothing, though anytime we see a water orb is huge. Water orb is absolute bank anytime we see it. Uh, because I need that more than anything to go get our battle stabs good to go. Um, all right, nice. Honestly, any drop of the water orb is a good drop. So I still want a unique. So we're six kills in. All right, let me go teleport out. We very obviously need, um, we very, very obviously need, uh, something else. Oh, we have to get to eat the vials. Oh, you can smuggle vials out of there. <laughs> That's not useful for anything, but it's funny. All right, let me go get Crystal Halberd. I might even bring Whip for the other phase, but honestly, it's not needed. I think the only thing damage pressuring more on that phase does is it heals you more, which is completely irrelevant. I could also bring Thralls, which would be a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure how much... Are they immune to Thralls? Well, I see people using them, so they can't be, like, immune-immune. As long as they're doing some amount of damage, I guess it's worth it. Though, they're only going to do damage for a very short duration, is the problem with Thralls. But a short duration is more than no duration. I guess we'll bring Thralls. Why not? Um, What do I need here? I need uh, Thrall. I'm really low on Cosmics right now. Let's go get Crystal Halberd. I think what else we might need. Technically Whip, but I don't really feel like we need it for that room. Could even bring Tentacle Whip or something. Um, I'm pretty sure Axe is fine, though. Like, even if it's slightly slower, it's not that big a deal there. I do think Whip actually will be quicker overall in that one boss, though. It's squishy enough. I don't want to use Tentacle Whip for it. That's overkill. It just feels weird switching from a slash weapon to a slash weapon. But that means I can camp the other thing on Crush. So you know what? Maybe I will go try it this way. Because that way this is always on Slash. This is always on Crush. And then this is always on Stabby Stabby. And also our spec weapon. Alright, yeah, let's try it like this. So now we have all three styles. The way you're actually supposed to play this. <laughs> and we start on Stabby Stabby. Alright, uh, what do we do for that other inventory then? Well, we need Book if we're going to do the thing. Book of the Dead. Uh, if we're going to do any amount of Thralls. I'm going to need the Whistle to get there. So I should probably prep at the other bank then. Let me go Whistle over. I was not sure if I want to change any of my equipment. We could go Berserker Ring or something else. I don't know, I'm kind of fine with tankiness. I just kind of want to switch up the weapons. Uh, Last Destination. Let's go ahead over there. No, I do not want to do whatever that is. But yeah, well, Crystal Halberd, the first boss. But I really should only switch into this for the other phase, though. I should Axe for the main phase. Oh, but then I need to switch it to Hack, though. Oh, what if I just Whip for the main phase, then? Okay, I'll Whip for the main phase. Switch to that for the other one, and then um, we'll be good to go. Yeah, I can just Whip it, then. So I can keep this on Crush the whole time. So we don't have to keep switching it every time. I just have to switch my weapon rather than switch our whole gear setup. Alright, uh, put away that. What else? Those just become potions. Uh, I guess we grab like four Quran bonds. These are just like the panic eat buttons. Panic eat, panic eat, panic eat. Highly doubt we need them, but they're there for emergency. Um, is that it? Is that our loot that we need to run? <laughs> four Quran bonds? Oh, these orbs are so good. Uh, the reason for this, um... You can buy 120 battle staves per day. And I've been slacking on this daily for forever. So divide this number by 120. Actually, I'll do it right now. Uh, let's see. So about 7,500 divided by 120. I have not done this daily for 62 days. <laughs> uh, it's a daily that takes like 30 minutes if you're going to go charge them, high them, every, you know, the full process for everything. But since we're getting water orbs now, I might just be able to get rid of this fire orb, never charge another one again. I'm about to, I think. Just literally release this and put water orb there instead. <laughs> because I don't even need to make fire orbs anymore. We'll get this from next. We'll get this from uh, eventually Phantom Usfa. Or the blue ones from Phantom Usfa and the other thing. I guess I still keep this because we will still get some from Cerberus and stuff. 
But, um, yeah, let me get rid of this, like, fletching one. And we'll replace it with the water orb. Because we can actually legitimately get a ton of these now. Without needing to wait all the way until Phantom Musfa. Uh, alright, so I'll just swap that out. Boom. Oh, not that one. Boom. I should put them in order. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Air, water, non-existent earth, because there's no easy way to get it in the only other way is wilderness, and we're not doing that. And then fire. But yeah, I don't think I need to craft the fire ones anymore. We can literally just do more pearly moons. Unless we have, like, the whole log here. In which case, yeah, I guess we do have to go back to charging them. But as long as we don't have every unique here, we're just gonna get all of our orbs that we need for battle staffs from here. And or future bosses. Uh, alright. Are we good to go? So I assume this is for the new weapon. I can't use them without it, right? Yeah, it's just Samuel. Oh, okay, I see. How much range strength does it have? Uh, let's see. It has range strength of... Of... Oh, yeah! It doesn't have range strength because it uses your melee strength. It's just the ammo that you use for the weapon. It has the exclusive ammo. Ah, that's why. I was like, wait, where's the range strafe on it? But, um, yeah, I forgot. It uses your melee strafe. It's one of those weird new mechanics. Which means if we got that weapon, we would literally just wear it with max strength. You wouldn't even wear it with range gear. Though I guess that wouldn't hurt your accuracy, though. Because I think... I don't know, does it roll in your melee accuracy? I'm actually not sure. Because even though it takes your melee strength, I believe it rolls your accuracy based on your range. But it rolls your damage based on your... Um, strength. Which is a weird combination. Uh, anyways. Are we good? Let's get back in. I wonder if you can get clue scrolls from this. I'm not even sure what's in the Pearliest Moon's chest. Like, the total loot from it. Yeah, let's go head back. I, I kind of want to go until we get one drop and then focus a lot on, um, just exploring a little bit more. Maybe doing a little bit of questing, like the last quest we haven't done. And focusing on, um, the contracts. Uh, I don't think we'll actually hit 100. I was going to try to today. But it depends how many times it takes us to get this. Like, if we can get this in under 20, we could probably hit it. But if it's going to take us, like, 30 plus, probably not. Alright, now we should have everything to win pretty quickly. We got Stabby Stabby, we got Crush, uh, we got Slash. And we actually have Whip now instead of uh, using Axe instead. Because Whip is stronger, I think, in this situation. Not sure if anyone's done the damage calcs, but I'm pretty sure Whip actually does come out a little ahead. Not by much, though. But it should be slightly better than Axe here. But I still have to keep Axe for Crush because it is by far our best Crush weapon. Alright, uh, I need to go make sure we go fishing and reset all of our supplies. Oh, wait, there's a gate. There it is. Uh, catch you later, Rob. Thanks for stopping by. Also, hello, Frank, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wait, I just went to the wrong area. Where did I? No, I didn't. I forgot. We're restarting a whole run, so we have to go this way. Normally, we go from the chamber and just keep looping. But I forgot. We were restarting a run, so we got to redo all the prep. <laughs> it doesn't take that long. It's not too big a deal. Hey, let me actually move these down. Because I want to make, like, this whole section potions, pretty much. Let me Herblore supplies multiple times. I'm going to switch this to Herblore. Oh, no! You can't do it multiple times. Can you do this multiple? Can I do that, and then do that, and then do that one more time? Okay, do me that. Can I crush spam these? Okay, do that. And then do that. I just realized, you don't get Herblore XP for this. You see, we're scared to make it an actual training method. But you get zero Herblore XP, despite everything else giving Herblore. Uh, I should have at least some supplies for the others. Oh, you're not allowed to have more than four potions. Sad. Fine. I won't go get, like, a billion of them. No, I don't want Herblore. Uh, let's see. Give me Hunter. No, not Hunter. Why did I grab Hunter? I want, um, fishing. Alright, Water Brick. Get our full inventory. Actually, I'll be back real quick. I need to go make a quick bathroom break, actually. <laughs> and then we'll have a full inventory of fish to go do our run with. And then we won't need them for a while. You know, like how I was like a random one minute of AFK in between. <laughs> Whenever you need this. Anyways, I'll be back in one second.
We're back, we're back. Right, full inventory? Well, pretty much full inventory. It's actually kind of convenient that uh, it leaves us with one less. The reason for this is, is I actually need one space available. Oops, I did the wrong one. But we actually need one space available for when we um, switch our weapon. So it's actually really convenient because now when we do this, our weapon goes right there. That's so perfect. All right, stabby stabby time. Oh, we hit it right at the beginning of the phase. That's not ideal. Oh no, I just went backwards. Go back. I got hit for a one. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing what happens when you use a stab weapon against something weak to stab. Hold up. <laughs> I might just camp this weapon. Gotta use a bit more charges, but gosh. Does that just absolutely decimate him? We should also do a lot more damage in this phase. Oh, that is huge. Okay, this is so much better. Wait, that's insane. Wait. <laughs> this is actually the easiest boss. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Amazing what one single correct weapon does. Oh, I love he didn't hit triple zero, though. Oh yeah, Halberd's the way to go. <laughs> I don't care how many charges we need to use, that's insanely better. Oops, I keep grabbing the grubs on accident. Alright, oh, uh, we need to crush. Oh, they're currently going through ice phase. Why'd I go enter here? Okay, they're already lit. Oh, that one's lit. I just need the other one. Oh no, they're both lit. Uh, hello, come back. <laughs> Everyone, has, it's not just me that having that happen. Everyone's phasing through. It's a bit of a weird glitch that hopefully they fix soon. On two more big hits before ice phase. Thank you. Right, we're out of here. I don't even need a cup of tea. All right, now we need slash. Get the good old whip out. What phase are they in? They're fine. In we go. Nice max hit immediately. <laughs> Love to see it.
and our halberd should be ready on spec by the time we get there. That works out perfectly. The game, the gameplay loop of this is just so nice. I really like what they do with it. I might even move. Wait, can't you just tank it the whole time? Why even move? It's not like it's hurting your loot, is it? I'm not sure if it is. But I guess there's nothing else to do during that phase, so you might as well. But if you really just wanted to <laughs> chill, you just keep tanking it. It's not like it hits you that hard. It's not even lowering our stats or anything. Ready on stabby stabby. Up, oh, still no unique. Got some Harlander, some other junk. Definitely an interesting drop table. Those water orbs are by far the best thing I've seen in that drop table, though. It's not even close. Can you stop hitting a billion times? That'd be nice. Else here, just grab a little moth. Grab a little bite to eat. Just double check that it's not in a weird phase. It is. I'll wait. I'll be patient. <laughs> no need to go in on water phase. Should end any moment now. Come on, water phase end already. Oh, wait, is this still not? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oops. Unless I clicked the wrong thing. All right, water phase definitely done now. I accidentally clicked on the door because of the angle. That's not mine. Oops. Remembered, I brought Thralls here to actually use them, and I proceeded to use them zero times so far. <laughs> I'm not even on the right spell book. <laughs> I forgot the spell book swap. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. I'd even bother switching spell book. Can we use Thralls if we wanted to?
I don't know, they're currently raining. That's fine, though. Oh, gosh, no, it's not. <laughs> the immediate poke. Oh, that rain still uh, hits you, even if you're on circle. If there was a rain prepped. No. Ah, oh, gosh. They need to fix that. He keeps facing out of existence. And it's definitely not an intended mechanic. Well, if it is, they definitely got to remove it. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's completely unintended. Kill it. I don't want to have to restore my prayer. Come on, whip hit harder. Oh, he has a lifesteal effect whenever he hits you. Actually, I landed right on it at the end. Oh, that heals him too. Oh, that's why you wouldn't want to hit, get hit by the other phase. Okay, it actually does matter. Because any damage you take during this thing, it heals the other guy. That router. Oh, we almost need more fish soon. I wonder if we can actually trigger our hunter contract here. I might just keep doing this until we trigger our hunter contract within this place. I'm not even sure if you can. <laughs> but we, our actual task is Moonlight Moths. Which is quite convenient. It would actually be a nice double synergy because you can get a uh, kill count here while doing your contracts. Assuming contracts can be done in here. I haven't seen a trigger yet, but I would assume you can. Which I hope you can. Why is that moth fake? Why are some of these moths fake? <laughs> I think a couple of these are actually catchable. They went out of their way just to make some fake ones. For reasons I do not know. Come on, 1 HP. Come on, just hit him. <laughs> For anything. I wonder if there's like a damage cap to how much you can take. Or are we just hitting that badly right now? It might be damage capped. currently doing water, aren't they? That's unfortunate. I should always wait on it, but oh well.
And even that guy's using axe. It's kind of funny. Even people in like slightly better gear, it's like, oops. Still need it as a crush weapon because the in between on crush weapon is like non existent. You basically have to use it. Or it was non existent before that weapon, I should say. That weapon finally closed the gap though. Oh, good, right before that phase. Oh, that would have been so bad if we didn't. Oh, come on. I give us some leeway when we come in. To hitting us. Yeah, I'm still not sure how rare an item actually is from here. I was trying to go for one drop, might not even be worth it right now. It can't be too, too rare. There's 12 items total. Also, can you not just hit a billion HP? That'd be great. Where did that damage come from? I think we finally need to go fishing again. To the fish. Let's get a drop here. I think it's our 10th kill. I mean, if it's anything like Barrows, um, by about 20-ish, we could expect a drop, I guess. Though they could do a completely different drop rate. What is a Wormling Bone? Obviously, we turn that into prayer in some way. Honestly, this this whole island banks so much random prairie XP constantly. So why is Harlander here of all things? Why do you get a ton of Harlanders here? That's such a weird herb to get more of. Yeah, this will be your tenth kill. That was actually your knife. Why is there so many fake Moonlight Moths? Why would you do that? Why not just make all of them real? <laughs> that just seems like such a weird design choice. I right, would like a net, please. Give me some fish. 
This is definitely the most chill way to get food. I, I don't think that getting the salamanders is worth it. I guess maybe they heal a bit more, so I guess in that regard they might be worth it. But compared to just clicking once and all the fish come to you, it's a lot more chill. I have water break. It's also a reminder to always drink water. <laughs> Stay hydrated. I drank like not a single sip of water last stream. <laughs> I was so sidetracked by some things. But this time I've already downed like two water bottles. <laughs> like one and a half. Literally getting a Q-tip to clean up my ear right now. <laughs> can just do literally anything right now. This might be one of the few bosses in the entire game that has like a whole AFK section like this. I guess technically next as well. That's one of the only few. Alright, now we go cook all this. There we go. Alright, drop the net. Don't need that. Get stabby stabby. And here we go. Oh yeah, let's get a moth or two on the way in. I kind of don't need it because we're about to uh, just uh, pot up anyways. We came right at the right phase. That's nice. Hello, big orb. I keep forgetting, this is a 7-tick weapon, not a 6-tick. I was like, wait, why did it take so long to go? But yeah, this thing's really slow. But it's our best stab weapon. It's really good for this phase, if nothing else. It doesn't matter how slow your weapon is here. Oh, that's what's happening. It's not that it's damage capped. It's that, well, it is. Um, you're not allowed to kill it during this phase. I see. You're allowed to reduce it down to one HP, but you can't kill it during this phase. That's why we keep hitting so many zeros near the end. That makes sense now. I mean, that means a lot of the fight, we could just use a normal weapon and not waste the charges here. That means I could whip it the whole time. I didn't even think about that just now, but yeah, that's what's happening. So that means we can just whip it the whole time and then just kill it with Halberd in the other phase. Because right now we're doing way too much damage to it. Which is wasting crystal charges. Using Dragon Warhammer. <laughs> That's one way to do it. We do have that weapon. I don't think it's worth specking here, though. Maybe it is. They don't really have that much defense, so... Lowering their defense isn't really doing much. It's one interesting thing with how tanky the boss is. Is that uh, you're basically forced to have to do every phase at least once. 
So you get to see every mechanic every time you go into a boss, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of bosses you can phase shift, like, so much of their stuff. But you can't really do that this much in this one. Unless you have absolute best in slot, maybe you can. But for the most part, it seems like we're seeing every single mechanic at least once. On every boss. And ideally only once. Because then we're going slow if we see it more than once. Uh, join us on Twitch for the Volamore uh, Q&A and Perlius Moons playthrough. Yeah, they're streaming as well. <laughs> That's funny. Gosh, I haven't streamed on Twitch in like uh, eight years. No, 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 come back. Okay, they better fix that glitch. Their whole chat right now better say, <laughs> fix the phase out glitch. <laughs> Dude, that's the only annoying thing about this content right now. These phase out of existence whenever they feel like it. And that's definitely not intended. Wait, why is it damaging me? Oh, I guess because it was too early. That's like zero damage for a walk under hit though. For like a stomp effect. Alright, uh, make a cup of tea. Actually, I don't even need it here. Right, let me get our moths. One moth, please. Thank you. Two moths. I think this is our 10th kill now. Do we get anything? Probably not. Also, why do I keep crafting keep on me? I guess there's a teleport to escape. If we need it for some reason. <laughs> Panic button. Why on earth do they just drop tar lander? That's like the main drop here that I'm like really confused by. I guess they go with the swamp tar, but there's better things to use on it, like terramins or basically it's terramins. <laughs> there is an irate tar now, but it's better from a herb lore XP perspective to just use them for potions. Unless you're actually making some to use the uh salamander. I think that was our 10th kill. I wonder if data's out yet on what the drop rate is for them. Actually, they'll probably say it during their stream. Is half their chat is probably saying to fix the glitch, and the other half is saying, uh, tell us the drop rate. <laughs> oh no, he's taking my moths. Mine. I'm sniped. <laughs> Gotta crash him for one single moth. Oh, we came right on the wrong phase. Can't even do any damage. At least we're technically right at the start of the fight. As soon as this phase ends. Oh, I'm too far forward when I did that. Whoops. Am I too far forward again? No, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I gotta be careful with that. I keep doing it.
Wait, why is my run off? <laughs> Oh, I, I was looking at the preview shadow. Whoops. Sticks have been made. Oh, come on. You, there's no way you just hit a one. in already. Oh, so I don't think you do more damage when you're on your circle. I think you just take less. You have been hitting really hard when not on circle. Oh, good. We actually skipped weapon phase. Nice. Barely. Oh, who's that one guy at like one HP? <laughs> They're camping really low. I just realized, um, the potion does tick down, so if we really want to optimize our damage here, we could try to, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Bring a divine super combat. Because we have plenty of food to heal up with, the 10 damage is basically nothing. The only problem is we'd have to use a Divine Super Combat every five minutes. The only big downside of that. Plus it would take up inventory, we'd have to bank for it, so I guess we don't really need it. It's not that much extra damage. I think this is our 11th one. Do we get anything? Yes, no, maybe so. If any, oh gosh, why is this chest one person only? I'm literally stun locked out of my chest. <laughs> I'm literally stun locked out of my chest. 
I'm back, please! <laughs> How many more people? There we go, finally. I still don't understand the Harlander drop here, though. You know how many spare useless Harlanders we're gonna have? I guess we could just make them into small energy potions or something. Maybe that's kind of the premise, is you're supposed to make them into energy potions for, like, ultimate Iron Man and stuff. We don't really run out of run energy here. So I guess you maybe have really low agility level. So yeah, I do have to keep in mind, we have like near max agility. <laughs> and this is geared to be mid-game content. And our stats are pretty end-game, even though our gear is pretty average. Oops, I just did the wrong way. Whoops. I said, hello, Drew. Welcome. Hope all's been well. Okay, let me just whip this. <laughs> the weapon is so slow. Oh, wait. I can still get one more spec off. Come on, spec. You got this. Come on, one more poke. Please, hit a 47 somehow. I don't even think you can. But do it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we gotta do this whole phase. That's fine. Has the new update been fun? Oh, I've been enjoying it a ton. Have I tried the Coliseum yet? No, we're on a hardcore Iron Man. <laughs> I was considering trying it, and then I saw people do Wave 1 and 2, and yeah, we're not trying it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like a 12 uh, wave uh, setup thing. Because I was thinking it's like, oh, it's going to be like 60 or 70 waves. But no, they did it like a really small amount of waves. And it ramps up really absurdly quick. And all the rewards don't seem like it'd be worth it at that range that we can do it at. If we even did realistically go in there. Like, I would definitely try it if we had infinite lives. But uh, it's not a safe death, so... It's not worth it at all. There's no real reward for how much risk it is. But I'm trying to do this until we get a drop, and then I'm probably going back to farming contracts. Or not farming, whatever you call them, the uh, hunter contracts. I still want to get the bird. I think we're at like 70 or so right now. I technically have one for Moonlight uh, Moths right now. And I'm trying to see if you can get it during a raid. Or, you know, during this, uh, whatever this is. Perilous Moons. Or not Perilous Moons. It's called, um... Gosh, I never know what to call it. The quest is called Perilous Moons. I think it's called, like, Moons of Peril or something is the actual mode. Everyone just keeps calling it Perilous Moons. Because it's simpler. But there are a bunch of Moonlight Moths in here. I'm trying to see if I can trigger the Hunter Contract through it. So far, we haven't had it trigger yet. It could just be we haven't caught in enough. We've definitely had to catch like 150 plus before. Yeah, it does seem like it's harder than Inferno. Like, honestly, seeing how hard it is makes me want to do Inferno instead. <laughs> like, I'm like never stepping foot in the Galaxy, I almost feel like at this point. After seeing what it's like. Even when it's fully solved. Because Inferno is a safe death, so even if you mess up ultimately, it's fine. Like, I know when I did Inferno during Leaks, which is my only experience ever doing Inferno. Uh, we did do it first try ever. However, we died like six times. <laughs> Non-deliberately. Like, just on Zuck alone, I think we died three times. To, uh, walking the wall incorrectly. Run energy go. I still have Protect on. I assume this one. That's one nice thing about having Entity Hider not off on here. Is other people can remember for you what the last circle is. Because it seems to always go in the same cycle. So whatever the last circle is, it just keeps progressing from there. So you always know where the next circle is going to be. I'm pretty sure there will be a plugin for that eventually too. But right now I just follow wherever the most people are. So I don't have to keep track of it at all. And it's worked so far.
But yeah, I would definitely say the Colosseum is harder than Inferno. It's not even close. Like, Inferno looks like uh, Fight Caves. Like, what Fight Caves is to Inferno is what Inferno is to the Colosseum. <laughs> That's basically the level of difficulty difference. And Fire Keep is so free. Especially with modern equipment. Even with old equipment, it's still pretty free. Oh, why did I move early? And <laughs> you kind of need to wait until it attacks, don't I? Whoops. Did you just hit three ones? I guess that's both lucky and unlucky. Unlucky hit three times in a row, but three ones in a row is kind of uh, insane. Though, in all fairness, um, Protect from Melee is slightly reducing his damage, I believe. They seem to have... Oh gosh, I'm doing so bad because I'm trying to talk while doing this. Has a really specific audio cue. I guess a visual cue too. But uh, what was I just saying? Train of thought. <laughs> Off cliff. <laughs> okay, I keep always leaving too early on that. It's like, oh, the phase is over, but you can't move in otherwise it still does damage to you. All right, we're out of here. Come on, give me a drop so we can get out of here, out of here. Because I want at least one drop before we, like, leave, leave. I think this is our 12th kill, 13th kill. Still pretty low on kill count. Because we just started it like, uh, what, an hour or two ago? How long have we been streaming? Because it took us like at least half an hour, an hour for the quest. The loot drops here are so weird. <laughs> Though I really want those water orbs. That's the only good drop I've seen so far. The rest is just like small prairie XP and really weird knickknack loot. I don't think we have enough food, so let's go get some more. I'm gonna drop this one dose. Oh, it knows my dose is on the ground. Really? It actually recognizes? Oh, I guess it's checking for drop trick. But yeah, it actually recognizes that my dose is on the ground. Interesting. I didn't think that would be a mechanic, but yeah. <laughs> It actually knows. It knows. It knows too much. Uh, give me a net. Uh, let's see. I wish there was just a net on the ground. Why is there even an option from the box when you just like have a single or net? <laughs> it's so much more convenient. And now our sip of water. Our half an hourly sip of water. <laughs> or however long this cycle is before we run out of food. <sighs> yeah, overall, this gameplay loop is... Uh, it's one of my two favorite that's come in with this update. This area right here, just the entirety of, uh, you know, this is what we're doing right now. This game mode. And um, Moonlight Antelopes are probably my two favorite new gameplay loops they added. I absolutely hate the Sunfire ones, though. I don't understand how they made the... Moonlight one so good, but then made the sunlight one so bad for um, the antelopes. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, that's our main way of getting sunfire runes. <laughs> because it's definitely not going to be Coliseum. So you don't need that much to do the wines and everything. Though I did accidentally waste 30 earlier because I didn't realize you can't bank them when they're um, blessed. Oh, I should have restored my run energy. Luckily, I don't think you need much run in this room. I would love if you stopped phasing out of existence. <laughs> Honestly, that might just been me basically. <laughs>
Come on, with. I know he's not weak to slash, but he can still hit. His defense is low enough. Yeah, we really need a better stab weapon. It would actually be something really good to get from this place. Uh, you actually do get a better stab upgrade from this place. It's a two-handed one, but it's better than running um, what we're doing. <laughs> I definitely don't feel like getting Zamoraki and Hasta or anything like that. Not yet. We do eventually need it. No time soon, though. Come on, just poke him to death. Poke him to death! He has one HP! Just kill him! Kill him! Don't you dare make me do another phase! Oh, thank you. <laughs> he almost got phased into his other thing. That would not have been good. Oh, we're in water phase. Boo. Oh, they're both lit already. Oh, that's actually perfect. We're right at the start of the fight. Nice. Alright, that actually worked out perfectly. Hit it, hit it. There we go. Barely. Oh, wow. <laughs> Barely in time. I'll take it, though. Barely in time is still in time. on the right tile, how convenient. I'm kind of disappointed. They were originally going to add like an offhand slash weapon thing for this place. And they ended up not uh, releasing it. It would have been such a cool weapon. And a nice def uh, in-between between like Defender that we're using now and um, and oh gosh, what's it called? Perverted Defender. I'll probably still add it in-between at some point. But they didn't end up doing it for this piece of content.
Oh, so please hit it two more times. One more time. Dead. Nice! You can! <laughs> nice! You can finish! You can finish a hunter contract! <laughs> Okay, let's me finish my inventory. Go do more hunter contracts. Yes, confirmed. You can finish a hunter contract within um, perilous moons. So whenever we have a moonlight moth wing task, we should come to perilous moons. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'll finish the rest of my inventory, and then we'll go head over to do more contracts. And then if I get another one of these, I'll come back here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's really funny. Okay, claim loot. Nothing. What kind of nothing? Depends what you consider to be nothing. There we go. Oh, that's really funny. I've already got some supplies, might as well use it. Oh, that guy's about to die. Where's the escape crystal at? Come on, do it before the phase. Please hit him, hit him, hit him. No, we're about to get phased with like nine HP on him. Fortunate. Oh, too early. Too late. Stop. <laughs> Stop for one tick. All that for one damage. No way. <laughs> no. I do that old thing just for one. It's so unfortunate. Ah, came at a bad time. I'm not sure, you're sure why I keep seeing so many people with Serp Helm here. From what I can tell, this thing is immune to poison. And there's no venom or poison anywhere in this dungeon. At least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. Up, oh, wrong one.
We're getting a little bit slow damage this time. Yeah, a lot of people aren't even bothering with the torch thingy. Still going for it, because why not? I'm not sure what happens when you don't, so. <laughs> Apparently nothing too important. Because, like, half the room just does nothing each time. I did just see a plus zero there. Maybe it just gets healed a ton. But did you hit a 50? What? <laughs> Keep forgetting this thing can even hit that high. Oh good, you can combo eat them. I thought you could. I just wasn't sure. I never bothered doing it yet. But you can combo eat the hard food into a potion. Which makes sense. All food could be like that. Except Karambolans. And a few others that are like Karambolans. Oh, perfect timing. Right at the end of uh, one of the blood phases. Yeah, we'll use up the rest of our inventory, then we'll go turn in our uh, hunter contract that we got during this raid. Or dungeon, whatever you call this. Barrows 2.0. So I gotta keep track of where we get moot from. It's one of these two. It's something I need to pay more attention to in this uh, boss. Oh, maybe it's not. Because I think wherever it last was for the thing, if you remember where you got pushed from, was where the next circle is. I seem to do it like the other one where it shifts like two forward. The Eclipse one does the same thing. It's like too forward from where the circle stops. Up too early. Way too early. <laughs> Absurdly too early. <laughs> that guy came at a bit of a bad time. <laughs> Up too late. Good for learning this kind of timing, though. Get the exact tick. These are a couple bosses that use that mechanic. Not directly like that, but uh, indirectly. In a bit of a less obvious way. Right, let me get some run energy. I feel like I never grab run energy. <laughs> I would use a little bit of it. I wish the Sunlight Moth was somewhere, like, in this room or somewhere else. So you can get both tasks done when you're in here. Instead of just the Moonlight one. I watch this. This is 13, 14. But yeah, we'll keep going until this inventory is done. Turn in this and then go back to contracts. We got nothing. Come on, at least give us blue orbs. Okay, we're 14 in. And these supplies should get us, like, 16 or 17. I'm very confused as to what phase we are in this. <laughs> it's so weird coming into it midway through this phase. That looks normal now. Not ideal. Also, I would love to not die here. Probably eat just in case. I don't trust it. The second I turn my back, it's going to hit us for like 20, 20, 20 or whatever it can hit.
Head out the window. I uh, don't need anything here. Just grab the moth. Grab another moth. Sure one's enough. I'll just keep using pots. We have way too many right now. Compared to how much food we have left. Also, we still haven't used a single Quran bomb. We have not used a single piece of resource since we got in here. Of our own. I didn't ever think that this mode would be that self-sufficient. But they kind of hinted at, like, it kind of would be, but... They really went all out with... <laughs> you don't need any supplies. Like, you really don't need any supplies. Kill it. I don't want to have to face the other one. Good, good. I was like, I don't want to do this in a non-total level world and see what kind of equipment people have. So I'm not sure what happens if I log out during this area. Because it might take me all the way out of the area. Too early. We also went too early again. <laughs> yeah, slightly better at the timing. Oh, so I should just tap it once and then move into the position. You get a free hidden. Because otherwise, we're just wasting the cooldown of whip or any weapon that we're using. Let it rain. Okay, so this is where we ended it. So does that mean this will be the tile? If I understand this correctly, this will be the tile then. This one right here. Because that was the last circle. And it's going to move two forward. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what it does. Ooh, okay. So it does exactly like the Eclipse one. It does it based on last tile, two forward. Interesting.
Oh, my prayer's about to go down. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Alright. Moving forward. I think we have enough for one, two more runs. And we'll go turn in our contract and go back in hunter mood. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a drop within those two runs, or three runs. And we got nothing! Come on, at least give us blue orbs. If you're gonna give us nothing, at least give us a blue orb of nothing. Hey, these drive me crazy because they're all marked. But half of these are fake. Pot, but oh, <laughs> it's fine though. All right, so we ended there. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. This one's really easy to tell when it orbs. You just two from wherever it finishes. You don't even have to keep track of it like the other one. You gotta be careful with that. If you start attacking, then you won't get your full um, run in. It cancels your run. Perfect timing. Right to start the fight. Okay, I think what we're gonna go do is um, finish this run, hand in our hunter contract, do hunter contracts until we get another moonlight um, uh, moth, and then come back here. But when we do, I'm going to go to like a normal world. Because right now we're in a total level world, so like everyone's wearing like way better gear, at least in theory. <laughs> Must be the outlier. But um, I'm kind of curious to see like what kind of lower levels are running with, like level 60s or something. Because we're in a 2,200 total world, so everyone is worlds like basically maxed or about to be maxed. Their gear might not be, but their levels are. I kind of want to see what people are using in, like, really, like, low-tier gear. Like, are people actually running torso here? Because that seems really bad to run torso here. Compared to, like, a tankier thing. I, I don't even want to run Bando's chest plate because it seems like it won't be tanky enough. Compared to, um, Torag. Oh, wrong weapon. Oh, in all fairness, we can use uh, this on Slash if we wanted to. Since this is our last run, we actually could. 
This will be the last one that we do for this trip. So yeah, I actually can use this here. Only on the final trip of a, a cycle, though. Gosh, that just obliterates. It's kind of weird because its stack is actually more accurate, though. In all fairness, uh, their accuracy is so low. Or not accuracy, but their um, defense is so low they can hit them with whatever. Drag wire time. I do really like this mechanic. Though I feel like the ice one does it better. It's basically just like a worse version of the ice one. Like, they're both the same premise of attack. I guess this one heals you, so. Free heal. I like the premise of what the ice one does more, though. Like, it steals your weapon and you have to kick it. <laughs> this is the same premise. Like, how you have to click it. I just feel like the ice one establishes it better. But that one has the benefit of healing you for free. That one's technically better than ice. I just like thematically how the ice one is better. We actually do technically have enough supplies for one more run. You know what? Maybe we will. This is plenty enough supplies for another run. We'll have a little bit less spec on the first ball, so I don't think that really matters. Especially if we come in around the time when we can do the uh, stabby phase. Or you just look at him and he just dies. Nothing. This chest is such weird loot. <laughs> I still can't get over the, the drop table of that. I wonder if they're going to tweak it or something based on feedback. And if they do, like, what on earth would they even change? <laughs> Like, it's not like it needs much of a change, but it's just such a weird drop table. <laughs> really appreciate the water orbs on it, though. Oh, I came in a bit of weird time. Oh, in all fairness, this is technically the start of the fight. Like, as soon as this phase ends, it's start of fight. It didn't come at too bad of a time, I guess. It's a little early. I don't even think I need to go stabby stabby on this phase. It's already gonna take enough damage to die. Okay, I gotta be careful not to click on him like that. I get like an angle so I can't ever accidentally do that. How was that wrong? <laughs> Oh, hit him. Thank you. <laughs> Literally just one damage. Perfect. And since this one's our actual final run then, for now, we can actually go through um, Halberd at the final boss. I just realized I'm not praying. <laughs> it's like, wait, why are we taking so much more damage? That would do it. That's the first time I think I've ever been hit by that. This one tick off. I 
Oh, that guy's high alking. Honestly, this would be a great place to high alk. I didn't want to try hard that much right now, though. But this would be a great place to high alk. I they used to do the same thing in Barrow Rose. Actually, still do. We do Barrow Rose runs. But it says even more downtime than Barrows. And you have plenty of inventory for it. It's one of the reasons why Barrow is so good for it, too. Please hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it right now. Thank you. <gasps> no way did it survive with one HP. I hit it like right on the phase, the lethal blow. If that was one tick earlier, I actually would have died. And we gotta do this whole phase. Oh no. Just to go hit it once. Oh wait, it actually heals during this phase. Interesting. Maybe that's why you have to do these. I can't believe that. We killed it the same tick that it uh did this thing. Very unfortunate. All <laughs> for that. Unfortunate. Alright, we should have plenty of food. Oh, don't hit us. I need that HP. <laughs> oh, wait, why did I come here? Go back, wait. Oops. I do that all the time. It's at least our third time we've done that. And I think he just did the same thing, actually. <laughs> Unless he's just running in reverse. Of the order that we're doing. But I keep going over there thinking like, oh, we're done. But, uh, nope, still gotta go kill blood. Oh, we're on Jaguar. That's not good. Oh, really? Let's just try to do the prayer. I do have to be careful. This is the total amount of food we have left. I pay attention to where Circle is. A right, circle's right there, which means this is circle. There we go. We keep potting every single time it goes down. This is the last of our supplies for this run. Yeah, you can literally camp this place forever. There's nothing that would ever prevent you from doing so if you wanted to. Like, you never need a bank. Oh, we didn't kill in time. I just realized, I haven't set to stab, not slash. Whenever I've been hitting him with this. Which, what do we still have it set to? Wait, let me double check. Yeah, I still had it set to stab. I wasn't even bothering to switch it every time. Whoops. That's fine, though. Alright, we're out of here. Let me just heal everything up. Keep our one Karam bomb. We used three total Karam bombs. <laughs> what do we get? No, we didn't get anything. All right, how many kills was that? Okay, 17. All right, let's go turn this in. Uh, let's go head to bank. Oh, before we do, uh, we should probably head to house. Can't believe we did the wrong spell bug that whole time. <laughs> but uh, I want to go. Oh, wait, I can't. Wait. I was gonna go repair my armor real quick when I put it back in. How much did it even degrade during that? Probably like nothing. Uh, it only uses 50% of one single durability tick. 
So we got five U and ten Maples from that. And also apparently 85 Super Gumbos. Also, what are Wormling Bones used for? Do you just break them down? Or do you bury them? Oh, it has a bury option. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, we can use that on Ectofunctus. Wait, how much uh, XP is a Wormling Bone? I guess I could bury one and find out. <laughs> Should we? I'll just check the wiki. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll just bury it. I'll waste one. For science. 21. Isn't Dragon Bone 45? How much does that compare to a Wormling Bone? Like a normal Wormling. So that mini Wormling was a 21. Oh, I used all my bones earlier when I did it on Ectofunctus. I don't have any left. Actually, I have like no bones left. <laughs> Wait, never mind. That's not even my bone tab. I still have no bones left though. <laughs> I have nine Dragon Bones total. <laughs> hey, another bone for the uh, pile, I guess. It'll be something we can run the Ectofunctus on. That's actually pretty cool. But yeah, those are just normal bones. They're a bit less, but it's better than having no bones at all. Also, I'm still not sure what you're supposed to do with all your spear uh, quetzal feed. There's even a purpose at all. That low quality meat you don't even use. I'm starting to try to get more of these too. I eventually want to have a thousand thousand as we keep all of our stacks high. With the cooked uh, moonlight antelope being the more useful one. For sure. And our food setups. But anyways, uh, let me go repair this. Let's get our Quetzal Whistle. Let's go reset our whole inventory. Go turn this in. And get back into the Hunter mood. And then once we get another uh, Moonlight Moth, we'll head back to uh, that minigame again. And at some point, we'll throw that other quest in there. Uh, anyways, what am I looking for? I'm looking for Teleport to House. I'll just grab a hammer in my house. I'm not sure why I always feel the need to repair them every time. I guess just so they stack nicely in the bank. Oh, uh, hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, I didn't want to check one to use. Ah, oh, that only cost 14k to use Barrows for all that time. That's basically zero. Oh, can I not signal my Quetzal from my house? That's sad. Oh, no, you can. Never mind. I just broke the animation. Right, let's go turn this in, and let's go get our Hunter setup set up. I'll just get Moonlight Moth immediately. <laughs> if we do, I'll go do the quest. And then we'll head back to Perilous Moons. But we don't head back to Perilous Moons until we get a Moonlight Moth. Whether it's one task or 20. Uh, Sunlight Antelope. Ugh, I hate that one. I'll take it though. I don't understand how they did Moonlight Antelope so well and then did the other one so horribly. So how many rumors is that? We're at 67. I'm not sure if we'll hit 100 to stream. Oh, sure try. Uh, alright. What are we doing? I need, uh, did I make a setup for it? Yeah, I just didn't put an icon here. I made a setup earlier so it'd be a little bit quicker to get everything. that we end up needing for this? Oh, I accidentally saved it with my old whistle, though. I actually got an upgrade earlier. I think there's one upgrade beyond this as well. Alright, should be good. Alright, uh, what's our task? Moonlight Antelope. Uh, let's go ahead over there. I don't think we need anything else. It should be everything. Alright, Hunter time! See what kind of 100 XP we can get. I was testing it earlier. We were getting about 100k to 110k per hour, depending on what task we were getting. Oh yeah, we have all the uh, unlocks, by the way. With 10 spears as well. Not sure what the spears are for. I wish you could turn them in for more sacks. Like every 10 for a sack. I guess 10 for a sack sounds reasonable. Keeps with the whole 10 theme that they already have. No, you do not get a herb. <laughs> right, start moonlighting. Oh, I should switch to a less populated world. Oh yeah, that'll be good too, because then when we go back to Perilous Moons, we'll be in a less populated world as well. Oh, I don't have my teasing stick out. Whoops. 
I was like, wait, why is he being teased? <laughs> kind of needed my inventory. No, you just blocked him. My random event just blocked my thing. All right, let me go dismiss him. Come on, first one, first one. Aw, oh, scammed. <laughs> we didn't get it in one try. Let me double check that this is a rumor. Should be. Hello, please click. Okay, I gotta do this exactly on... Check. Yes. Go. Alright, there we go. Where are all the spawns? Why isn't there a bunch of red squares around? Oh, that guy's over there. Starting to get crowded. Luckily, half of them are AFK, so it doesn't matter too much. That's something I haven't bothered doing yet. I haven't made Sunfire runes. I'm not even sure the full process for that. I assume you just bring them to one of those altar thingies. And you're just good to go. I bring some fire runes and- No! I did that wrong. We should still be able to tease the other guy and make it in time for the other other guy. He's the one that's spawning. Oh, come on. All right, now would be a good time to go get some more within the next 20 seconds. Chop, chop, chop. Take that antelope too. I'll let him have it. It's technically his spawn. Oh, you mowed away. Never mind. Music, come back. getting logs every single time in this downtime if we only own three right now. Let's make it time back in time. Don't need anyone sniping our new guy. I just realized I'm on the wrong side. Nice, we got it. Oh, we're already committing to this one. <laughs> Let me finish it off. 
right out of here. How much does our Quetzal Whistle have right now? Check. Oh, I can't check forward animation. 15 charges. I got us plenty. What? There we go. <laughs> Why did the action not go? Got like stalled there for some reason. Uh, Moonlight Moth. Well, that was short. Okay, let's go do the quest. <laughs> well, back to Perilous Moons. Let's go get our task done there. Because honestly, every moth task I'm just going to do there for now on. But yeah, let's go do the quest. Uh, there's still one quest we haven't done related to uh, this area. I figured to get the full lore, might as well uh, go do that as well. I don't think we need anything for it. We'll find out when we have to go bank. Alright, uh, you go back in there. Hunter supplies, you can go away. I guess I'll hold on to it. If I don't need anything for this quest, we should be fine. I'll just bring it with me. Um, I don't have pouch on me, I just realized. Because we'll go re-gear and everything then. Oh, did I not save a setup? Oh, no. I didn't save a Perilous Moon setup. Though, in all fairness, it's just gear. Your inventory is literally nothing. <laughs> Just gotta remember to bring teleport crystal. Yeah, I didn't bother uh, saving a preset for um, earliest moons. That's fine. Uh, alright. So all this, you can just stay there for now. That's fine. Let's go do this quest. So this is the last piece of lore that we haven't touched on. Uh, where even is it? It's uh, right over here. It is the riveting tale of a lily pad labor dispute. And I believe it's supposed to be a pretty comedic quest. Uh, is there a quick travel way to get there? What's my quickest way to get there? Ah, uh, kind of. It's quicker than walking. Oh, there's a tree patch here? That's nice. I didn't even realize they had another tree. I saw the other herb because when we were at the Coliseum reading the other thing. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. So we got a new flower, two new allotments, a herb patch, and a tree patch. That's not bad at all. I didn't even notice this earlier. I wonder if it's locked behind a quest. It probably is. <laughs> because protection for the other ones locked behind, um, uh, the Coliseum. Um, who do I talk to? Probably this guy. It's definitely not the tool leprechaun. Hello. Uh, you. I bet you're with them. Them? The frogs. Oh, this is a crazy person, I see. Frogs? Uh, what are you on about? Ah, uh, I see. So, you're going to play dub, are you? Well, I won't fall for your lies. I promise, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you explain, maybe I can help. If those frogs on the other side of the oasis, they're out to get us, all of us. If someone doesn't kill them all, uh, we'll be living our lives as their slaves. I see. How about I head over and take a look? You want to go near them? Well, then you're a fool. I will watch from a safe distance as they dine on your corpse. Okay then. Uh, well provided. Uh, that doesn't happen. I'll be back, uh, shortly, uh, to let you know what I found. Alright, let's go talk to frogs. Do we need a frog speak amulet? <laughs> uh, frog. That's not talkable. All the talkable frogs. Talk to, talk to. I want the cyan one. Give me this one. Oh, hello. Hang on. You can talk? Well, of course we can talk. Silly, why wouldn't we be able to? Well, I guess I just never considered it before. We live in a world where giant lizards with wings fly around and expel highly uh, com combustible <laughs> fluids from their throats, but you never considered a frog could talk? Well, when you put it that way. Also, we saw monkeys that could talk and everything else. <laughs> 
Uh, well, now that we've established our remarkable linguistic capabilities, how about some introductions? I'm Sue, and this is Gary. Ah, Gary. I don't have any names over their heads. Normally in quests or stuff, uh, things get auto-updated. Did I not do that? Your name should be Sue now, and you should be Gary. We learned info. Uh, because they actually updated that, so they could uh, change that at one point. But uh, they didn't do it for this quest, unless it's going to happen after next dialogue or something. Over there, you have Dave and Jane. And good old Miss Mr. Uh, Lonesome. Over there is Cuthbert. Uh, pleased to meet you. Well, uh, what can we do for you? Uh, well, there's a guy over there, and he thinks you're evil. All of you. Every last one of you. Evil? We're not evil. We're just on strike. I'm sorry, what? We're on strike. Uh, fair work requires fair treatment, and we've had enough of this nonsense. But what do you do? What are you striking from? Oh, well, I can't really remember. It's been so long that I've gone and totally forgotten. Hey, Gary, why are we on strike? No idea. I've uh, been on strike my whole life. Uh, just like my pa and his pa before him. At this point, it's kind of a family tradition. I know it's because of him, though, uh, that monsters spend every day uh, mistreating us. If he ever wants to see any work from us, he needs to start showing some basic respect. Too right, Gary. Too right. What reason do we have for thinking we're evil anyway? Well, he's one of the uh, capitalists, isn't he? <laughs> they see a worker uh, demanding fair rights, and they go loopy. Uh, can't have anything getting in the way of the profit margins. Uh, actually, he never mentioned anything about work. He seems to think you're out to overthrow humanity. Overthrow humanity? What a load of nonsense! Uh, we love humans. Gary, uh, here. Had one as a pet once. Ah, those were the days. Always loved my, uh, Sentia. Uh, such a shame about the accident. Dot dot dot. <laughs> it wasn't your fault, Gary. It wasn't your fault. Anyway, uh, if this, ch uh, chap thinks we're plotting to overthrow humanity, uh, what's he planning to do about it? I'm not sure. Uh, he did mention at some point something about killing you all. He wants to what? He wants to kill us. Uh, well, uh, now I think we should overthrow humanity. <laughs> Wait, no, don't do that. Uh, yeah, uh, we've been treated like second class citizens for too long. The revolution starts today. Wait, how about peace? Peace? Interesting. I suppose peace could be fun. Uh, there would be need to be some assurances, though. Wouldn't want the guy going back on his word. Right. Well, how about I go and ask him what conditions he'd be willing to accept? Well, that sounds just well. Okay, I'll be back shortly. What is this quest? <laughs> Striking frogs. Some guy that thinks they're gonna uh, kill them all. Of humanity. The frogs didn't kill you! This is unexpected! Uh, well, I had to chat with them. And they're open to engaging in some peace talks. Peace? The hypocrisy! After everything they've done, they think peace is an option? Absolutely not. Okay, but what exactly have they done that means peace isn't an option? Oh, well... Dot dot dot. Well, you know... More dots. They just... Uh... Yes. <laughs> Look, I can't remember. Uh, but they just have done something. They both just don't even remember. They just have, like, a dispute over absolute nothing. Uh, uh, Tetamo. I know. My brain. Yes, I'm starting to think that we're, uh, the problem lies as well. Uh, they must have taken my brain. That's why I can't remember. <laughs> you tell them I want my brain back. So you will be willing to negotiate peace in exchange for your brain. Negotiate? I don't negotiate with monsters. I don't think they're monsters. They just seem somewhat friendly. Well, do they have a leader? I'm not sure. Well, you go tell them that. I'll only negotiate with their leader. Every day I find myself further questioning my life choices. <laughs> Fine. I'll go ask them about their leader. 
All right, are you the leader? The cyan one definitely has to be the leader. Oh, good. Their names got updated. There's Sue. There's Gary. Wait, where's the other two? Did the other two get updated too? Yep, there's Dave. There's Jan. Yeah, they all got updated. Nice. They're not just frogs anymore. Hello again. Have you found out the uh, what peace conditions the grumpy guts was? Uh, sort of. He seems open to the idea of peace talks, but he will only negotiate with your leader. Do you have a leader? Oh, well, not really. Nah, uh, we're about co uh, collective leadership. Uh, we did... <laughs> Communism. <laughs> <laughs> we did consider starting a union at one point, but Dave messed up the paperwork. Well, <laughs> would you be interested in having a leader? Uh, change to our political uh, structure? That's quite the thing to undergo. Yeah, especially in times of war. <laughs> Still, maybe we need to mix things up. Uh, we've been uh, saying for a while now that uh, we've been uh, stagnating. Uh, perhaps this is just the thing we need. Uh, there would need to be an election, of course. Uh, do you have a process for that sort of thing? Is he going to assassinate the uh, competition? It seems like that's going to happen. <laughs> Absolutely. We use a first uh, past the port uh, system uh, where everyone votes based on a candidate's hopping capabilities. Come again? Oh, it's all very simple. Uh, the candidates perform their finest hop and everyone else votes on which they thought was best. Uh, the one with the most votes wins. I see. Well, I don't. But for the sake of my sanity... Let's say I do. Shall we call an election then? Sounds like a wonderful idea. There's just uh, the small matter of Cuthbert. Cuthbert? That's right. You see, while you were gone, we told the others about the whole killing us all business. Now, I must admit, emotions did run a bit high, especially for Cuthbert. How do you say that? Cuthbert? Uh, once, uh, uh, once he learns about the election... He will almost definitely want to put himself forward, and I'm afraid he has little interest in peace. I mean, uh, can you blame the guy? Uh, Cuthbert was uh, once the leader of the Frogs for Humanity Society. <laughs> the guy loved humans, but after uh, what they did to his favorite plants, some wonder, uh, some wounds never heal. So you're saying? I wonder if that plant is like secretly somewhere around here. Put it. <laughs> The other guy's comment. So you're saying Cuthbert. This was actually, I believe, an unpolled quest. They just added this because they felt like it. <laughs> this is a very RuneScape-like quest, I do have to say, though. So you're saying Cuthbert. It's really on brand. <laughs> despite being very out there. Uh, So you're saying Cuthbert can't win an election? The idea of rigging an election is one that fills my uh, democracy-loving heart with terror. <laughs> but yes, uh, we will need to do that. It's okay if we're the ones who do it, right? <laughs> Not in the slightest, but I do love the positive attitude. Besides, the alternative is all out war with humanity. Which we very much need to avoid. So how do we uh, ensure Cuthbert can't win the election? Uh, the hop-off will be see the candidates hop from the shore to a lily pad. Now, if Cuthbert lily pad had an unfortunate hole in it... Yeah, they're gonna kill him. If it had a little accident. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm off to sabotage a lily pad. Just be careful of Dave and Jane. Uh, they're sticklers for the rules. I'm afraid. Uh, you can't let them see you. Alright, how do we avoid that? Alright, there's two lily pads there. If I just click sabotage. Hey, don't go near that lily pad. We've got them all set up. Ready uh, for the hop off. Hmm. How to distract. Hmm. There's an axe here. Do I need this for anything? Do I need log? You already have an axe. Oh, I guess I do have an axe, don't I? <laughs> True. I don't know. Do I need to do something with a tree? There's a bunch of trees here and an axe. Do I use the logs on the lily pad? No. There's a teak tree here. I didn't even notice those. 
Do I use the log on the Jane? The log on the Dave? Maybe I talk to them. Maybe they'll give me a hint. Uh, hello there. Have you heard about the election? Isn't it thrilling? Uh, this is definitely a, a word that could uh, be used to describe the situation. Anyway, speaking of the election, I need to inspect the lily pads. No can do. Uh, we've got them all set up nicely. Can't be letting anyone mess things up, can we? Of course not. But don't you think it would be wise for a third party just to give them a quick uh, once over? Besides, the two of you deserve a break. Is that an anti two party system <laughs> comment? <laughs> I know he means third party as in, you know, like a third party checking kind of thing. But uh, in politics, you know, a third party generally means something completely different, uh, especially in a two party system. Uh, well, I really could uh, do with a bit of uh, rest. Uh, not to mention the fact that I'm uh, starving. Still, oh, we probably need to give some kind of food then. Uh, starving. Uh, not to mention the fact that I'm starving. Uh, still, the lily pads are out our duty. Uh, it would be wrong of us to let anyone else touch them. Hmm. You said you were hungry. Uh, out of interest. What would you fancy? Oh gosh, I'm going to need to catch some kind of new hunter creature, aren't I? He's going to just say something completely random and we need to go catch it. Uh, you said you were hungry. Uh, out of interest. What would you fancy? For when the election is uh, out of the way, of course. Oh, uh, I need a kill for a nice tasty orange. Oh, do I need to go get an orange? There better be an orange spawn around here. An orange? I didn't know frogs eat oranges. Yes, uh, most people think uh, we just eat flies. Uh, we do. Uh, well, you, you aren't doing too good of a job. <laughs> uh, we do, and uh, we have them, or love them. But sometimes you find that you're just had enough flies and fancy something more exotic. Where do you get your oranges? Uh, they grow on trees around here. Uh, like this one. Uh, right next to us. It's not an orange tree. Uh, it'll be a teak tree. From time to time, an orange will fall off. Uh, but the really good ones are the ones at the top. Uh, just a shame. Uh, we can't reach those ones. Hmm. Oh, I see the orange tree. Isn't that it right there? Chop down orange tree. No, I want to take orange from top of orange tree. Maybe if I cut this tree. Aha! Look! Oranges! Oh, quick. Sabotage. You pick up a, a small stone from the shore and throw it at the lily pad. It leaves a barely noticeable hole in it. Oh, wait, never mind. That's all we had to do. I was going to throw a log at it. <laughs> but yeah, I just need a small hole. All right, I think that's all we need, right? Now we talk to this guy, probably. I've sabotaged uh, successfully the lily pad. Hello again! How are things going with that lily pad sabotage? It's all stored. Or sorted. Uh, and just in time as well. The hop-off is about to begin. So who's Cuthbert's, anyways? Or competition? Sue, of course! Uh, don't worry. Once I win, I'll make sure these peace talks go nice and smoothly. Then shall we get started? Let's. All right, election time. Gosh, how many different frog colors do we have here? And the red guy must be uh, Cuthbert or whatever his name is. Yep, he even says it right there. Examine. 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 Sure, I'll go for you too. Why not? Examine. 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 Anyways, uh, welcome. I'll check them after. I can't check them now. Uh, welcome, one and all. Oh, the wrong person. Welcome, one and all, uh, to what is bound to be a thrilling frog hop off. Uh, the stakes are high for this one, and indeed, the future of our entire world may well be at stake. Our first contendent for today is Sue. Uh, let's see what she's got. I've been doing a wrong voice. So that's a female, though. I made the blue uh, frog female. Uh, what a, a corker of a hop. Excellent work. Next up, we have Culpert. Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh, they did sabotage it. I'd have failed they would kill him all. That's how elections work. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah, uh, totally slipped my mind. <laughs> uh, frog joke. Totally slipped my mind, but he never uh, learned how to swim. A frog that never learned to swim? Are you serious right now? You were literally born in water. <laughs> Afraid so. Uh, Cooper is now as dead as an old one. 
Uh, with only one uh, contender. I like how they still try to bring in the lore of this place. <laughs> they still have to drop at least one thing with Voldemort lore. It's like, yeah, there's a reason why this quest is here. It's not just here to exist. We mentioned one line that's related to Voldemort. Uh, with only one uh, contender left standing, I can now announce that Sue is the winner by process of murder. <laughs> well, uh, now that's all sorted, uh, we can get these peace talks underway. I can't believe we killed him. Ah, don't worry yourself. Uh, something like this was bound to happen at some point. It's his fault, really. Imagine never learning to swim. Exactly. So, what does our foe want? He thinks you've stolen his brain and would like it back. <laughs> I forgot. That's the whole reason we even did this. His brain? But we don't have the brain. Or his brain. Uh, well, is there anything else you can offer him? Uh, uh not really. Uh, there must be something. It's not like we really do much. We're frogs. All we do is eat flies along with the old orange. Well, maybe we can still work this out. I'm sure our friend doesn't like flies. Uh, maybe you could uh, deal with the flies around here for him. Sounds like a job for us. Uh, though, we'd of course need something in return. Which is... Uh, fair pay. For fair work, of course. If not... Uh, we'll go on strike. Uh, we're good at doing going on strike. And how would you like to be paid? Well, normally, I'd say in flies, but it seems we've got that covered. Oranges? Oranges! Perfect! Oh, and orange juice as well. Straight from the tap. From the tap? Orange juice doesn't... <laughs> Actually, never mind. Let's not uh, complicate things further. I'll take these terms to him and see what he says. Oh, this just to get a tree patch. <laughs> That's just something else you get from this quest. What a weird quest. They're putting a lot of lore behind this tree patch here, gosh. <laughs> oh, what even? Uh, have you found the leader of these frogs? I'm only going to negotiate with the leader. Uh, yes, the frogs have uh, selected a leader. And she has sent me... Uh, hey, a female won an election. No, it's <laughs> uh, let's see. They're basically their president now. Uh, yes, the frogs have uh, selected a leader. And she has sent me uh, with these terms. Uh, what what are they? Oh, I thought he was making some kind of sexist joke. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> I really thought he would have there. It's like a female leader. How could they do such a thing? Uh, the frogs, uh, I guess they don't want that in their game. I guess that makes sense. This character definitely seems like he would. If they weren't holding back with this guy's dialogue, he definitely feels like a character that would 100% have an opinion like that. The frogs will kill the flies around the oasis, and in return, uh, they'd like you to pay them in oranges. Flies? But what have the flies done wrong? Uh, well, don't they spread disease and eat your food? As well as this patch that's currently just weeds? <laughs> yes, but so did my brother. And I never wanted him dead. Uh, what else have the flies been doing? I don't know. Uh, you seemed convinced the frogs were out to get you before. Maybe the flies are as well. The flies are out to get me? Is this really true? You know, what? Sure. The flies want you dead. And they plan to do it tonight. <laughs> the fly assassination. The monsters! So, are you willing to make this deal with the frogs? Uh, not yet. First, I must see proof of this horrific betrayal by the flies. <laughs> Find this proof for me, and I will agree to the deal. Uh, maybe my whole life's just one big nightmare. Fine, I'll find this proof. Uh, you don't know how to get proof. Okay, let me go talk to the frog. Uh, hello. How go peace talks? Uh, he's open to the proposals, but he wants proof that the flies are against him. He doesn't half complain, does he? Uh, maybe it would have, uh, just been easier to kill him. <laughs> uh, how about you steal a prized possession of his and plant it on the flies? Oh, good. Uh, now we're adding a theft to today's crimes. Uh, well... 
It would. It could be worse. It could be murder. You already murdered the frog. We already committed murder. <laughs> nah, that wasn't murder. Manslaughter at best. Or uh, would that be frog slaughter? It had to be done. Now, why don't you go and find something to steal? Fine. All right, let's go check the house. There should be something valuable. All right. Oh, uh, what do we have to steal? Can I steal his axe? If I drop one, I can steal his axe. So I'm pretty sure it's not what we need to steal. Oh, a chest. Anything in a chest? Hmm. This is a problem. <laughs> Search bed. Uh, my dearest N N N Nalilia, uh, as I gaze into the night sky, the stars shine like diamonds, reminding me of your radiant beauty. Over the years, uh, my love uh, for you has only grown. It matures uh, like a fine cheese, developing a sense that is truly unforgettable. Giggity. I pray to Rallos that we will soon be untied, and I also pray that this letter is not mysteriously lost, uh, like the last 28 I sent. Uh, forever yours, Marcellus. Okay, N-A-L-I-A. N-A-L-I-A. Or on earth is N. N A L I, A. If that's not it, I have no clue what it is. When these are supposed to be an L, isn't it? It's like Nalia. How did I get that wrong? There we go. There we go. Got it. Uh, so you unlock the chest and find a plushie inside. Examine plushie. Oh, yeah, I didn't check all the other examines. A rather large frog. Oh, they're all just called the rather large frog. What a happy cappy. Yeah, for the cappy borer, that's funny. Uh, let's see, that seemed to work. Not much, blah, blah, blah. An adorable plushie. Okay, nothing much for this flavor text. They're getting lazy with flavor text lately. Yeah, I had better examine text. They've been slacking on examine text. A home for frogs. Uh, anyways, uh, what am I doing? How do I plant this somewhere? Can I plant it in his tree patch? <laughs> Quite literally planting it. Uh, hello. Uh, did you find something to steal? Uh, yes, I found a plushie of his. Perfect. Uh, shove it in the big pile of dung. Uh, the flies uh, keep gathering around. And then uh, go and let him know. Pooh, how wonderful. <laughs> Alright, where is it? I think I saw it over here earlier. Uh, Alright. Put that right in there. Do I need a bigger pile? Oh, plant evidence, I see. I need a bigger pile of it. Uh, you place the uh, plushie right into the middle of the dung. Oh, we got a boss fight. Oh, no. He lived. Oh, he didn't die after all. Oh, that was a hard boss fight. His HP still going. <laughs> Alright, we barely survived. Attack six. <laughs> Anyways, you're back. Uh, do you have proof? I, I think I do. Uh, you see... Uh, that big pile of dung. The flies are, uh, gathered around. I'm sure I saw something, uh, belonging to you in it. It cannot be. Wait. Wait here. I must check at once. I see my worst fears have come to pass. This is a dark day. Not just for me, but for all of humanity. Return to the frogs. Tell them we have a deal. All right, there we go. What on earth was this quest? <laughs> this is such a RuneScape quest, though. This is so on brand with the humor this game generally has. When it's not taking itself seriously. I have good news. The terms have been accepted. Wonderful. Peace at the last. Oh, and it turns out Kubert uh, was still alive after all. Kubert's alive? Amazing. But then we killed him. Wait. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, he's now properly dead. <laughs> Wait, what happens if you leave him alive the whole time? Oh. <laughs> I like how we just implied that we just killed him. Uh, was always, uh, has, uh, let's see. War always has casualties. 
Uh, we will forever remember <laughs> Cuthbert's sacrifice. <laughs> Ram said, uh, today will be, oh, I did the voice in for so long. Uh, today uh, will be a day remembered by all of Frog Kind and much of it thanks to you. Thanks. I only wish I had the ability to scrub the memories of, <laughs> of all of this from my brain. But as I can't, I guess I now have to carry them forever. Have you tried soap and water? Oddly enough, no. Oh, uh, don't be so negative. Uh, you've had done a good thing. Now go. Go with the blessing of the frogs. And know that you really are a true hero. I get 2k woodcutting XP for this. They basically added another uh, super easy woodcutting in early game. Because the other one that you get for that is um, Monk's Friend. So now you can com combo this for like almost 4,000 XP or whatever it is. Uh, so we get access to a new hardwood. What do you mean a new hardwood? Oh, a new hardwood farming patch. I see. Those are two different things. I read that as access to a new hardwood and a farming patch. But no, it's access to a new hardwood farming patch. Two very different things. <laughs> uh, but that's one singular thing. And also 2,000 woodcutting XP. Uh, cool. Anyways. We're done here? <laughs> so I guess I could plant here if I really want to. Not going to bother right now, though. What does he have to say after all this? Uh, hello again. Uh, you helped forge an alliance with the frogs against those disgusting flies. Please, feel free to use my farming patch in return. It's the least I can do. Uh, anyways, we're done here. <laughs> well, that's every quest done in Voldemort now. <laughs> I guess there's technically only one piece of content we technically haven't done then. And that's the mining activity in that one place. So, oh wait, also, I haven't actually checked this dock. Let's go head over there, I guess, real quick. Let's go head to the dock, and then we'll go teleport over to, um... Oh, hopefully that's a bird. I think I, that is. Oh wait, I could bird to the bird then. All right, let me go bird to the bird. Then we'll go head to that dock, because I don't think I've looked there yet, or over there. Let's kind of, like, look around. And then we'll go do the mining activity over there. I also never made fire runes yet. Or the new fire rune. I'm not sure how you even do that. I think you just bring the splinters and some fire runes to alter. It's like the last two pieces of contents I think we haven't touched. And then we'll go do perilous moons with a hunter slayer task. So we'll be able to double dip on both again. Alright, so this seems to be a dock to get to one of the other islands. Like this whole area that we have over here. It's probably not utilized for much right now, but it will in the future. It looks like it has one of those travel thingies, though, where you can charter to other places. A singular feather. And pretty standard... Oh! Wait, this is better than standard stock. Well, it doesn't carry, like, a billion sardines like the one in Port Serum. You can actually buy raw hearing, which I actually do need for a clue step. Give me that. Oh, I have no money on me. Never mind. I can't do that. <laughs> Scratch that. Uh, but yeah, they have, um, yeah, all the standard fishing supplies, and they actually carry stock of some good things, like herring, if you need them for beginner clues. Raw mackerel for that one quest. I'm not sure if there's another shop, but you could use this. Um, I guess, isn't cod used for, um, what's his name? For recipe for disaster. And you can even buy swordfish here. And lobster. And they're stirred cheap, Wow. Why are they so cheap? Have they always been that cheap? Why do they cost like zero gold? 80 for a raw lobster. Huh. It's in the middle of nowhere though. Oh, there's a... Oh, there you can literally cook right here too. They literally have an oven right here. So you can trap her with one account to be right here and then just keep buying food. And then cooking it. That's not worth it compared to Quarum Blondes, but um... Interesting. That's a really interesting shop set up there. For area locked accounts to go utilize. <laughs> There's a well for water. Here's our bird to go head back over to somewhere. And we got a fisher. Anyone interesting here? Sailor. Green sailor. Big fishing net. Seagulls to train on. Charter ship guy. Oh, that means there's a charter shop here too. Standard stock that every charter has. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a quest dialogue here in the future. Once we get to those islands. I guess you'll go from here to there. Alright, uh, what do you sell? Not just helmets, you don't have to sell rune. 
All right, nothing too special here. And there's a sand pit over there. Might be the only sand pit in this whole area. All right, let's go bird over to, I guess, mountain then. And try the mining activity. So we want to go do the rude one right, real quick. The problem is I don't have the stuff on my inventory right now. Let's go to crafting guild real quick. Are right, we doing that? Um, yeah, we'll do it in that order. Let me go craft some fire runes because we haven't done that yet. I'm just going to teleport all the way out. We have plenty of bird tellies left. They're pretty cheap to go get more of too. And by cheap, I mean just grab them from the bank. Alright, uh, what am I looking for? So what do I need for this? I think I need fire runes. Splinters. So I don't want to do too, too many. Uh, is that it? Maybe pure essence? I'm going to bring pure essence just in case. Alright, uh, that should probably be everything we need. We'll find out when it's not. And now I think I just go to any random altar. As if it's like a runecrafting altar. I believe this is the closest one. Alright, uh, and I think I just used one on the thing. How does this work? Okay, you do need pure essence. I just created 30 of them. Wait, wait, wait. How many shards did that consume? You partially succeed to imbue the temple power. <gasps> These are considered combination runes! Oh. Hold up. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so there's no one closer to a bank. What's the closest altar to a bank? So I don't have to keep teleporting with bird. Or is the bird the best way? Um, Yeah, unless I want to run from there to there. Bird would be the closest one. Do I see any other altar near a bank? Is there really not a closer one? There's none over there. That one's too far from one. Yeah, those are the only two options. You either have to bank from there and go there. And run back and forth. Or you go to any bank. Use your Quetzal to get to here. Use that to get to there. And then go there. Which I think is quicker than running back and forth over and over again. Plus you would be using Stamina's doing that. Whereas this just uses uh, Quetzal charges. Yeah, let's go try that real quick. I wonder how much XP this is per hour. I'll do like one minute of it. <laughs> Which obviously isn't fully accurate, but just to kind of see. Right, give me my fire runes. Release. Uh, where is it? Clear. Oh wait, that's not where I wanted that. There we go. New fire rune just dropped. Uh, um. So what do we need for this? I need a way to get back to a bank. I need my Quetzal thingy. Can you not wield this in any way? You can't. That's unfortunate. Too bad you can't put it in the hunter kit or something and use it from there. Wait, can you actually wield the hunter kit? The hunter kit is so useless. Um, can you wield this? No. Why is this piece of content so useless? <laughs> you can at least... Why, why can't you just put the whistle on it and then wield it so you can then have a wieldable whistle? Like, that would actually make it useful. Because then that clears up a spot. But, uh, nope. Alright, uh, fine. We'll go get some um, Sunfire Shards. Uh, some Pure Essence. Where are my shards? Where are they? So we'll need that. We'll need that. We'll need a whole thing of Pure Essence. And then we just keep banking back and forth. Oh, yeah, I need Binding Necklace. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I could bring a pouch with me. Duh. <laughs> this is runecrafting after all. Hold up. But, uh, yeah, we can do this. We're not going to go particularly efficient on it. I just want to do it, like, once or twice, just kind of say. Yeah, we can do it like that. Get our thing. Have our telly ready. Oh, wait, I need fire runes, too, don't I? Um, because these are combination runes. Where we're combining fire runes with sunfire splinters. Which means I need a binding necklace. Where do I keep my binding necklace these days? I reorganize the bank, and I have no clue where I put it. <laughs> what tab is it even in? Put it in tab six. I put it in the tools tab. I guess that's technically correct. It doesn't really fit anywhere else, so. Uh, yeah, give me a binding necklace. Got plenty. Alright. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? This is one more pure essence. 
All right, should be good to go. And now we just use this. This gets me to the travel point. We then use last travel. I forgot for the fire runes! <laughs> okay, round two. <laughs> or round three, technically. We got this. We will eventually do this correctly. Alright, uh, so first, use whistle. Second, quick travel to... Uh, I might as well make it left click right now. Quick travel to last location. Let's try this again. And now we use this on this altar. Oh, I need to use the actual rune on the altar. Actually, that's not the telly I need. It would make sense to keep the crafting cape if you were actually doing this a ton. Keep the crafting cape right there. So you can go boom, 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 boom. Actually, I might even add it there. Not for this inventory. Yeah, I might just take it off and put it right there. It takes up on inventory space, but if you were doing this long term, but enough splinters, you would definitely do it that way. Interesting. They use up a decent amount of splinters, but that's fine. How much XP are we getting for that? Is it even worth it? But yeah, let me go take off this. All right, there we go. But yeah, this is how you would craft uh, sunfires then. Interesting. You know what? I'm just going to keep them right there. That's fine. Uh, oh, my pure essence isn't here, though. All right, and then we use Quetzal. All right. Then we quick travel right here. Then we use the mini map to go over here. Then we click our fire rune. Oh, there we go. A little sloppy there. All right, this uses way too many Sunflare splinters, splinters, though. I'll do one more inventory, I guess. I don't even think these are things are even that good relative to how many fire splinters they cost. And the XP rate seems like it's only like 60k an hour. Like 50, 60k, which is even that good. You could easily do way better with lavas and everything. Of course, I'm not doing this the most efficiently right now, but I, I I don't see this being over like 65k at absolute best. Oh, I need you to move. Okay, I should have had this over somewhere. Then we just do that. Boom, boom. Oh, there we go. All right, is there are they worth crafting? Probably not. Unless there's a really a piece of content where you needed to run fire for, which currently there isn't really. But, um, eh, they exist. <laughs> we have 406 of them now. I'd much rather just save them all for prayer, though. Especially since we're not really running much Colosseum. They seem way better spent on prayer. And the uh, XP that you get for it doesn't even seem that good. Like, it's not bad, but it is way better um, training methods for, um, for rune crafting out there. Interesting. All right, now the only piece of content we haven't tried yet now is the AFK... Um, mining method so let's go gear ourselves in oh i don't i forgot i kept the other stuff in my house let me go grab it real quick let me get uh i'm not sure if uh Varric armor 4 has any effect on this i assume no or not Varric. i mean Varrock. wrong Varric. <laughs> there's Varric and there's Varrock. <laughs> yeah let me go get this let me go get the outfit from our thing let me go get celestial ring i don't have a dragon pickaxe which i would definitely want before i ever do this but uh, let me get celestial Oh, I wonder if charging it works on this. Let me get some dust. I don't want a lot of it. I just want to see if it does work on it. Because if that works, then Varric's armor probably also works. Oh, uh, what else do we need? I guess a gem bag. We're not going to stay there long enough for that to matter, so I'm not going to bother. If we were afk it, we would. But uh, I'm just doing it for a few minutes just to kind of see what on earth this even is. Uh, oh, mining cape. I didn't actually haven't even bought the mining cape. Let me go get it. I don't even own a copy of it. <laughs> Uh, alright. That should be everything we need for the most part. We'll go grab Prospector. I'm not gonna bother with Amulet of Glory. Oh yeah, Mining Gloves in case it also works. I highly doubt it. But, um... Do I not keep Mining Gloves in here? Oh, I must have stored it away in my thing as well. 
Interesting. I should keep some of that in the bank. I mean, yeah, the bank. I was just kind of, kind of trying to consolidate some space. But I uh, might have over-consolidated a little. I'm not even sure if it's in here. Oh, da -da 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 -da. where's Prospector? Where's Prospector? Those mining gloves. Prospector is not in here. Prospector must be in here, then. All right, mining gloves and Prospector. Uh, there's mining gloves. And there's Prospector. Do either of them work? Oh, well, Prospector definitely does. All right, let's go get the mining cape, I guess. Uh, I'll just use Falador, I guess. I don't have a good way of getting it. I don't have the teleport on me. Uh, teleport menu. Falador, Falador, Falador. Some reason all this mess. Now, let's go buy the 99 mining cape. Does it do anything here? Probably not, but in case it does. And I will test to see if Celestial Ring does anything on it as well. This will be the last piece of content related to Voldemort that we haven't tried. As far as major content. Technically, we haven't talked to, like, literally every NPC and stuff like that, but we don't really need to. We've talked to quite a bit already. Alright, uh, 99 Mine and Keep Guy. Oh, wait, never mind. He's actually upstairs, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's right there. I would like to buy your skill cape. Uh, yes. Also, honestly, I might keep all this in the bank. I'm probably going to actually do this AFK method later. <laughs> like, as soon as I end the stream to go grab dinner, uh, after we do some more Perilous Moons and some Hunter, um, I'm probably just going to AFK to do Mining Method. Because <laughs> I need that Prairie XP. I need that to 99. And I still need Mining Pet, which I assume there's a chance. Small chance, but a chance. All right, so we have 10 Stardust. Um, we'll do that in a moment. Let's use the Quetzal Whistle. So now that we have proper mining equipment other than a glory but um i'd rather have the shards and the glory stuff all right travel uh right over here but yeah this is something that we got access to when we did that quest earlier so if we go in here and head through to the side here i think all we do is just go there and click i'm not sure how much we can afk off of one click but we just click on rock and click on shiny rock for more loot. Or if you just want a super AFK, just click on rock. I wonder if there's anyone else doing this over here. We're not in the total level world anymore, are we? It's actually a good thing. I actually want to see what Perlius Moon is like in a non-total world. Oh, I still am. Never mind. But yeah, I need to go swap worlds before we actually go back to Perlius Moons. I kind of want to see some level 70s or something that are doing it. Okay, we see some guys over here doing it. Okay, I see a thing over here. I believe we can go in the same vein and it won't matter. Right, he's not wearing a 99 mining cape. Oh, could, there's a chance he doesn't have 99 mining. That's true, too. So we get bone shards from this. Okay, all of our water went away. Come back, water. Wait, I'm still mining, even with no water. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Okay, I see. You have to do it from these. Wait, can I mark object? Mark object. Mark object. We're going to make this ultra AFK. Mark object. Mark object. I'm going to mark any of them that are the correct one. Oh, this one's currently correct. Mark object. Because then they should become unmarked. When they switch. And all this gets converted to per XP. Every single one of these is um, 6 XP. It's honestly isn't too bad for super AFK things. Oh, never mind. Marking them like that doesn't actually keep their other ID. They all share the same ID. So that's not going to work. And that's when they get fully depleted. Does this disappear? Let me see. When our guy stops mining, does this turn to not yellow anymore? That is the question. I gotta wait till he stops mining to know. <laughs> 
It does. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. It is still worth marking them. Hold. Hold. It is actually worth marking them. Oh, that's perfect. All right, now we can super AFK. Just click on yellow box. And ideally, yellow box also has blue shining in it. But otherwise, just click on yellow box. And yeah, that's all you have to do to AFK. It's yellow box clicking simulator. <laughs> if you don't see XP drops, just click on a yellow box. Oh, we got this thing. What is this? A classified deposit. Examine. Um, a deposit of classified rock uh, with bits of bone. It looks quite smashable. All right, we probably need a hammer for that. I don't have a hammer on me. That means we have to bring a hammer. Right, this will be the last one we go for for now. Let's see what's in this. We'll go to the bank and get a hammer. Yeah, we'll need to make sure you bring a hammer when you come here too, it looks like. Oh yeah, there's one last thing I wanted to go check. I'll wait till this deposit's done. I want to remove my Celestial Ring, charge it, and see if it actually gives more charges here. To give you even more bone. Because that way you can convert all your shards into more prayer XP if you wanted to. Which would be kind of cool. I will find out if this becomes uncharged. Wait, it is still uncharged. Wait, what happened? Remove. Use. Oh, I didn't type a number. There we go. All right, now it's charged. Now what I want to see is, uh, does it go down to zero charges? Check. It's still at 10. Oh, uh, it doesn't work on it. Remove. Uh, uncharge. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's unfortunate. That also means Prospector likely isn't working. That also means 99 Mining Keep likely isn't working. Right, this will be the last vein we go for then. Come on, give us one more deposit. I assume these just give you more bones. You just have to hammer them ever so occasionally. Like if you AFK for like a whole hour, you'll probably have like a whole inventory of these. But yeah, that means Prospector likely doesn't work. I mean, not Prospector. I mean, Varric's armor likely doesn't work. 99 Mining Keep doesn't uh, likely doesn't work. Expert Gloves likely doesn't work. And Celestial Rings uh, extra uh, chance for more doesn't work. So everything except the 2.5% uh, extra XP <laughs> is the only thing working there. Unfortunate. That'd be a good place to put a random Runite Ore as well. I'm not sure if there actually is one there. A <laughs> burnt chicken on a table over there. Uh, anyways, uh, let me go get a hammer and crush this, and then I guess we're back to Perilous Moons while also doing a hunter contract. Because we currently have a hunter contract for the, uh, those little uh, things that are in Perilous Moons. All right, let me go get a hammer. So what's in this? I assume just some amount of shards. Let me go for zero just so we know exactly how many. So if I use a hammer on this, how many do we get? Um, you need to do this on an anvil. Oh! Wait, that's a problem. There's not an anvil here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that means you have to go all the way over from there to there. When you want to stop AFKing. Or, you know, when you have, like, a full inventory of them. That's a little unfortunate. Bit of a walk. But yeah, these are, like, the deposits from, um... The one other area. Where you use it on an anvil and then get your stuff from it. Alright, 11. That means if you did a full inventory, let's say a 10 on average, um, you'd have hammer as one of yours, you'd have bones as the other, you'd have your other thing as that. So you'd get 250 per inventory on top of everything you have in your big stack from just AFK mining them. And I assume that would take about an hour to fill up your inventory. And then every hour you'd have to stop AFKing and head over there just for a short duration. Interesting. Maybe I'll try that method more later. For now, Perlius Moon Time! Alright, so what do we need? Uh, first things first, before I forget it, because I will forget it. Uh, escape crystal. And uh, means of getting away. How about a house telly? Actually, no, I'll do crafting telly. Alright, next. Um, Now we need gear. Because that's all the supplies we need. Actually, I'll grab our combo food just in case. I haven't come close to even remotely needing them. Hmm. I don't know, do I just go with nothing? 
I think I just pre-pot like a super um divine and that's it. Like what do we need beyond that? <laughs> that's basically the entire supply we need. Like that's it. Like that. That that's that's our entire supply. That's the all of it. <laughs> Wait, we don't even need that. You can literally make all the potions before we even get in there. It's not like we're gonna need a panic heal. You you don't take enough damage to ever need to like mass heal. If we're at that point, we should be teleporting. If we're at a point where we need to heal that much in this mode. So yeah, we just bring in literally, literally nothing. Other than equipment. <laughs> uh all right, let's go get some equipment now. I think I saved this on a tab so I remember to um actually uh switch into it quickly. What do we call this? Let's just call it moons. Moons. I never did change this thing's icon. Oh, uh, let's see. Change icon. Uh, hunter kit. Hunter's kit. Uh, where's Hunter's kit? I'll do that Hunter's kit. Why not? All right. Change icon. Uh, uh, I forgot what the thing is called. Sulfur blade. No. Blade. That's technically that. That's one of the drops here, technically. I need a better icon later, though. But for now, that's fine. All right, next. Both of those need to change, but <laughs> they'll stay like that for now. All right, let's go actually get some gear now. So we already know kind of what we want to run. It's the same thing we ran earlier. Let's we want to go down a strength route this time to see how much more damage we take, if it's worth it to kill them quicker at the cost of taking more damage. The problem is that makes our prep times longer if we have to keep healing like that. But it's something we can do. Like run this, this. All right, let's try it. We're going to try it this time just for the sake of it. Because having a little more damage could be nice. I'm going to go all in damage. With the only tank thing being our legs. Because it's not worth it for only one strength. But yeah, we'll go max damage this time. Unlike before where we're basically max tank minus defender. Uh, let's see. So that's one of our weapons. We need whip and we need um, our spec weapon. The first one we'd be killing is weak to stab. Then crush. Uh, okay, so I need berserker ring. I need tank legs, bearer gloves, and a little blessing thingy. So we, Oh yeah, I could change my spellbook too. If I actually remember. Yeah, we'll do it this time. Why not? If we summon like one or two per kill. That's only like, what, 30 blood runes per run? That's pretty much nothing. I think we have enough blood runes as possibly with our two 300 stack. It was like 350. I actually ended up using a ton. We went really dry on zombie ox. Uh, all right, we'll take that. Uh, let's see. Equip that. Plus Slayer and stuff. Use it occasionally. Then I guess we just go Varox legs. Rock. I really still need to re reorganize my reorganize. The problem is I, I need a lot more better equipment there before I can really get it organized. And then just Berserker Ring. I never know how to, like, organize equipment, though. Because unlike other tabs where you always grab the same thing. Like, if you're doing a farm run, it's like, okay, yeah, I'll need, uh... You know, it, it's really obvious what you need to get every single time and it never changes. Whereas, um... Stuff like equipment changes drastically. Depending on what you're doing. Alright, so yeah, I think this will be our setup then. We lose about 100 of all defenses, but we gain around, uh, we also have 6 lower per bonus, so that's not too relevant. But we gain around, like, let's see, I can actually tell exactly how much more strength bonus we have. This has 2 more than Fury. This has 6 more than Tank Helm. So, 6, 8, 14, uh, 18. We have 18 more strength bonus in this setup than the other, at the sacrifice of about 100 all defenses. For 18 more strength. Is that worth it? We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm not sure if it is. But, um, oh, we'll find out. They are sacrificing 100 defense for 18 strength. Right, and that's it. That's our whole inventory then. Panic escape. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me go change my spellbook on like before where I completely forgot. That might be helpful. Spellbook swap. Uh, Arceus. Combat. There we go. Alright, anything else we need? Are we good to go? 
That should be all we need. And the rest just becomes the food we get from the thing. All right, off we go. Panic teleport. Uh, the not die teleport. Book for an undead thing. Runes for this undead thing. Stab, slash, and crush weapon. A runes to cast them. And zero food. Which is way more than enough. Why are there always people trying to catch them right here? I never understand that. I've been seeing that several times today. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to switch worlds. Wait, let me get out of here. Because I'm not sure what happens when you like switch worlds when you're in the chamber. Let me get all the way out of here just in case something weird happens. I want to be like out out of here. I highly doubt you'll like auto die or something, but I wouldn't put it beyond them. To code it very weirdly. Uh, we are completely out of perilous moons. I want to go to a different world. One where a lot of lower players will be. House party would be a little bit too crowded. I'm still going to try though. I kind of want to. Nah, we're not going to bother. Um, Guardians of the Rift. I don't need extra lag. Let's just go to a generic high population world. I just want to see um, like what people are running. Because we're in a max world right now, basically. But I want to see what uh, people like level 70 are running with. <laughs> Just in curiosity. The only problem is the overall population here might be lower as well. Well, obviously. But I'm trying to see lower level players by doing this. Right, let's go get our equipment. Normally we'd have enough run energy to make it there, but because I kept running back and forth, I don't think we will. Also, we do still have a hunter contract for catching these things, by the way. Which, if you ever wonder why I'm just randomly doing it. It's probably because of hunter contract. Oh, we almost had enough run energy to make it. So close yet so far. Is that guy running full Derek? <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, can you only take it once per thing? Interesting. All right, and then we get our fish. Good time for our water break. And then, um, yeah, we'll be all geared up. Yeah, it's really insane that you just don't need anything here. You don't even need to bring in anything. Let's see, what kind of gear do we have? Pretty standard, uh, bit of an odd one. I know, that's the kind of build I want to see. <laughs> this is why I came to a lower total world. Obsidian, also incorrect. Like, I was considering this to be not tanky enough. And this guy's here at Obsidian, which I think is like almost the defense stats of like Adamant or Rune or something. Which I think it might even be closer to Adamant. I think Rune quite literally has higher defense than Obsidian. A lot of full Bandos people. Someone in full Dragon instead of uh, anything Barrows. That guy's in partial Barrows with um, a Justicar or Justicar, how do we say that? Chest plate. Now, that, that's a combo right there. <laughs> I assume he didn't have enough to buy full Justicure. So I ran one piece. Why is he fishing all the way over there? Does he not know there's a fishing spot right there? This is why I come to these worlds. <laughs> you can see a lot of uh, interesting things. To say the least. Wait, you're about to enter a dangerous area. Item dropped within the area may be uh, irretrievable. Yes, don't tell me this again. Did I already tell it to not tell me again? I 
have sworn we did that earlier already. <laughs> yeah, let's see how much better our DPS is. Because we effectively have almost 10% more DPS now. hit by a one. I don't feel like I'm too far behind at the moment. Hey, maybe I'm running higher strength actually is worth it. Because we're taking like zero damage right now. Other than me making dumb mistakes. <laughs> but ignoring that, we're taking basically zero damage. Even in 100 less all defense. Unfortunately, not enough damage to one cycle this time. Up two off. Guess I need to get reused to this. I still find it to be the clunkiest mechanic used in this place. It's a cool mechanic, though. I do like it. I just find it to be really clunky. Mostly because his hitbox of his body is just so weird there. Or even if he doesn't even have a hitbox, but it feels like you're clicking on him rather than the tile. Oh, we got our task done already. Oh, no. Are we only doing one run? I guess I'll use my entire inventory. Ah, uh, do we go back to hunter contracts? That was so quick. That was so absurdly quick. Where did my weapon go? Up oh, right over there. See, what's the lowest level here right now? I see a 108, or 101, I mean. Once again, I brought these things and I keep not using them at all. Okay, is that actually weaker to magic than it is to the thing? I feel like melee would be its weakest. I guess it doesn't really matter for the most part, its defenses are so low. That's pretty flawless. Oh, so this place doesn't have combat achievements yet. But I'm willing to make a bet. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, okay. Maybe defense does matter. Oh. If it hits, it goes on a spree. It's slightly concerning. Like, how often is that really going to happen? But when it does, I think they can hit almost 23 times. You do that twice when you're not paying attention, that's 120 damage. Or something like that around there. Like, it's so unlikely to occur, but it's not impossible to occur, is the problem. <laughs> I don't know. The speed at which we can do it with this, I think, outweighs the damage. Just have to take the risk with more reward. Too early.
Oh, please kill it this cycle. Come on, we have so much more damage. How are you hitting less? <laughs> Come on, kill. No! How are we doing less damage with more damage? Doesn't make any sense. So the tile should be right here. It should be two forward. That's correct. It should be the tile if I was keeping track of the right one. Yeah, it is. there's more hunter creatures like this in this place or at least moonlight's on the main path if nothing else i mean sunlights i mean because there are sunlights here but they're not on the primary path also i don't even think there's any sunlights here here would be a great place to put some sunlight moths if nothing else we got nothing i will use up this inventory then we'll probably go back to hunter contract i guess because we have this saved in our bank now so we can re-gear it pretty quick That was a weird delay. Oh wow, that was clean. That halberd just destroyed it that time. I think that was the most damage our halberd ever did in a fight that quick. I'll take it. Yeah, honestly, I think better higher strength is better than tanking here. It's just so easy to resupply. Which is kind of sad, because I, I would love for this to be like an actual tank piece of content. But it's still better because of your score. How you get scored is based on how much damage you do. It's not like you get scored based on how no damage you take. <laughs> it's kind of weird that they didn't do it a little bit more like that. Because your entire score seems to be based on damage output. Like, as far as, like, the speed at which you can go through it. It's not like your defense stat is rolling against them as damage. Come on, one more big hit. There's no way we're making it in time. Oh, please, one more! Ah! Tank it, tank it. I still never killed them for their blades. They do have a unique drop. They said that multi-hitting weapons would be good, but I haven't seen a single situation where a multi-hitting weapon would be even remotely usable in this raid. Or, not raid, but whatever you want to call this dungeon thing.
No, don't disappear. No, why? Fix it, please. I better be fixing the next week. It's so annoying when you click on it, you just phase right through. Luckily, it doesn't have like some kind of smash attack that hits you like for 50 if you go under it. Oh, why did I not move? Whoops. I forgot we're in drag wire phase. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> That's over there. I'm really bad at keeping track of where that phase goes to next. For a lot of the other ones, we've been doing pretty good at it. You see, you, the bit, problem is, I keep thinking that my drag wire is the indicator of it, but it's not. Which is the main confusing thing during that. For figuring out when the next where the next circle is. What do we got here? I still want to try for one piece this stream. I want one so badly. <laughs> We're at 19 kill count with nothing. I have no clue if that's dry or not even remotely close to even getting to a piece. <laughs> I have no clue. This is such a good phase to start up in. Basically, just kill it before it even starts. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. One more hit, one more hit. <laughs> I wonder if you do lose loot if you make mistakes like that, though. I just keep tanking it, because why not? But I wonder if doing, like, flawless and gives, does give you more loot. Or higher chance for a thing. You should just stop tanking like that if that's actually the case. Though I have not the slightest clue. Oh, so did I just try killing that with a whip and no defender? Yeah, this seems like what just happened there. You have like a two-tick window to get away from that. Gives you a lot of leeway. Your double poke. Oh, my potion just went away. I'll drink a new one. One more hit. No. Unfortunate. Watch it not be the circle. <laughs> I'm just waiting for everyone to gather at a circle and it not be that circle. Because two people will be on the same circle and then everyone else will follow. Thinking that that was correct. <laughs> and then the whole party will just be in one single spot. It's 
definitely going to happen eventually. Uh, what does this drop? It drops that, um... Oh gosh, I sent it to you a while back. It was like that uh, magic armor and a few of those other things. That blue one. But those are the main things it drops. They seem to be pretty rare because I haven't seen a single person wearing a single piece yet. They're definitely way rarer than what Barrows is. They definitely wanted to milk this content for a while. But in all fairness, this is pretty good. Oh wait, where did I just move from? So that means I would have to be over here. To explain why there's people walking on the tile. Wait, how did I just take five damage? That was a weird sound effect. Also, I like how I brought Thralls and I have never casted them. I think once. <laughs> I keep forgetting to at the beginning of each phase. The amount of damage they supply probably is even worth it anyways. Yeah, as far as what we actually get from here, uh, a lot of it's actually an upgrade, too. Aside from a lot of it looking pretty visually cool. Um, the biggest upgrades would definitely be the bottom of melee or the weapon of melee. And pretty much anything from the mage set for the body or uh, legs. It goes four. Honestly, anything would be cool. That's one that kind of looks like a bird mask, too. It's not as good as Armadil. But, uh, or as nostalgic as it's. <laughs> Would still be another cool alternative. Unfortunately, uh, getting the full set of anything here is going to take probably quite a while. We've done it for a good portion today, and uh, I'm not even sure if we're at drop rate for a piece yet. Oh, good, ward orbs. The best drop that isn't a drop. Alright, we have enough supplies for one more run. We'll do that, then go turn in our hunter contracts and go do hunter contracts until we get moon uh, light things again. And honestly, I feel like that's the main gameplay loop here. Is do hunter contracts until you have uh, a moonlight uh, moth task. And then come here to go do the moonlight moths as you just naturally do the mode. Oh, we just missed a good phase. The moon. The moon! Hello, moon. Up too early. Ow. Interesting. Is that you taking damage during that? Gonna beat him in time. We would need two absurd hits. No, we're not gonna make it. Unfortunate. Get our prayer off here. You can take no damage here if we do it correctly. And he can't take any damage, so there's no point. down. Get some moths.
Oh, perfect. Right at the beginning of this battle. It's pretty much the most perfect time to come in. Right at the end of uh, wind turbine phase. I hope you can kill it before it starts again. Gosh, when it hits you, it hits you. <laughs> Those things don't mess around when they actually land. They really want you dead. Nice, we made it just in time. Right, we have no prayer restore left. I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Let me overheal. Hello, blood phase. How did I take 15 there? I thought before it was because I was attacking it. But that time it just felt like it. I know. Oh gosh, I'm way. I'm one tick early. Back. Oh, not enough damage. Unfortunate. One more poke will do it. All right, there we go. We're out of here. Back to uh, I keep on seeing farming contracts. Back to uh, hunter contracts. Turn in our moonlight. And then once we get another moonlight, we come right back. And basically get a free test done every time. While still getting Pearliest Moons done. I would love a thing. There we go. Nice. Water orbs. Okay. Unfortunately, no drop in 21 kills, but that's fine. Honestly, I should bring like a Quetzal Whistle here so I can have a way to get out. But well, it's not that bad. I'm just going here. Let me just make sure. I do have this saved, right? Oh, I didn't bother saving it. Oops. There we go. Actually, that's not the way I should have it. All right, there we go. Now it's correct. I didn't even bother saving it earlier. Yeah, we're just going to run with that. It doesn't seem worth it to run tank. And I just put it all this way. Then we go straight to our farming one. <laughs> and we'll be good to go. I keep saying farming. I mean, um, hunter. I'm going to farming. Oh yeah, I still don't have whistle saved correctly. He's upgraded my whistle earlier. I'm gonna redo that. Uh, let's see. You can stay there. You can stay there. Oh, why do I have a knife up there? Where do I want to organize this? I also don't have gold or the other thing in this setup. 
I guess also not herbivore. I just add them. Uh, this is our usable item. If we were to add them all, that'd be coins, pouch, would set to the right runes though. It'd be that, coins for the one task. Uh, let's see. Surprised they didn't remove the coin cost from it with this update. Coins, what else do we need? I guess Draman Staff? Or am I already wielding one? I might I'm already wielding one. Oh, uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I guess the two things for Herbivore. For whenever we do get it. Oh, uh, it'd be that and that. Yeah, that'd be the inventory then. And that covers basically every task, realistically. Alright, there we go. Uh, how many more of these do I have left? We have nine charges left, so this should be fine for now. We'll likely get another one of those moon things within nine. Alright, come on. Pet or any piece. I'll take anything. Because pieces get us closer to pet. And pet gets us pet. Ah, uh, fox. No. That's the only one I skip. Uh, saber-toothed kayak. Also no. Razor-backed uh, kebet. I can't remember what you do for that. So I don't have you guys set to rumor. Uh, Horned Grok. Ugh. Aren't Salamander. That one's actually pretty free. Oddly enough, with all the teleports I have, I actually don't have the right teleport for it. I also just realized I'm still on... Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother bringing the book and everything to, um, to Pearliest Moons. It just doesn't stay active enough for it to really do anything. Nor do I remember to cast it. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's just not worth it. Plus, you still need the blood runes and everything. And even if we have near infinite blood runes, they, they still go down if we're using them. We got nothing! Though what's new from those. Okay, next. Uh, I need Scepter. There's actually a really weird spot that they added uh, not too long ago. This is one of the reasons I actually take Orange Salamander. Is... Oh, I forgot! Ah! I forgot to bring Nets and everything. There's a really, really good spot over here. Yeah, we're still trying for the bird. Uh, the title says we'll try for 500 contracts. I'm not sure if we'll reach it. Let's see, how far are we today? We're at 69 right now. I'd have to do 31 more contracts. Hopefully we'll get there. We definitely will by the end of today. <laughs> Maybe not by the end of this stream. But they added a new orange salamander spot. And someone's using it, of course, there. Um, and it's right here. It's really good for skipping uh, tasks. <clears throat> because generally at least one of them asks you to do orange salamander. Not always. Or pretty commonly. And this spot is really, really good. It's a five net spot. Whereas the other ones are three and four net spots. And this was made before the Hunter thing even came out. Which is kind of funny because there was really no point to this ever. Because you would never hunt orange salamanders. They're pointless. But um, under a Hunter contract, <laughs> they're actually worth doing. So it's kind of interesting that this place has existed for like a little over a year. Yet uh, it didn't get a purpose until yesterday. <laughs> Because no one with a high enough hunter level to set five traps, which I think is like 80, would ever be doing R and Salamanders. Unless, <laughs> uh, with the new contract system that just came out. It's kind of funny that they added something like this and it didn't actually get a purpose still. Like a good year and a half later. I say we're thinking that far ahead. Got it already. Yep, it's, it, look how free a skip a task is. It's really nice. Super free. I'll grab these for the XP, might as well. Whatever hundred we can get. 
Yeah, it's pretty much just a free skip. And that's number 70. Unfortunately, this is only a tier 1 sack, but who knows? I'm pretty sure it still has all unique drops on it. Probably just a bit rare from it. Plus it loots a bit worse. Alright, uh, I need to turn this into who? Not you, uh, you. And then we get our new rumor from you. Please be something not awful. Uh, Teku Salamander. So I actually am gonna do this. Uh, the reason being, I didn't realize this earlier. There's a very small chance that your Teko Salamander will be an actual real one. Originally, they were going to make it so you used to spend a bunch of gold to make it real. But the way that they ultimately end up doing it is um, there's just a very, very, very absurdly, I have no clue how small, of a small chance that when you... Oh, wait, I put away my nets. I literally need them right now. Wait. <laughs> but there's an absurdly small chance that when doing them that you will get the wieldable one. And we still need that. So uh, let's go for it. I keep forgetting, you can't use the signal while here. It's kind of annoying. You now have to walk like a mile to go actually travel. I guess it, it would actually be quicker to teleport to anywheres that isn't here than teleport to, with your whistle than it would be to walk all the way over here. It's really weird that it doesn't let you use your whistle there. There's only one problem with this task though. Uh, every world is generally uh, like three people fighting over <laughs> these four spots. Alright, this guy looks like he just got here. He looks pretty AFK. Wait, is he done? Are we done? Is he done? He looks done. Wait, he's not done. Oh, he's done! <gasps> perfect! Oh, wow, what timing. That was his bird animation. Oh, that is perfect timing. <laughs> perfect replacement cycle. <laughs> he just finished. Yeah, hopefully we get the really rare wieldable one. We might actually use it if we get it. If we actually get it, I will go mess around with best in slot salamander. There's a few really weird things it can do. But if we actually get it today, I will mess around with it in some kind of PVM. Honestly, I kind of want to try it on Calfi Queen. I still have a Calfi Queen task. I wanted to see how good using range on its other phases. It has a really weird property that it counts as melee. And this is really relevant because you can actually um, flinch with it. You can't do it with normal ranger magic. This has a weird delay on it that will make it so you get hit back. It only works with melee. And uh, let's say I did something else with this update. Um, Salamander should be the only thing that can use ranger magic while still counting as melee. As far as the game is concerned. And this is relevant. Oh, of course I would get it immediately. I kind of wanted to actually catch a few for once. Oh, if we do get it, we're not getting it now. Unless we get really lucky off this one. It's the only one left. All right, come on. One of you guys go in. That's a really quick contract. Please come in here. Right, I'm just going to dismantle it. It's fine. All right, we're out here. On to the next one. Oh, it took no time at all. I think it felt like five. <laughs> felt like five. All right, we're out of here. Look at all those EXPs. I was testing it earlier. Uh, we were getting about 110k uh, per hour doing uh, contracts, just random contracts. Moonlight Antelope. Ooh, fun! We haven't gotten a Moonlight Antelope in a while. The problem is finding a free world, though. But that's a really fun one. That is still, other than Pearliest Moons, is probably my new favorite piece of content. <laughs> it's just catching those antelope, which is good because all their loot is insane. They have best in slot food, and they have, um... Like, they really wanted to make sure it was fun when they did that. But yeah, it has best in slot food, and it has, um... I need stamina. Uh, let's see. Would you do any stamina? I'll just still go for it, why not? But it has best in slot food plus uh, ammo for that one really good weapon. Alright, the problem now is, is there someone here? The answer is probably yes. I already see stuff on the ground. Now the problem will be finding a clear world. All right, maybe he's done. Can you just magically be done right now like the other guy? <laughs> Come 
Come on, find a world with no one. Luckily, there aren't people botting it yet. Nice. Whole world to ourself. All right, let's go get the cycle going. Let me start with that one antelope that's a mile and a half away. Oh, someone was just here. Oh, we came in a perfect cycle. Like, I just respawned back in. Which means someone just finished. Oh, did too early. Alright, let's go get the cycle going. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are all the good ones instant? <laughs> they literally got one KC on. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll eventually get to have fun. That's really funny. I don't mind that, though. Literally the first kill. Eventually we'll be able to be allowed to do them. Wretch and Champa. Hey. That's not too bad. Still no loot, though. I'm gonna go bank all this. I'm not sure why I always open every time. I'm allowed to store them to any amount. I just kind of open them immediately in hopes that we just get a hunter equipment. But, oh, well. Look at my stamina still going. I need that for when we run upwards. Upwards and onwards. All right, let me go get my five sacks, uh, boxes, wherever they are. View five boxes. And unfortunately, no imp along the way. I feel like every other time I go over here, there's a random imp. Uh, not this time. So far, Chinchampa is still the one we've gotten the highest on, I believe. Oh, of course, there's someone right at the good spot. Oops, I accidentally went to a British world. Why is there a British world surrounded by American East worlds? Who did such a thing? Oh, because they're ordered by... I see what's going on here. I have it ordered still by number. There we go. Finally, a free world. I have to go do a plus shape for once. It's an easier lazy format. <laughs> Doing all the tick manipulation and everything. Because with bad movement, it works better this way. So I always do that. I keep forgetting it creates another object. Because that way they're all adjacent to each other. Which is good for when we get a perfectly adjacent one. Like this. Because normally you'd want to walk under to get to reset quicker and tick manipulate so you get to trap quicker. But here it goes a little bit quicker without needing to deal with much. Alright, let's just hope it doesn't take over 100. I need red chins, but I don't want to go super dry here. I'd rather have had more antelopes, so this is a good task. I've just never been a huge fan of catching chins. Though, trying to get that bird pet is definitely motivating enough to go get chins. <laughs> but under normal circumstances, I pretty much never would. Also, I would love the one that is currently blocking us right now would come over here. We could always just use a bow. Or even just throw the red, ch red chin chompa at the red chin chompa. Which is something you could do. <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay, that's nice. I'm perfectly happy with that. Oh, no, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Let me turn the attack off. Turn it back on we do Pearliest Moons again. Oh no, you got the pet! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give I need that. Let's steal his bird. <laughs> Let's get a frog level ploy to steal the bird from that one quest we just did. <laughs> Whatever it takes. 
Alright, uh, let's see. Rumor. What do we have? Uh, Tech of Salamander. Round two. And nothing. These gifts think these give such weird loot. I need that bird. Alright, Tech of Salamander, so we need uh these things. I keep forgetting, I can't whistle. Actually, there's an alternative to that. Uh let me go to Narda. Oh, we have Rabbit Foot. Why do I have Rabbit Foot set? It should be a uh, Narda Tele 4. I should go reset that on the thing. Alright, uh, let's see. And then what we could do is use the whistle. And that will help us quick travel there and get our energy back up. Right, let's see. Has anyone taken it within that time? Probably. No! Wow! How? This thing has sat here for like 10 minutes and no one took it. Oh, mine again. Let's see if it, we can catch more than five this time. Because I do kind of want to get the guy so we can use him. Because we will go kill some actual bosses with it. Mostly will Fight Queen. Because I'm really curious to see how um, New Salamander works on Calfight Queen when set to range on second phase. To see if it's actually better than just hitting it with melee with low accuracy. Because its accuracy will be better, but its damage will be worse. But this thing has way better damage than what Black Salamander had. So it might be enough extra damage to make it worth it. Because Black Salamander wasn't, but this might be. If we could ever get one. It might be a collection log too, so we'll probably see a pop up when it happens. I'm not sure. I hope it's a collection log. Never actually bothered checking. You always forget to add some things to collection logs. I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of them. I'm not even sure what collection it would be under. Other? Maybe it's under other other. Because it's not under the other thing. Uh, where's other other? Is there like a miscellaneous tab? Yeah, there it is. Miscellaneous. No, it's not here. I'm not sure where it would be, because it's not under the Hunter tab. Unless there's just not a collection log for it. Which would be kind of disappointing. So they probably will add it down the line even if it doesn't have one right now. It's a weird thing to be missing from it. Oh, this is like a Varlamore tab under other. Is there just like a general Varlamore tab? No. Mine. <laughs> My world. So I hope there's an audio cue when we actually get it. Though I don't think I can accidentally release it. Because I have it set to release these, but um... The other unit would be a different unit, so it wouldn't be tagged to auto-release it. Or to hope not. But yeah, I do plan to do that gameplay loop off stream for sure. And hope that within a week or two we can actually end up finishing it. Like basically the gameplay loop being do farming, or I keep saying farming, 
do hunter contracts until we get moonlight um moths then do um pearliest moons until we um finish the task and then rinse and repeat until we have bird and or the entire collection log for uh, pearliest moons that's pretty much the game plan <laughs> And ideally, we'll have bird and every item from that place around the same time. But I have no clue what the drop rates are for either, so that estimation might be off. But that would be the ideal situation. Right, why are all these trapped? <laughs> They're all like trapped behind a bunch of uh, plants. It's literally running into the middle of nowhere. Oh, so this is right. We're gonna be at 99 hunter really soon. Because we're getting bare minimum like 100k an hour when we're actually doing this. And various other contracts. And max is, um. Is like 13 mil basically. So in like 20 ish hours of doing more of this, we would have it. And this is considered a slow hunter method too, like doing contracts. You can easily get double that XP by doing natural methods, even more than double. Ah, oh, there we go. Not the salamander, but the task completed. So we get lucky here. Come on, last one. You know you want to? No, didn't get it. Ah, oh, this time. Oh, you gave me perfect timing. Oh, everyone's doing perfect cycles today. I'm leaving, he's going straight in. Hey, what are you going to give us? Moonlight Moths and we're back to Perilous Moons? Anything else? We do it. Oh, uh, what is it? Teko Salamander? No! He just took my spot! <laughs> I just got back-to-back Tico Salamanders. The problem is, though, I'm pretty sure the guy who was just there just took my spot. Rip. Oh, some e-log just dropped. 
All right, let me go check. Otherwise, we'll have to world up. Got to brute force our way back in. Uh, let's see. Rumor. What are we at right now? Uh, oh, wait. Not my rumor. I want to check. Um, three charges left. That's fine. I think it holds like 20 charges now. Hello? Signal? Oh, I... F ah. I hate that you... They need to put a bird right there or something. Why is there a bird, like, not entirely on top of the map, uh, on the, um, on the bank or something? Or at least somewhat closer. Like, at bare minimum, you should be able to use the bird that's on the top of the, uh, the tree. Yeah, he stole my spot. Boo. I should have stayed there for several, like, extra several seconds so he would have hopped. Now he stole my spot. <laughs> Oh, he has the pet. No! That should be our pet. That should be our birdie. It's gonna take us like five minutes to find a world. <laughs> Wait, where's the guy? Is that him? Why was he a mile away? Another pet! Unless I just went into the same world again. Which I wouldn't be surprised if I did. <laughs> Sounds like something we would do. We will eventually click on a world that is free. There's too many people doing this. <laughs> The weird part is they only added one spot. It's kind of weird that they didn't add a second. Same as the antelope. Unless I'm missing something. Unless there's like a secret spot. At this point, it might just be easier to camp one world <laughs> than it is just to go around them all. The worst part is you can't even ask someone if it's like, hey, are you almost done? Because it's pure RNG when you're done. So no one would know if they're almost done. <laughs> It could be one minute longer, they could be ten minutes. How far are they done? Oh, no, there's someone else there. Is this mine now? Alright, mine. <laughs> Oh, I took it. Wait. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> How will this transpire? <laughs> That's his. Let's see, what if I don't take it? I take the other one. What happens? Does he hop? Yes! We win! <laughs> We've won the war. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that's so annoying. They, why do they only have one spot? And this is a super secret mega spot. Like that one guy we talked to over there who we had to help like mine out an entrance. Is there like a secret one over there or something? You never did do that with him because I didn't have a shovel or a pickaxe with me. I wasn't going to bother doing it while we're doing the other stuff. I mean, that'd be weird if this is the only, only place you can get them. No, I guess not too weird. In all fairness, every other salamander in the game, other than orange and green, but every other tier... Actually, you no, know, red too. Yeah, I guess it's only black in these that... Uh, there's only one spot to get them. Every other salamander, there's multiple locations. There might be multiple locations in the same location, but, you know, there's multiple spots. 
It's not just like only one person can do it. I could definitely see them adding more spots for it in the future. I think one of the main reasons they didn't is they didn't want to overpopulate the resources of the game. Because they still wanted to keep it scarce. Because all these that we've caught in so far, I haven't gotten a single one yet. We've caught at least a thousand of these, if not more, at this point. Which means a drop on this thing could be like one in 3,000. <laughs> I could only imagine. That sounds like something they would do for a drop table. <laughs> Especially since it's the only loot you get here. Well, other than finishing the contract. Because all the other salamanders, you catch one and you have it. Which gives no purpose to any of the further ones. But these, um, they made these have no purpose. But then there's a very small chance you get one that you can actually use. I'm not sure if the wiki has the rate for that yet. I don't think it's currently known. It's just very rare. I'm going to look it up again real quick. I know last I checked it wasn't there, but uh, it's been like a whole day, so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, so it's wiki. Let's see if I type in, um, what is it? A teku. Teku salamander. Uh, it does not have the drop rate yet because it is not known by anyone. That checks out. But yeah, it is not currently known. Oh, well, we got that at least. Oh, I did not mean to reassemble that. But yeah, it's so rare. <laughs> no one even knows. No way! How? Do they track when I'm done? <laughs> How is it? Oh, wait, he actually hops. That's weird. Oh, well, that's beneficial if we get another one back to back to back again. It's like they have a tracker knowing exactly when we're done. It feels like every time. Someone just swoops in. Luckily he hops, so if I need to get that task again, he shouldn't be there. Hopefully no one will be. If we somehow get a back-to-back-to-back. -back -back. Red Salamander. <sighs> I wish it was. Um, <laughs> do I even bother with it? I guess. Red Salamander is not good. Oh, so someone just dropped some Moonlight Antelope on there. What are you doing? That's some good food. Now let's go ahead to Castle Wars. Because unfortunately, the closer teleport, you can't actually make it a portal nexus currently. You have to be on Lunar Spellbook to use it. So our next closest way to get there is... Because the closest way would be, uh, use this teleport and you're right at Red Salamanders. Or if you want to get to the red better spot, you go from there to there. But if you want to, you can go from there to there and you're already there. Because those are the two spots you could do them at. So this one's the better one. But, um... You can't make this portal in your house for whatever reason. It's one of several that you can't. So the closest way to get there is Castle Wars. Or R to keep and go left. All right, come on, no one here. Nice. Nice, we got a free world. Also, we'd love to catch something that isn't Salamanders. I feel like we've had six Salamanders in a row. Because didn't we just do orange into three of the other one into red? <laughs> We're on a salamander spree. I don't mind salamanders, though. The main ones I don't like doing are, like, the tracking ones that aren't herbivore. Because they're all scaled really badly compared to herbivore. But I got scold. I'm not a PvP world, right? No, I'm not. Maybe just does that to try to uh, convince people to log. I would be surprised if someone scolds up. And does the fake D claws toy thing to try to get people to log while doing Hunter? <laughs> I've seen that a couple times. 
Not while doing Hunter, but other activities. Or they'll pretend to be that they're in a PvP world attacking you. I wonder if that ever works. People do it, so apparently it works more than none. That was very obvious what they're doing. And you can make it even more realistic by doing, like, the Dragon's Claw toy thing. And having a second person with, like, rock cake or something similar spam it underneath. So they constantly take damage while you're pretend getting hit. Oh, we got it already. Lucky him. Watch him hop. He did! <laughs> I have secured our red salamander for a little while longer. In case we get back to back. How many uh, charge do I have left? I want to say zero. I need to go recharge it this time. We have either one or zero. Regardless, I need to go charge it before I forget. Uh, we are at one charge. I'll still charge it at max. I'm out of run energy. What happened to all my run energy? <laughs> Come back, run energy. We need you. Oh, what task do we just get? Uh, do, 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 do. Sunlight Moth. Luckily, that's a good way to get our energy back up, if nothing else. That's a ton of free energy. He's got to get there first. All right, come on. Anything. Oh, it's <laughs> How many contracts are we deep? We're 76 with only two kits and nothing else. Two of the worst drop. Oh yeah, I didn't charge my thing, did I? Oh, that's fine. I need to remember to do that next cycle. We still have one charge left if we really need it. Plus, we can just walk back from where we are. It's not even worth teleporting. And still get our energy back to 100% too, which will be nice. So it came at perfect timing. Oh, don't do the tree. Oops. At least we have more logs now. Oh, we actually are full. I thought there was a thing saying that it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, I was going to say. Because we shouldn't have max logs in there right now. If anything, I think I have almost no logs in there right now. All right, back to full energy. Hey, these are actually better EXP than the ones that give more XP. Not only is there a billion more of them, but they restore your energy by 5% every time you catch one. I guess just treating us to move. At least we'll be we'll be using those logs later. Why? <laughs> there, there's so many here. Why go for the exact ones I'm going for? There's a whole field of like <laughs> 50. And he's going for the exact same ones I'm clicking on. Right, what do we get? Uh, let's see. Rumor, rumor, rumor. We are at... What do we get? Red sa No! Oh, wait, wait. We just did secure the protection of Red Salamander, but someone probably hopped there by now. Unfortunately. And we got nothing. Standard loot. Alright, uh, let's go grab our things. And head back to Castle Wars. 77 rumors in. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to hit 100 this stream, unfortunately. Especially if we still have to go back to Pearliest Moons. If we get another moth task. Because I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I might end in the next hour or so. But uh, hopefully by the next time we ever do a old school RuneScape stream, which will be a little bit sooner than normal just because... Uh, well, not as soon as like yesterday compared to today. You know, we did it literally the next day. But... um. 
yeah, we will be doing it again somewhat, somewhat soon. Maybe sometime next week when we do end up doing another stream. We'll still go for about another hour right now, though. I got at least an 80, if nothing else. But, um... I hope that by, like, later next week or some something similar, we are almost at bird. <laughs> I would hope that we have, like, at least a few pieces, if not half of them, from Pearliest Moons. And have at least some pieces of the Hunter outfit, which will make cycling for bird quicker, even if we don't have bird yet. Did someone just get here? No, they've been here a little while. Unfortunate. Uh, let's see. This board was free. But it got sniped, which is to be expected. Uh, let's see. Free world, please. Perfect. Right, that didn't take long. Oh, is there a bot over there? Why are you guys still botting next to locations that are, uh... They're people at. They haven't updated our bots yet. Yep, there's a bot over there. Training on hill giants. No one would ever train her by any means otherwise. Because normally they go to really obscure places so they don't get banned or reported as much. But, um... The bots aren't updated because this is actually a really active area now. As of yesterday. But they haven't been updated since then. <laughs> so they're still doing locations like that. Despite there being even more obscure hill giant locations that they could easily be going to. Oh, that was quick. Nice. That's really solid. quicker we can get out of red salamanders, the better. Perfect. Oh, so this is our last teleport. I did not forget. I almost forgot, but I did not forget. <laughs> so I do need to go recharge it right now. Also, keep getting these red salamander tasks. I have no run energy. <laughs> it consumes all of it just to get there. I need to start just drinking a stamina potion just to get to the location. Especially with how quick it keeps cycling. Oh, did we just get Moonstone Moth? I think we got it. If I read that correctly, quickly. Ooh, that's huge if so. That means Perilith Moons for the rest of the stream, probably. Yep. Moonlight Moth. Perilous Moons until we get the drop, I guess. Which means technically we'll hit 79 rumors today. All right, that's perfect. So our game plan now is we'll do Perilous Moons until we get the Moth drop. And then turn that in. And hopefully we'll get... Both something from our final sack and something from Perilous Moons. If we got lucky. We do actually have some meats. Oh yeah, that was from the two we did earlier. <laughs> Those wimpy little two. Alright, and now that we have a tab properly set up for both. Actually, let me make sure I reset this. Because I don't need uh, that. I can actually remove this. How do I remove? Uh, remove tag. Remove layout. There we go. Alright, uh, and now all I do is do that. Boom. Let me just do this. Boom, 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 boom. And to clear out even more inventory, I'm just going to bring that and that. I'm not even going to bother with uh, any spells at all. Let's mount a high alk, I guess. I don't feel like high alking at the moment. I also don't have that much too high alk at the moment. Um, yeah, like a thousand good ones. Because most of these aren't out. They're mostly just here so they go into little categories. These you technically could, but it's barely worth it. Yeah, it must be those two in that. Which is only like a thousand four hundred or so. Alright, anyways. To Perilous Moons. I think this is our whole inventory. <laughs> this is so sad that you can go bossing with this inventory. This is less gear than you need for Barrows. <laughs> which is supposed to be like the predecessor of it. But this is quite literally less gear than Barrows. It's so weird. Alright, what am I looking for? Um, I need the whistle. Oh yeah, I need to go charge the whistle. What am I doing? Perfect, because I actually need it charged to even get there. Uh, I forgot how many meat I need for this. Just do like 10. I think 10 fully charges it. Where's my Moonlight Antelope? Um, uh, Raw. No, that's my Moonstone. Uh, that one. It should be max charges. I believe it's 2 per and it holds 20.
Where is he? It's like a mile away in this world. Oh, never mind. I didn't even need that many. So this should be 20 charges, right? Yep, 20 charges. Perfect. All right, let's go put this away. Actually, you know what? I'll do it at the place. I don't need to do it here. Oh, I keep forgetting. I don't need to use a charge. <laughs> We're already here. I really wish you could use the one on the roof there. It's kind of weird that you can't. All right, we'll go over here. I'll put this away when we get to the uh, bank in there. I should probably throw a stamina down. I'm gonna run out of energy once we get to the bank. I guess I'll just drink a stamina at the bank. Everything set correctly. We're out of run energy. <laughs> to the bank. Oh, it actually is quicker to get there, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll go the long way. Where did my stamina go? There, there. Alright, there we go. And that's all the resources I need to use this entire run. <laughs> We're not even through the door. And that'll be enough for us to run to the resource area. I forgot, if you really need to run energy, you can uh, heal off the sunlight moths here too. Keep forgetting about that. No, it's quicker doing what we did. So this costs a little bit of resources, but barely any. Right, now we just gear up here and be good to go. I, can't, I forgot, my task is Moonlight Moths. So I should be going for them when I can. That's the whole reason why we're doing this. <laughs> uh, I want hunt. No, I want fishing and uh, herb. Right, uh, we'll grab loons. Get our potions. I got a mortar and pestle. Uh, let's see, put that in there. Drop all that. And then we go fishing for the rest. This is our reminder of water break. <laughs> I need to turn the lights on. Gosh, it's starting to get dark in this room. Streaming so long, the sun's going down. <laughs> that is just really cloudy right now. Ugh. Also, out of habit, I keep putting up the um, green screen behind me, <laughs> even though I'm not using it at all because we have no face cam right now. Always out of habit, I just like move it over. It's like, oh, we got face cam now, or, or you know, <laughs> as if we do. I'm surprised he hasn't finished fishing yet. Got a little unlucky on the uh, spawns here. Oh, oh okay. I was wondering what the weapon that was for a second, but I see it now. It's the salad blade. He's using a salad blade. Not full inventory. Very full inventory. It's kind of weird, but you can actually... Um, without a net in your inventory, you can fill up the net spot. I wonder if they did that by design or if that's a glitch. So why on earth is a big fishing net worth 2k right now? Oh, could you preemptively just keep a big fishing net in your inventory? I never thought about that. What if you just kept a mortar and pestle and big net in your... Wait. What? <laughs> Hold up. You can just keep them in your inventory. <laughs> Hold the holds. Why do I keep doing this every time? Wait, 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 wait. If I take fishing, I can just leave that there. If I take herb lore, I can just leave that there. There we go. Why have I been grabbing them every time? <laughs> wait. 
I can just keep them there forever. It's two less inventory, but we're not using it for anything. Yes, we know this is a thing. Why does it time me every time? Yes, don't ask me again. Why does clicking this not work? It keeps asking me again. Oh, I have click options to set to none. I'm like, wait, <laughs> why am I phasing through so much? I see now. Forgot to change that from when we were doing Hunter. Even though we're still technically doing Hunter right now. We're still doing it in a very weird way. <laughs> this is technically training Hunter. Kind of. Please, one more hit. No, don't do you dare. No. <laughs> Gotta do this all face again. No, this is practice. Good practice for it. Out of every boss mechanic here, this is the one I fail the most right, by far. Like, it's really straightforward what you have to do. It's just really time sensitive with it. I thought I was the only one here for a second. I actually haven't seen that yet. A world where there's no one in the uh, lobby. So far, every world has been occupied, though it makes sense. It's pretty new content. Even Barrows to this day still ran like crazy. Like, you'll almost never find an empty world of Barrows. Despite it being like two decade old content, almost. So I think it's like 18 years old. And you still can never find an empty world. <laughs> Though in that uh, game it doesn't matter. Same as this. Though I do feel like you could get better cycles if you did somehow an empty world for this. But it's impossible to do right now. And honestly, even into the future would probably be. Very unlikely to ever find a truly empty world for it. That's PvP worlds. <laughs> I wonder what this minigame would be like in PvP. Because it's multi-combat. <laughs> so you can have entire clan wars to see which... Oh, that would be something cool. I wonder if any clan has tried doing that yet. I highly doubt it. But having a clan war in a PvP world to be the first one as a clan to finish a run of this place and you just have an all-out war at every single one of the bosses. <laughs> well, that'd be really funny. I'm pretty sure no one's done that yet. Well, some of the bigger clans definitely should. That'd be really funny. Because this is multi-combat. So in a PvP world, assuming this isn't a safe area, which it shouldn't be, you can have a multi-way boss fight while also <laughs> just fighting everyone else. Thank you. 
Oh gosh, drag wire. Bit of a bad time to spawn in here. I'll take it. Problem is I have no clue where the circle is going to be. Oh, they just started drag wire. Like they just, just started it. Oh, it's all, of course it's the other side of the room. So next circle's right there then. Right where the vial is. Someone literally marked it already. <laughs> Either intentionally or unintentionally. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one come in. Oops. <laughs> I still don't know if getting hit like that lowers your reward. Because I take so much reckless damage because we have just infinite healing. But if that's actually hurting our reward, I'm not sure. A lot of the in-depth mechanics aren't, I don't think are currently known. Alright, let's go actually do our hunter task. It is still to go catch these things. It's why we're here. <laughs> At some point, we'll get it again. I hope they never change that. I assume it's a feature and not a bug. Uh, well, it technically is a moth, so it is a bug, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that you can actually finish your farming, uh, or I keep saying farming, your hunter contract uh, within the raid. Why is the loot so weird here? <laughs> I don't understand this reward chest. Other than the water orbs. But a lot of the other stuff in it just really baffles me. Oh, so I meant to uh, heal restore over there. Let's get some more potions while I'm here, I guess. So now when I go for herbs, it should just be two potions. Perfect. Right, let me go make these real quick. I'll make them as I'm going over there. Save some time. There we go. But yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't do that to begin with. Just keeping these in my inventory. I kept getting rid of them as if that did anything. <laughs> All it does is just slow you down. Oh, perfect phase. Oh, I can't partake in it, though. Right now I can. count out right now we are at 22 kills that'd be funny if the kill count here goes higher than bur uh burrow burrows barrows <laughs> gosh i can't say it they were at like 500 barrows kills the barrel kill count i believe does go a little quicker than this now, i've never timed this down to like the t of how long it takes Please hit him. I gotta kill him before this moon goes away. Oh no, he came into water phase.
That's weird. I gotta use Halberd on this boss. I say that's weird because it has Stab and Slash, but not Crush. So this would literally be the only boss you would not want to use Halberd on. <laughs> yeah, he just used Halberd on it. Also, one thing I want to go check. I wonder if anyone's completed the Coliseum yet. After we finish this run and everything, I'm going to go check. Because as I recall, no one has completed the Coliseum. That's how hard it is. It's only 12 waves long. And no one has cleared it. <laughs> and I think there's over a million deaths. With zero completions. Perfect cycle. Hopefully this will be a three moon. Or three sun, whatever you call it. Perfect. Oh, we came right at the start of the fight. Come on, do rain first. Nice. Okay, it's right over here. It's not dead. Now it is. Oh, perfect diving. Right before the phase. Alright, we're out of here. What's the next one? Come on, anything that doesn't seem like pure disappointment, go. Uh, not quite. <laughs> a lot of prairie XP in there, though. It tried. Oh, we just came right at the end of the tail end of the best cycle. Unfortunate. We're probably not gonna be able to kill in time. I don't have a good stab weapon. Oddly enough, one that drops here would become our best stab weapon if we get it. The melee weapon uh, that you get from here is um, somehow gonna be our best stab. <laughs> it's like a double hitting move. And I don't think it was really meant to be used on this boss, but it would be our best option. I didn't even realize they're leveled. They're 329. It's actually pretty low level, which makes sense. This is kind of mid-game content. Oh, please kill it before the cycle. I don't think we will. Isn't this already the third one? Yeah, there's no way we make it, unfortunate.
Oh, perfect timing, right after waves. Exact perfect timing. We got like the worst possible timing on the other one. Because you ideally want to start right in that like uh, illusion phase kind of thing. Where he tries backstabbing you. You can get so much damage back on him. But for this one, you want to start right after waves. So you can ideally just completely skip waves. Oh, that's the first time I think I've ever been hit by that. <laughs> oh no. Which I think there's a second. Really bad angle. I never pay attention on this phase where the circle was, though. There it is. And we gotta kill that before three circles go. Come on, RNG. Come on, stop not hitting. Come on, one more nice hit. Nice, there we go. I just realized, you can attack those things and be fully potted the whole time. If going for those sulfur blade thingies. That can actually be a good training spot, now that I think about it. You can get really easy access to a lot of pretty free supplies. So many people are using Dragon Claws. It's like five specs. And you only have two per person. But that's something that doesn't exist in this game. It does in the other RuneScape. Um, there's not a spec potion. Oh, where are we? I think we're right here. These were over there. But there's no spec potion in this game. There is a way to recharge your spec, but not through spec potion. You need to do it through spec transfer, which means you need another person to give you their spec. But there's no potion that just directly does it, because the game wasn't really balanced around it. It might eventually add it, though. But enough power creep over time. It would likely be really hard to get, even just a single dose. Unlike some other potions that are way easier to get. Like, if they ever added it, it's going to be, like, 100k plus per potion. How expensive they'll probably be. And how rare they'll likely make it. We get nothing, except a lot of prairie XP. But otherwise, nothing. I keep forgetting to recharge my run energy. It actually takes more time if I do it here. But while I'm here, I guess we'll go fish too. Actually, I might as well fish first now that I think about it. Because we're going to have to go that way to go cook it. So we'll go get a full inventory. Cook it. Go for our water break. <laughs> hmm. Gone through two and a half waters now. <laughs> We're almost up to three. <laughs> At the end of the day, we probably will be. Almost at four. That's about on average how many I drink, like four a day. Depends what I'm doing on an average day. But so far, we've taken a sip of water every time we come to this watering hole. <laughs> that has been our drink water reminder for today. <laughs>
Nice. Oh, I don't get to do this phase, though. For my next phase. No! Oh, that's so bad. That's so unfortunate. We got the worst possible cycle again. Twice in a row. Right at the end of his good phase. We're doing damage back with that thing. Ideally, we want to start, like, right when that begins. But so far, twice in a row, we got it right at the end. Because the problem is... Since I don't have a good stab weapon, there's a good chance I'm not going to kill him next cycle. With three specs, we didn't even do half that time. Oops, this isn't final cycle yet. Oops. This is final cycle. Come on, big hits, big hits, big hits. I have to do 145 within two moons. There's no way to make it. Even if we max hit every hit here. Fortunate. No, that is so bad. We were one hit off. Not more practice on this, I guess. Also, what on earth is that timer over there for? Realize we're not even potted. That might help. Oh, we're on water phase. Boo. Oh, I already have the other fire, though. That's good. This magically gives you the other fire if you, uh, depending on what time you come in. The, uh, uh, the main thing that this piece of content tells me. Because we need a better stab weapon. <laughs> because my best one right now is Dragon Sword, which is pitiful. Oh, now we got Dragwire. Up too early. I definitely prefer Ice way more than Dragwire, which is weird because it's the exact same thing. But I prefer Ice so much more over this. Even though you gain more of a benefit from this because of all the healing.
Was it this dark or the other one? I think it's this one. Oh, it was the other one. It was all that one. I was track of where it was from. Alright, we gotta kill it before this phase. Come on. Two more piquettes. But maybe we have to bring out the halberd. I will. I'll do it. No way. No way! No! Halberd wasn't enough. Oh, I need to get to my, uh, lion thing. Oh, I'm... I am way out of pattern right now. Alright, uh, I would like to not die, thank you. What's going on here? There we go. I was so expecting to kill it from the thing. Though in all fairness, I didn't put it to slash. Her on. Probably fine. It's the worst that can happen. I would assume it would have been dead by now, though. There we go. Place over. Really unlucky. Oh, more of a reason to go get more moths. Yeah, that's one thing that's kind of scary about the blood room. If we do disconnect on it, you take a lot of damage if you just stand there doing nothing. Oh, water orbs, nice. A lot of bones. No, it's really that you get here is still so weird. <laughs> I still can't get over it. It's it's such a weird mix of stuff. Like it's not bad. <laughs> Some of it's not as useful as others. It's just a very strange combination of items. Oh, why did I put on my crush weapon? What am I doing? Oh, we got a, one of the worst phases. Unfortunate. I feel like we never come into this room at a lucky time on this world. Because now we're going to have to wait through the entirety of the next phase. But we don't really need to worry about doing too much damage next phase. We'll get it all during the um, reflection phase thing. I would love okay I always have to make sure we heal just in case something like that happens I'm pretty sure they can hit 18 18 18 or 20 20 20 or something it's very absurdly unlikely but not impossible if they really want you dead they will not find a way Turning on prayer when I do that. I was like four prayer points every time. But I guess we get that right back with the moss, so it doesn't really matter. I mostly just do it to ensure the hit hits. Because the higher your max hit, the more likely it'll be to actually land the one. Because currently you can still hit zero with a successful hit. This is likely being changed later this year. It's a really dated mechanic. But currently, if you hit a successful hit, you can still hit a zero. It makes no sense. <laughs> it is being changed soon. I 
Let's hopefully get them off soon. By the time we run out of this inventory, that'd be perfect timing. But I do kind of still want to do a little bit more hunter. But our current task is basically to do perilous moons. <laughs> that is our hunter task right now. Do perilous moons, hunter task. Are you still okay with some, um... Oh yeah, still doing co-op in, um, Power World? Oh yeah, did they do the update yet? For the Power World update? Because yeah, I'm probably gonna be playing it next week. I almost forgot about that. We definitely have to stream that at least once next week. If not multiple. Depends how much content's there. But, um... Yeah, we can still do co-op at some point. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I did do it once with a friend. But, um... We didn't really go, like, that that far with it. We basically just did one setting. So I'm not sure how it works, like, long-term if you do co-op. But, um, yeah, I would still be interested in that. Oh, you and Cookie already have? Well, maybe I could just join your world then, if that would work out. Because I don't mind joining an already started one. As long as you guys aren't, like, super ultra endgame already. But if you guys are still kind of in, like, the mid-game, I don't mind joining in. We can easily grind up to that point. I did too early. Gosh, I, I absolutely hate Dragwire. It's so weird because we do the exact same mechanic perfectly on ice. But something about this room just makes me not able to do it here. It's so weird. I don't understand how. This is literally the same mechanic as ice. Yet for whatever reason, I mess it up constantly here, but never, almost never mess it up on ice. I don't understand why. <laughs> because it's the exact same mechanic. In every way. If anything, this one's even more predictable than ice. Because ice, you actually have to change where you move to. And adapt. Whereas that's always the same pattern every time. Oh no, I'm not going to make this cycle. Same thing happened last time. That's so unfortunate. I'm going to have to do the entirety of drag wires again. Um, yeah, we can start fresh. Especially if Cookie and anyone else wants to join in as well. It'd be cool if we had, like, multiple, multiple people. Especially if Genki wanted to join in and stuff like that, too. I'm not sure if she'd be interested, but I believe she still plays, though. Oh, nice. 74 water orbs. This thing might drop weird stuff, but at least it drops some good stuff occasionally. <laughs> I would like an item, though, please. We're 26 kills in. This definitely isn't Barrow's drop rate, that's for sure. We'd have an item and a half by now if this was Barrow's.
Oh, I'm way too far forward. What happened to my run? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that didn't quite work out. I'm too far out. Whoops. We're not gonna make it in time. No, that's unfortunate. Happened again. Slightly short on damage. I stopped spam clicking on this because it seems like it was dropping my inputs. Because if you spam click too much and it counts as that tick, it's going to miss the next tick and it keeps, it's what keeps getting us um, hit. We're just doing one hit now. Uh, let's see. Co op. Uh, da, da, da. How do I host it? Like, I know how to host it, but we would need to do the server one or can we host it through um, like the normal co op thing? Because that's what I don't, what I don't understand. Because I know there's like two different ways you can host a game. I'm not sure which one we need. So I'm just getting spam clicked there. Just tanking them all. We'll get through eventually. <laughs> Alright, no need to create a server? Okay, so you can still just do it that way. Because that's a lot simpler, not needing to do the whole server thing. Someone's actually using bludgeon here. That is correct. Though, I'm surprised I haven't seen more of it. Most Iron Man don't bother getting it because it's kind of pointless. But it'd be a great main weapon. The boss that you get it from is honestly one of the most annoying bosses in the entire game. I hope they rework it at some point. There's a lot of dated bosses, but that boss is really dated in, like, the worst way possible. There's just a, such an unfun boss to fight. <laughs> it's probably, like, the most unfun boss in the entire game. The Abyssal Sire. Just for a weapon that's basically equivalent to the zombie axe that we got in, like, two hours while going, like, 1.5 times dry. Yeah, the bludgeon grind takes like probably 50 hours or something. Maybe close to 30. Depends what build you're using. I see your chat. I can't quite read it while doing this stuff. <laughs> I'll check when we go into the throne room. I'm really bad at multitasking. I'll go check in a second. Also, originally, I... Oh, gosh, I did that wrong. But originally, I thought I was losing HP because I kept tapping it in between the phase. But you actually guarantee you lose the HP regardless. I thought it was like a recoil effect when I accidentally kept hitting it, but no. It's because this phase is supposed to heal you back. That HP and more.
Come on, one more hit. One more nice hit. Nice. There we go. We're at her. I think we have enough supplies for one more run. Still need that moonstone thing, though. Or moonlight. Come on. Do the drop. I'm curious which we're going to get first, though, at this point. A drop from he Pearliest Moons or a drop from Hunter? <laughs> if I had to guess, probably Pearliest Moons. Because we're going to get it right now, right? Nothing. <laughs> All right, actually, let me go refish, I guess. You know what? I'll resupply. We'll do one more full supply run. And I'll probably grab dinner. Uh, let's see. Let's go check back in chat. Da -da 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 -da. The Sea Breeze Artichoke Jip is the best spot. Ooh, that does sound good. That does sound really good. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I can just host it through my code. Okay, so we can just do it through co-op. Is there a limit to how many people you can have on a co-op world? Because I've noticed, like, I, I think you can have, like, four or whatever it was people at a time. But is that across the entire map? Or... Because I'm not sure how that works. Like, can we only get four people, or is it only four people that can be on at a time? But doesn't that mean people can only play it when we're on? Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. I thought you said... <laughs> wow. I saw that, and I read Artichoke Dip. <laughs> I see what you mean. I'm actually not sure where that is. Because I forget a lot of the names in Power World. Locationally. So I'm not quite sure where that location is. If I was to start from scratch in that game, which, which you know, when we do, I kind of want to start, or at least where I would build my base. Oh no, there's a couple different spots. Because you need to have access to a good water supply. is really important early on. I was kind of going to do it in like that top left area, probably. Because it gets to everywhere pretty quickly. Oh wait, I want my potions. Uh, take from. Drop, drop. Your first main base was the best location? Well, it's the best location for getting a lot of the tutorial and other stuff done early. Imagine really not sure how good the other locations are or bad. Because I've never used any other location. <laughs> so I don't really know. Oh, I should have went in earlier. No. Oh, please tell me we still have one face left. <gasps> Thank you. Yes. Huge. 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 No! Not as huge. Unfortunate. That was almost really good. But we'll take it. It should still be a two cycle. Or one cycle, if you count the full cycle, I guess. <laughs> I got two special attack, I should say. One cycle, two special attack. Oh yeah, we're definitely hungry. <laughs> As soon as this inventory has nothing left in it, we're grabbing dinner. We've been streaming pretty much all day. But we got a lot of progress. Though no unique drops. A lot of progress, but not a single unique. For any content we've done. A little unfortunate.
Set the co-op settings to easy? Oh no, how much do we want to cheese it? Those settings can get really broken. Oh no, are we going to do maximum easy mode? That might be a little bit too easy. Like, do you mean default easy or like custom easy? Like, we need to figure out like a slight balance. <laughs> All the way easy? We'll be speed running the game at that rate. Right? Man, I wouldn't mind trying it like that. I feel like we'd get through the whole game in like less than 20 hours though with those kind of settings. Why is he attacking? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it's an ice boss, but he was literally frozen there for a moment. Well, the main setting that's kind of broken when fully maxed out, I would say is the tech tree. If you put on max tech tree accumulation for points in that game, you can max your tech tree in like five hours or less. You can get straight to level 50. Unless they're expanding it next patch. I highly doubt they are quite yet. But I do feel like in long term, they'll definitely expen extend it to at least 100. No time soon. I should realize you can fight these without ever running out of mana too because all these moths nearby. Please, unique piece? Anything? I'll take literally the most trashiest trash. I mean, the natural drop of trash though. <laughs> Not the uh, rest of this stuff. How did I turn runoff? Whoops. Do you know what? I'm going to hit him normally and hope that his first phase is going to be um, illusion. No, it never is. <laughs> Why? Also, where is everyone? There's only one other person in this uh, room with me right now. He's like the least people I've ever seen. One total person. I should even try praying damage right now. There's no way we're gonna cycle it in time. Not without a proper stab weapon.
Oh, perfect timing. Actually, not perfect timing. Perfect timing would be at the end of water. Hello, run energy? Psst. I thought I'd put it back on. Hitboxes are just a, a suggestion. <laughs> Moving in this game is weird sometimes. Because you skip every tile, every other tile. If we get lucky, we can face skip here. I just need every hit to be like 30 something. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. So close. What's your count at right now? Oh gosh, there's so many things. 28. I think I'm gonna go for one more right now. After this one. Oh, bad timing. We got rained. Cause I'll bring us to a nice solid 30, and I'll go grab dinner. So just run in the next one. And who knows, maybe we'll get a drop along the way, let's hope so. Oh, I want something today, we didn't get anything exciting. We got a lot of progress, but no cool shiny thing to point at. I thought that was the final phase already, whoops. And we're out of here. One more run. Come on, get them off, get them off. Come on, RNG. Finish the task. Nice, we got it! <laughs> nice, perfect timing. All right, we'll do one more run and then go claim this in. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted to say. There it is. We got our hunter contract done. No drop though. Okay, right, one more chance. We get two more drops. Well, one more from this and one more from the other thing. And then we'll end it there and go grab some dinner. We'll get to go cash this in for a hunter drop and we'll get to do one more chest for our 30th one. And hopefully one of them will give us something. <laughs> Come on now. We need something today. Oh, perfect. Please tell me he's still phasing. I can do so much damage right now. Yes. Please tell me you have another phase. Yes. Oh, we came perfect timing. Please tell me you have another phase after this phase. Come on. Yes. So much free damage. 
Oh, we came perfect timing to obliterate this. We won our quicker kills in a while. Uh, no, you were supposed to die from that. <laughs> there we go. Now you're dead. All right, that went really smooth. <laughs> that may be our quickest kill on it yet, even though we uh, unfortunately hit a little low on that second hit there. I meant to go restore my energy. We're actually really low right now. I use a lot of energy in this room. Unfortunately, we didn't skip a water phase. We're going to have to do it now with no energy. I've only killed this before it does a shift. Now it's double zero, we won't. Nice. Do that two more times. Do that one more time. One more time. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Nice. Oh, we just missed it. Perfect. Alright, uh, let me go get a heal. Nice cup of tea. Alright, final boss. And then we'll go cash in our final chest and our final uh, little sack thing. Oh gosh, Dragwire. At least we're starting with it. Oh, I did it wrong already. Wonderful. I'm just gonna tank it. <laughs> I can't blood Torfa. <laughs> He's an ultra max. It's just funny someone seeing someone in blood Torva next to like defense keep and tour eggs. <laughs> One is not like the other. Gosh, I think he was for a while. He was on the tile that still hit him. I forgot. This is our final run. I guess this is a slash. And obliterate him. There we go. Alright, we're out of here. Still want my prayer back up. I just gonna spam the potion. Let's see what we get. Let's go get our final reward. This will be our 30th chest of disappointment. Oh, nice. Okay, never mind. It's not disappointing. We got 75 water orb. Saved. No unique, though. But 75 water orbs definitely saved it. I never got a 30 kill count. Alright, uh, that's to go turn in this hunter thing, and then I guess I'm grabbing dinner. <laughs> see what we get from this last little hunter box. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for, uh... 
Where's my whistle? What's the whistle whistle? All right, what do we got? Come on, bird. Could you imagine? <laughs> I at least want a hundred piece already. So we at least have better chance of getting the rest of the hundred pieces and the bird. I give me a new task. Uh oh, we got herpa board. Nice. Alright, final loot. Nothing. <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, that's a lot of bone shards though. 651. But otherwise, unfortunately, nothing. But hey, free loot. This is literally just free loot on top of everything we got from Pearless Moons. It was zero time. It was just the stuff we'd already be doing in Pearless Moons anyways. Anyways, guys. I think we'll end it there for now. Uh, gosh, my bank value is tanking because all the items are crashing. <laughs> as of, um... As of the new content. Actually, I'm pretty sure Purple Sweets tanked like crazy, right? Uh, no, they're actually still absurdly too much money. <laughs> I'm not sure if you even use them in Coliseum. But anyways, guys, um, but yeah, we'll still be doing Old School RuneScape in the background. Next stream, I hope to have at least some amount of Pertlius Moons or Hunter parts. <laughs> we're doing, I'm not sure if we're doing Unlucky on either, but we are currently uh, 30 KC on Perilous Moons with nothing, and 79 Rumors on Hunter's Guild with nothing. And by nothing, I mean the Hunter pack twice, which is basically nothing. No pet, no of the four Hunter pieces. So, between the two, we are 109 kills with super nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Obviously, we got a lot of good loot and other stuff along the way. But, uh, we'll get there. But anyways, guys, I'm going to grab dinner. Hope you all guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend coming up. Well, actually, yeah, it's Thursday. I guess you could say weekend so far. <laughs> it's not quite weekend yet. <laughs> We're getting there. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everyone. And thanks for watching.